back again. It's been a while. At least that's what it feels like. Uh, it's been a long week. 24 hour stream really took a lot out of me. Also, Doku, thank you for the, uh, you know, you know, thank you for thanking me or, you know, congratulating me for anniversary. It's been two years now. I can't believe it. It's been so long. I don't know. Two years of streaming and suffering. Amazing. We love it here. And uh, Erratic, thank you. Very cool. Also appreciate it. But uh, yeah, nah, it's been it's been wild. I still can't believe it's been two years, and next year will be three. It's wild. I don't know. I didn't think I'd be streaming this long, but uh, it's certainly been something. It's been very cool. Uh, but yeah, today I I actually didn't even know that it was my anniversary, uh, or affiliate anniversary today. I thought it was like next week. But uh, no, I guess it was today. It was either today or yesterday. I don't remember. Uh, because I just turned on OBS today for like the first time since Sunday. And uh, as I was getting everything set up, it said like, hey, it's your anniversary. And I was like, oh my god, it is. It was very cool though. Uh, but yeah, nah, I, I was planning on streaming more zombies today anyway. So I'll probably do that, and then I'll probably swap it up to like some other stuff. I don't know. It's a it's an anniversary stream. I'll probably go a little bit. I'll, I'll probably go like, you know, the eight hours like I used to do. Maybe twelve hour. Nah, twelve hours is too late. I've been trying to go to sleep at three a.m. lately, and uh, it's been working out. I've been going to sleep at like three thirty or something like that. It's like all right, three a.m. Time to watch an episode of Common Rider Kuga, and then uh, go to bed. So. That's what my sleep schedule's been like. It's been cool. Uh, you know, nothing crazy. But yeah. I hope my mic is sounding good. Uh, I've been noticing, like, the last few streams that I've done, it sounds like I'm really close to the mic, and it sounds like I'm in an echo chamber. Uh, I'm hoping I got that fixed. I think I did. Uh, I went back to having it overhead instead of under. So... At least that's what I had the most consistency when I had it when I had the mic king in overhead. But, you know, I don't know. We'll find out later. Actually, I could probably find out now. Let me see. Testing one, two, three. It sounds normal. But I can't tell if it's just my headphones. I could use the mic monitoring as well, but I don't know. I don't really hear anything with the mic monitoring. It just sounds like an echo. It doesn't sound like anything. Except, like, static. But I didn't hear static when I when I had the stream on. Or when I had the stream unmuted. But, yeah. oh my god, why? It's gone on my bucks. Glad you're making up your days when going good. But look at this dude. I saw you grinding in zombies earlier. Oh, man. But, yeah. It's been, uh, two years went deer hunting and only found turkeys did you get a turkey at least do you have turkey for thanksgiving now no turkey tags damn i mean they ain't gonna stop you how are they gonna know you can hide a turkey in a trunk or are uh, the game wardens using drones these days and not gonna use a 30 60 30 out six on a turkey damn dude that's why you carry a uh, nine mil on you it's good enough to take out a turkey imagine shooting a turkey with a shotgun and then like you're sitting down at thanksgiving and then you're just fishing pellets out of it as you eat <laughs> turkey but yeah oh god i feel like that's a joke somewhere funny you say that oh god did someone actually do that did, did you actually shoot a turkey with a shotgun? I got birdshot for my shotgun for that exact reason. Jeez. Bro, you don't need birdshot for a turkey. Don't even fly. I've heard dove. No, is it dove? Yeah, people eat dove, don't they? I don't know. That's weird. Sees birdshot on small or a small cow for a turkey. Yeah, I know that, but... I mean, the way birdshot is, like, you're going to be picking pellets out of that turkey forever. <laughs> you're going to bite into a leg, and you're just going to get a mouthful of pellets. You're going to chip a tooth like that. 
I could I could see that happening. Oh god, that sounds awful though. No, you just get a mac. No, just just put your turkey through uh, an MRI. Have the MRI just pull all the pellets out of it. Use enough powder for pass through. Ah, uh, okay. That makes sense then. Ah oh, man, but yeah, I'm gonna be grinding them camos today. Gonna be uh be a bit of a long one. Might as well turn on the uh the weapon XP. Let's see. Man, I'm so mad that I missed the uh pretty cringe. You're cringe. Uh hey, thank you. Very cool. Yeah, it's been like two years now, dude. I still can't believe it. Oh, that's what that thing is. Yeah, it's been uh it's been two two long years and I I legit can't believe it. It's been I don't know. It's been cool. It's been fun. Uh but yeah. Uh that you know, nothing else. Three almost three long years. Yeah, it'll be three years in uh September. Yeah, September. Oh my god. What's going on, nerd? Glad you make it up your days been going good. Hey, biggest of Apollo. Very cool. I hope you enjoy the stream. Uh, I'm going to be grinding some camos and zombies today. Uh, I've fallen really behind. It's It's been a busy, like, last three days. Actually, it's been a busy, like, last two weeks. But I'm not going to go into, into too many details about it. It's just, been a, it's just been a long, long week. Like, yesterday, I thought it... Like, what was yesterday? Cute boy. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, thank you. I actually just got this model at the beginning of the... Uh, yeah. Uh, the first, November 1st, was when I got this one. Uh, I really like it. Uh, Whimsy did the art, or Trash Kitty Whimsy did the art, and, uh, Midnight Solemn did the, uh, rigging for it, and they're both really good. Whimsy's an amazing artist, and, uh, Solemn's a good rigger. Uh, they're, they're, if I get a 2.0, I, I, I know what I'm gonna ask for. And you ever complete part one or three of Zombies? Nah, dude, I haven't even finished it i've i've just been solely grinding camo and uh i got set back it should have taken 15 times a day very cool based if i do say so myself uh well oh yeah no uh no i i got set back super hard on uh one of my characters so i kind of stopped doing the doing that stuff because uh or is it at the swap my spawn character lost his uh, uh, his purple gas mask and uh, like literally everything. I had a juggernaut on this guy, was ready to use it in a level three zone, and then I I load into a game and the game kicks me out. It's like sorry you can't connect to server at this time. I was like all right that's cool. Try to load back in again like five minutes later and it gives me the uh, uh, you have a corrupted loadout. Uh, you everything is white. So I, I lost all my weapons that were on spawn and, like, all the gear. I, I didn't, well, like, you know, all this gear right here. I lost all that. So I've been going through, like, trying to get, get everything back again. Like, lost the big backpack, lost the purple gas mask, lost the three, lost the three, uh, three plates. I lost it all, man. So I, I've been going through, like, grinding for that stuff again so I could have them back on my spawn character. Because uh, Spawn is my offline character, uh, Chewy is my online, or, you know, I, I use Spawn in the offline, and then I use Chewy in the whatever, and Alucard's just there for, for shits and giggles. Have the tag pinned to my browser, like a, like a favorites thing. <laughs> That's pretty wild, I'm not gonna lie. But hey, you know what you like. But, uh, no, my other model was more, uh, it's kind of Riptide, glad you make it up your day's been going good. Uh, my other model was more Eichmann, I guess. I don't know. I'm I'm not familiar with all these terms. <laughs> uh, that's a that's a funny name. I hope it's not contagious. Uh, and then the other one was just a gondola. That's actually where the name comes from, Gondola Gaming. I don't really have like an actual anime name. I tried it for a little bit, but I didn't like it, so I just went back to Gondola Gaming. It's like ah, whatever. I'm pretty sure most people in here, like, know my real name anyways. It's been docked. It, it's been leaked, like, so many times every time I start up a new game. Or not a new game, but, like, an old game. I remember the Gondo. Everyone remembers the Gondo. 
You're a real one if you remember him. I should bring him out one of these days. I could bring him out now. Nah, I don't want to. I've already I've I've already been uh stalling. <laughs> I've already been stalling the stream as long as I can. Uh but yeah. Nah, so you know, sucks to suck that I lost all my stuff on spawn. I let me let me see where I am at in the in the story though. I think the last thing I needed to do was uh it's like one of everything or something like that, Saboteur. Yeah, complete Aether extraction contract. Kill 15 mercenaries guarding the extractor, shoot down reinforcement chopper, and uh, exfil with the uncommon Aether tool plan. Fuck. How do you even get an uncommon Aether tool plan? I remember. Oh, yeah. But yeah. So, this is where I'm at. I'm at like the 50% mark of one. It, oh, it gives it to you when you do it? Okay. I'll probably try it. I don't know. Which one's Aether Extractor? Is that the one where you gotta stop the rocket launchers, or is that the one where, uh, where you gotta hit the, hit the buttons, and then you gotta guard the thing? At the affiliate? Hey, thank you, Sonny. I think it's the rockets. Oh, god, the rockets is so hard to do solo, dude. It doesn't make it better that these guys just hit like they're on veteran mode. Like, they, like, one shot just wipes out, like, a plate. Two shots wipes out two plates. Three shots wipes out all your plates. And then, like, two shots and you're dead. It's, like, ridiculous, dude. Like, like the dudes in the starting zone are just way too beefy. Not on the health-wise, but just on the damage they do. Like, it's, it's not proportionate to the difficulty that we're in. Because, like, zombies don't even take out that much on, you know, on hits. It's wild. But, yeah. No, I, I helped one dude out in, like, the level 2 zone, and, like, that was rough. That was brutal. I, I I need to find more. Oh, wait, no. I think I have uh the jug. The jug cans, or whatever it's called. Uh, Give me a second. I think I have one of those. Mercy enough. They really don't, dude. I did get one of these, though. I'm holding on to it for, like, a level 3 zone. Uh, No, I do not have... That's my downs here because of the mercs, I know. Uh, yeah, it doesn't look like it. Uh, I do have three of these, so maybe I'll use one. Uh, nah. I'm saving this one for a, uh, what's it called? Uh, uh, there's, like, something that you gotta do with it, uh, for one of the camos. So I'm kind of saving that one. So you gotta use the, yeah, I know, that's what I'm not looking forward to. Uh, thermite's always cool. Uh, I'll roll in with this. I'll use uh, the flame shotgun and... Oh, wait. We're going to swap this out. Tor... R... Pull me out. Pull, pull me out. The hell is that? Sounds Russian. Want a head pat the cute boy. Sadly, I don't have the head pat redeems enabled anymore. Uh... I used to have it on the gondola model, but I've been too lazy to get it set up on this one. You can throw stuff at me. That's always cool. You can head pat gondo like this. There you go. Mailbox has the right idea. I can also do this. I like my toggles. Uh, what is it? Six. Six is angry. There we go. It's a little weird, though. Like, yeah. Because it... it like, as I'm talking, it, it goes back to, like, smiley or whatever. But yeah, no, it's fine. Like I said, uh, I never worked with Solemn, so I wasn't really sure, like, what she did and stuff like that. But uh, now that I know, uh, I, I know what to ask for next time. I don't know. You, you'd figure I'd worked with, like, so many artists and riggers. I'd, I'd know what to ask for, but I don't know. It's different every time. Seeing Tired Gondo and you did, yeah, it's, uh, that, was, that was a rough one. It's like tired and like dead inside Gondo. It's my favorite favorite one. But yeah, that's like three toggles. That's uh that's the bags under eyes, and then that's the dead eyes, and then that's the the eye shadow. I used to have that little uh the little dongle thing that like was on the side of my head, but I I kind of didn't like it. I just wanted the eye shadows, and uh so I, I went into my own files and deleted it, and then I realized that 
I can go into those files and paint them up any way that I want to. So if I wanted to, I completely like recolor my own model and uh, have the rigging kind of stay the same. Is whiplash with what I calm? Yeah, it's it's like the best thing you can do. Just uh, what's it called? Make them uh, make them want to quit when they're done with you. That's what I always say. They're not people. Artists artists aren't people. They don't deserve rights. <laughs> Alright, let me, uh, I've been stalling long enough. We're gonna hop in. Let's see. I got the, I got the shotgun. I got the machine gun. I'm, I'm good. I'm good to go. Put me in, coach. Hopefully I don't lose all my stuff. Draw a mailbox writing verse. <laughs> you got this? Yeah, I got this. This is easy. I've, uh, like I said, I've mainly just been like grinding for stuff. Uh, oh no, am I loading? No, I didn't. I shouldn't be loading it with people. Uh, I think it's just glitched. I don't think I should be loading in with people. If I am, then uh, then I'm a solo it. Easy clap, easy money, exactly, dude. The zombies mode been a lot of fun. Uh, although I've I've been a little burnt. I wouldn't say I'm burnt out on it. It's just the camo grind is what's burning me out. Uh, especially since you don't get a lot of XP from, you know, zombies. Oh, I don't think I turned on my weapon XP modifier. Ah, it'll be fine. But yeah. But uh, I do always leave with a lot of stuff. I'm hoping I can find uh, the big backpack again. I know where I can buy one, and depending if the the buy station spawns in the right area, I may go for it. If not, then I'm I'm not gonna go for it until I can get it in the right area. Keep it a hundred percent. I mostly solo even when squatting. Yeah, I've only squatted up once, like with randos once, and I didn't like it because we it was only my third, my fourth or fifth game, and we immediately went into like the the mid. It the mid threat zone and i i did not have a good time there randomize if you have teammates and how many yeah all right let's see uh no the buy station didn't spawn in the area that i wanted it to yeah if like the buy station spawns like somewhere in this area it's easy but if it spawns like right here or where is the buy station at here i'm like not blind, am I? Like, there's just, like, not a buy station in here? Wait, where is it? Oh, I guess... I guess there's not one in the... In the zone. That's weird. Ah, whatever. It'll be fine. Yeah, I've never seen a buy station not spawn in that zone. Oh, no. Yeah, one of the camos I'm going for is uh, killing zombies hip fire only, which I should be able to get on this one. It's just hard to do because you're because uh... you only have six shots, and then if you go through all six, then uh, you're essentially screwed. I like misfired on that one. Oh boy. Alright. We're going for this target. It's the easiest one to do. Oh wait, I got the wrong. I was like, wait, why can't I swap weapons? There we go. Alright, hopefully it's a mimic. Yeah, it's a mimic. Easy. Oh, jeez. There we go. But yeah, I've never seen that before. Where you just load into a, a like a game and it doesn't have a thing. I got lucky earlier and got the gold rarity PPK. Holy shit, dude. 
Did you just, like, find it or something? Let's see. Where's this dude at? Mystery box? Ah, oh, I should be using the mystery box more. Oh my god, this asshole. I should have brought in a uh, a rarity tool. I didn't realize I do this little damage. Oh, jeez. Easy, yeah. Easy if I had the uh, rarity tools. Ah, oh, shit. He's coming for me! And he blew up my landmine as well. Which is uh, what I mainly use to do like the majority of my damage. Why is he so quick? And I have no, uh... Oh god, there's one of those there. I wish I would have seen that before I, like, got into this fight. Possibly tier 3. Jeez. Seriously, why is he so quick? Ah, oh, fuck. It's over. Okay, never mind. It's not over. It was. It was close to it. Femboy? There's no femboys. This isn't a badger stream. What's going on, Ben? Oh, and I got one of these. Let's go. Tombstone? Yeah, we'll we'll drink that. Might as well. There's no point in holding on to it. You're kin enough. That really was. Yeah, I need a I need to stop by a wait, what else was in there? Oh, it was the uh Yeah, it was just that. We don't need that. That's a that's a level two plate. Out of my way. Let's see. What was it again? Oh wait, this is an easy one. This is a pretty easy one. I'm just also trying to get a, get rewards too. I need a uh, I need a blue one. Also, the only reason why I haven't been using the mystery boxes is because I've been like really stubborn and trying to get uh like you know the camos that I want or like trying to complete camos. But uh, I should probably stop doing that and uh, actually go for the mystery boxes. So that way I can at least like stand a better chance. I keep forgetting about the box until I walk by one. I I always see them and I never go for them. Ooh, yeah, we'll take that. There we go. I've been having like issues. I don't know what I picked up, but I gotta drop it. There we go. Alright, we're gonna have to go back to that barn, because that's where I left the uh, the stuff. Let's uh, keep the same weapons. Yeah, I know that feeling. Anything good? Hell yeah. More plates. More plates, more dates. Shit. 
cheese. Alright, let's see. Where? And then we'll just camp it in the restroom, DSP style. I wish I had a speed cola. Hey, what's going on, Punk? Thank you. Very cool. Yeah, it's uh, it's been two whole years since I got affiliate. It's been a lot of fun. Frickin' dogs. Oh, it's over. It's so ogre. It's never been more ogre than it has been right now. Alright. I have to take this outside. I got overrun too quickly. Jeez. What is this? I feel like they upped the zombie count in this one a little bit. Oh god, jump! Why can't I climb it? And why can they still hit me? I got swiped. I really did. Oh, uh, this is where I should have been. There we go. Jeez. Yeah, I got, I got really bad, because I was actually supposed to be in this room, where there's, like, enough room. Stop. Spawning. Jeez. Hey, what's going on, Jay? Thank you. Bro, there's a whole fucking squad still in here. I'm just trying to collect my shit and leave. We'll use that. Uh, Basilisk. Basilisk would be pretty cool to use. Jeez, why? But yeah, what's going on, Jay? Glad you made it up. Your day's been going good. It's uh, It's been two years. Hey, big... Oh my god, dude. How many subs? Dude, very cool. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. Seriously, though. But yeah, I hope your day's been going good, dude. But, uh, yeah. Needless to say, I've been... It's been a long week, dude. Like I said, uh... Yesterday, I thought was, like, Friday. And it was only, what? Yesterday was, what, Wednesday? Uh, yeah, Wednesday? Hydrate? Yeah, I'll get you on that one. Alright, dropping by before I gotta go eat. Oh, yeah, dude. Go, go get your food. Oh, wait, I think this is the Aether Extract. Yeah, it's the Rockets. Fuck. Ah, oh, it's, like, the worst one. Yeah, like, yesterday I thought was, like, Friday, and it was only Wednesday. That's how long it's been, dude. It's been... It's been a long week. Oh, no, wait, what was that? A shock stick. Nah, we ain't taking it. My GPS can... Factor, so can you. All right, let me get more plates, then. I'm gonna need more plates, and I'm gonna need a, uh... I think I just need plates. I don't think I know where to go grab some. At this base right here. I wonder if I can find the motorcycle again. Hey, a convoy. Let's go. Bruh, ever since... Ever since... We got that one mission done... It's just convoy after convoy. Give me the insta kill, damn it. Jeez. 
Why am I getting hit so hard now? There we go. I think that's all. No, there's like one more left in there. That convoy during the 24 hour stream. Dude, I'm telling you, after the 24 hour stream, uh, I got hit with a double convoy. It was absolutely insane. Like, I've never seen two convoys spawn before in, like, the same game. But they absolutely did, and I was so mad. I went and cleared them both out. There we go, that's all of them. Oh god, jump! Cleared them both out of spite. I really did, dude. Bro, where are all these dudes coming from? It's like, just as soon as I get enough plates. There we go. Alright. How did that dog get up here? Bro, this game's busted. It's like, cannot have a fucking break right now, dude. Also, zombie hitboxes are kind of jank, too. Yeah, like, how does that hit me? Like, three feet away from it. No way they got, like, a three-foot range. There we go. Finally, three plates. The Street Fighter Six hitbox. They really do, dude. They got that shit on him. Alright, let's see. Where is this? There it is. Maybe that dude will help out. Alright, I think I got enough plates for it. It might be a little rough just because I have LMGs. Move your shit! Uh, oh, wait. Nah, not here. I was gonna say, wait, I need to stop by that ranch again. But I'm pretty sure it's already... Ah, oh, fuck, it's this place. Isn't it? No, it's not this place. Ah, oh, did that asshole take it? Okay, no, he didn't take it. I was gonna be so mad if he took my, my contract. Oh, jeez. Vehicle stuck. Nope. Your contract and said it's for me. <laughs> you really did. Alright. We're gonna have to leave it there. Actually, you know what? Let me buy some plates since we're at since I'm at a uh I'm at a buy station here anyways, and it's right next to one of these things. Very cool. Yeah. Oh shit. You drive like a Russian. No, I don't. I drive like an American. Actually, where's that gun thing? Oh, it's up here. I hate how slow reloading these things are. It's not realistic, okay? I can reload these things faster in real life. Uh, fuck. It's only one of these things. Oh my god. Where's my contract? Where are they coming from, dude? I hate this shit so much. Not a stapler. Whatever. I'm not like you. I wasn't a fucking desk jockey, okay? I was out there on the streets of Schriever, Colorado. Please, stop spawning now. Let me... Get my shit and leave. And the streets of the BX, exactly, dude. You don't know how rough it was out there. Alright, 
this loaded up. Oh boy. Three minutes, let's go. Actually, let me plate up first before I start rushing in like an idiot. Look at that shit! Two hits! Two hits and I've already lost my plate at two plates and half health. And a juggernaut. Bro, I've already got like no fucking plates. Overload, overload, please. Nope. I got that fucking luck, dude. I don't got that tax burn anymore. That's it. It's over for me. I got no plates. I got no revives. Bro, this shit's bullshit. I just keep missing, keep missing. One functional rocket remaining, dig it out. I don't need reminds of what happens if that Ethereum goes wide. Thirty seconds, let's fucking go. Did I not die right there? Ten seconds, let's go. It's over, it's over, it's over, it's over. Jeez. Alright, let's see. Any dudes out here, or can I just... Ah, oh, that's what I needed. Speed Cola. Like, 20 seconds ago. Ah, oh, fuck. I hate this mission so much. Let's see. Shoot down Reinforcement Chopper and exfil with the Uncommon Aether Tool. Fuck. Bro, chill. I'm probably just gonna load in with an Uncommon Aether Tool. And, uh... Exfil that way. Oh my god. How? Yeah, these dudes are fucking busted. Yeah, these mercs are hella fucking busted, dude. It's just a... It's just a green weapon. It's fine. Also, I don't know why sometimes Vaultine puts me in a crouch position. It's really weird. Uh, so we just walk through walls now? Very cool. Does that depending on health of your knees? God damn. 
rip my knees then. Nah, my knees are still okay. Why ain't this shit taken out in one hit anymore? Alright, I need to get out of here. I'm wasting like too much time in this shit zone. Let's see, what do we got over here? Ah, oh, it's an el elimination. Oh, we'll go for that hatchback. That'll be good. I wonder if my vehicle has enough uh, gas to get me out of here. At least get me to the hatchback. Oh yeah, it's got enough. Oh my god, there's a chopper there. I could have literally taken it out if I had a rocket launcher. It won't what? It won't what? It won't let me uh, exfil with one? Yeah, we ain't doing those rocket missions anymore. Those rocket missions are ass, dude. They really are. Oh, it won't have enough gas? Nah, it's good. Let's see. I'm gonna dip. Good luck. Damn, this guy got a dip. Dipping when he don't even have the drip. I don't believe it. Nah, it's cool, dude. Excuse me. Jeez. Look at this guy. Comes in, shoots people, leaves. Calls them scrubs. Doesn't back it up. Let's see. Oh, wait, no. This is the thing that's blocked off, isn't it? Fuck. Surprised that there's not any, uh... Oh, wait, you know what? We could probably make it through with, uh, the ATV. Oh. Can I not can I not just take this ATV? What a rip. A perfectly good ATV and they won't even let me take it, man. What a shame. Oh, you know, it wouldn't have, it wouldn't have mattered if I died anyways. I got the tombstone thing. I completely forgot about that. There we go. Finally I can stop using the shock. Well, I got to keep using the shotgun. But at least I don't have to use it for a while now. Alright. Oh god, it's this one. This one's this one's a little rough just because of where it's located. It's one of those things where I wish I had a uh, uber weapon. <laughs> We'll take it. I'll use it for now. Just so that way I don't have to use a uh, shitty... What do you call it? A shotgun for now. And it's quicker to reload. Let's see if we can get a, a life thing. Speed Cola makes all the difference. Oh, 
Oh god, why are there so many here? Why are there so many and why do I have so few plates? I've never actually been able to figure out like a good place here. Oh, thank god, plates. Ninety-seven. Let's go. Oh, thank God. Anything good? Lockwood. Nah. Ah, oh, my shotgun despawned. I was hoping to pick it back up for the uh for the next for whatever else I had to do. Oh, man, what else do I need to do for this? I need to shoot down a reinforcement chopper. I'm assuming that's just any chopper. But it might be easier with, like, two players or something like that. Either that or maybe I can just, like, do the rocket one. Just kind of camp out in an area and then, like, wait till, like, one appears. And then shoot it down. I got 15 minutes. Let's see. Escort. Where is my nearest exfil? I might as well exfil because the shop isn't where I want it to be. It's not even in here, and that's what I need the most, so that way I can get a, uh, what do you call it? Oh, is that lit? Is that really the closest one? No, there's one north of me. Somewhere. Oh, wait, no. That's... There it is. I was like, wait, where is this at? Oh, and it's here. Let's go. Only without me. Ooh, seven seconds. Let's go. All right. It's okay. I got my shotgun. Ready for the next one. Or I can... Oh, wait. No, never mind. I'm at the... I'm going to have to have a cooldown for my shotgun. Never mind. I forgot if you drop a... Uh... If you drop one of your insured weapons, you gotta wait an hour before you can use an insured weapon again. Crap. Unless I got one just, like, lying in the thing. Which I don't know if I do or not. Let's see, 10,000? 10K? That's not too bad. Any minute now. Yeah, new camo. It's like the shittiest camo that I've seen, too. I can't wait to get the Tesla Storm. That one looks like the coolest one that I've seen. Alright. Alright, let's see. And the thing that sucks is I can't even, like, see what I need to do for them. Ah, uh, it's like the worst. I need to hurry up and finish it so that way I can get to the next one. Uh, let's see. We'll take proximity mines. Actually, you know what? Taking the, uh... And I left without a, uh... Lifeline. So, rip me. Guess I could have gone to a level 2 zone and pick picked one up. Yeah, I hate how you can't see camos. Alright, what do we need? Shoot down reinforcement chopper... Let's see, gear. Swap that. 
I do have a rocket launcher. There we go. We're going to go for that. We're going to go for that one. Uh, and what was it again? What do I need? I need an exfil with... Uncommon Aether Tool Plan. Oh, Uncommon Aether Tool Plan. How the fuck do you get one of those? Fucking... Mailbox says they just give it to you. Uncommon Aether Tool. Yeah. Alright, I guess I gotta do it again or something? Or maybe I do gotta shoot down the reinforcement chopper and then I get it out of that. I think the, uh, who did that? Hey, what's going on, Badger? Glad you make it up your days when going good. Hey. But welcome. It's the anniversary stream. It's the affiliate anniversary stream. Shoot me. Why? It literally did nothing. It did nothing but nice to you this whole time. And you come in and you shoot me. Now I've actually been like, now I've been nice to you, I think. I've been as nice to you as I can be. There we go. We'll put it that way. Which is uh, the nicest way that I can put it. I'm just quirky like that. You are a little quirky little rodent. Badgers are rodents, right? I think they are. No. <laughs> well, what is it then? What is a badger? Man, they just threw a bunch of science shit at me and I ain't even gonna try to read it. You call a wolverine a rodent? Uh, maybe? I don't know, I've never seen a wolverine before. They look like... Manny... I'm gonna assume you mean mini bears. <laughs> but no, I've never seen one. They're the closest animal to a honey badger. Aw, little honey badgers. Or closest to skunks. Ugh, stinky. The little stinky badgers. Go take a shower. Smelly. <laughs> you shouldn't have told me you were you were related to skunks. It's like how are you gonna say you're you're related to skunks and not be called smelly? Let's see. Hey, we can do a delivery. All right. We can spray. I don't even want to. I didn't even need to know that, dude. <laughs> That's nasty. Badger says, like, we spray. Ew. Badger, when you get in a uh, modern warfare. Damn it, this guy's also going for it, too. Alright, I guess I'm walking it. Ooh. But he missed a cool thing. But there was nothing in it. Nah, I'm good, dude. I'm going for the big prizes. Fine. Jeez. Let's go. I don't know where he's taking me. Yeah, he's he's not going in the direction that I want to go. Buddy, I don't want to play. Go, go do your own thing. I got my thing to do. I got stuff to do. Tomorrow? Alright, we'll see. We'll see if uh if I'm streaming tomorrow. 
Wait, what's tomorrow? Thursday? Maybe I will stream on Thursday. I haven't streamed, like, since Sunday, so I need to catch up. Also, I don't know how long this stream. Tomorrow, wait, tomorrow's Friday? Oh, yeah, tomorrow's Friday. My days of the week have been, like, so screwed up, dude. Like, this whole time. I was like, oh, wait, today's Wednesday. I was like, no, wait, yesterday was Wednesday. But then I also thought yesterday was also... Uh, what's it called? I also thought yesterday was Friday as well. It's been a long week, dude. Leave me alone. Sorry, buddy. My car is better. It's been crashing non-stop on my friends. Really? What the hell? That sucks, dude. Alright, we're gonna camp this in here, and then I'm gonna shoot down this helicopter. Holy shit. If it stops moving. Oh my god. This thing does no damage. Put a 30 minute timer and if it crashes, it's gonna refund it. Damn. That sucks. Nah, I don't know. I mean, mine hasn't crashed. Okay, I don't think that counted. No, like, uh, my game hasn't crashed at all since, uh, since I bought it, or since I've been playing. It's been, uh, hey, Star Ghost. Oh, I thought that says StarCraft Ghost for some reason. Uh, my, my brain immediately went to StarCraft Ghost, and I was like, oh my god, I, I love StarCraft Ghost, or I wish it was a thing. The hell is this dude doing? One of these days we'll get a uh, we'll get StarCraft Ghost. I think it's like I don't know if like the demo is still out there or something like that, but I hope it is. Ah shit! How the fuck am I supposed to get a? Oh, there's a uh, there's a bridge over there. Man, I I'm actually glad I decided to take out that helicopter, because uh, if I didn't, I actually would have been done for. Dunzo, if you will. I always forget about this bridge. It's like the only bridge that you can get across. Which has me wondering if, uh, in, uh, what's it called? In, like, actual DMZ or Warzone mode, wherever this map's actually going towards, uh, if that bridge will be cleared. Like, how much of this map is actually going to look like this map? I don't know. I'm not going to play Warzone, though. I mean, they have been talking about updating it. Hey, we got one of these. Let's go. Buddy, what do you want? Leave me alone. I can solo it fine on my own. I wish I could just buy zombies. Yeah. I mean, you might get some enjoyment out of the campaign. I I didn't mind the campaign. I thought the campaign was pretty good. You know what? This guy will make an excellent uh, patsy. Moving. Cancel land. Let's see. There we go. Sent him an invite. We'll see if he'll take it.
where's this thing at? Did they at least had any more fun co-op missions? No, they didn't, unfortunately. Jeez, man. I just need to take out the helicopter. Wherever it is. Reload it! Reload it! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! I need that speed cannon. Or I need speed cannon. I need that speed cola. Oh my god. What a day not to have speed cola. Would have absolutely taken out that thing. Oh my god. How did he come from? Bro, seriously? No more helicopters? What the shit? Uh, F? F? Work? There we go. See if uh, one of these helicopters spawns in again. I hope so. I actually don't know like how you're supposed to take out these helicopters. Oh jeez. Nope. Had like one chance at getting that helicopter. And my rocket launcher was way too slow to load. What a rip. And it's okay, I'll get it next time. I don't know where that one dude went. I think he just, like, bailed. He probably realized that I wasn't trying to go for the objective or anything. Yeah, I don't know. I have to, like, look it up. I have to look it up how to how to take that out. Let me see. Let me see if the rocket or the rocket the no, I didn't. This map's a bust. Like I said, I need the I need the level three uh shop to like spawn somewhere in this area because like right there is where like zombies leaf spawn in or they're they're they don't spawn in immediately right there, so you can uh you can like quickly sneak in get to the shop, buy what you need, and then, like, dive into the water and, like, swim your way to safety. Or boat your way to safety. But, uh... I haven't had any luck lately. I've, I've seen it spawn in that location twice. And, uh... Yeah. So, we're gonna, we're gonna call it on this map right here. We'll call it on this map, and then we'll lop it... We'll lop. We'll hop into another one. Ah, shit. It's ogre. Bro, leave me alone. These zombies are wild. Come on. Are we leaving? Can we go now? 
There we go, finally. It's like, where's the countdown at? <laughs> this dude just camping on top. But yeah. No, the... The only co-op in it in this one is, uh... Is the zombies mode. So... Let's see. I'm trying to think of what else. Uh... I know December 1st. I think it's December 1st. They're going to be updating Warzone, so that way it'll be, uh, like, Modern Warfare 3, uh, you know, stuff. So, like, it, it'll be Modern Warfare 3 movement, uh, rather than Modern Warfare 2 movement, which, you know, people say is, like, slow and stuff like that. I, I didn't mind it. I, I didn't mind the slower pace. Uh, but after a while, you kind of you kinda had to, like, speed it up and uh, be a little sweaty with it. So I haven't really jumped into multiplayer for this game yet. Uh, I like the beta, but I, I've i been just... I don't know. I, I, I just want to take it easy now and grind some zombies and stuff like that. You know how it is. I don't know. Maybe I'll, do, maybe I'll jump into multiplayer. I wonder if there's, like, separate levels for multiplayer and stuff like that. I don't think there is. I was hoping to get a few more zombie camos, but it's hard, it's hard to do when... You know, you can't exactly see what camos you're gr you're grinding for. So, you know, it is what it is. Let's see. Where's my water at? There it is. I need a sip. Let me uh let me slap the videos on cuz I said law cal finds and uh we're going to finish watching that DSP thing. I wasn't sure if I wanted to like start it over from the beginning or just uh go at it from like start it from the beginning or start from where I left off, which I think I left off at like the hour mark. But considering I was like 30 some hours without sleep, uh probably start from the beginning. All right. We got the man of all hate. There we go. The it's the guy. DSP. Dark side Phil is pretty It's the guy. I'm watching his Twitch gamer. right now. Awful at gaming, but that's far from the only thing he's Let's awful see. at. From constantly failing to deliver on promises made to his audience to outright treating them like trash. So, yeah, we'll, do, we'll keep doing zombies for this one. Like people are fucking lazy. Just so that way I can uh trained. All while I don't have to focus too hard. With the taxes coming up in April and everything, there's gonna be like I said, I I want to get the large backpack too. To try to save my butt. If spitting on a plate you ate from was an Olympic sport, Phil would be a gold medalist. Though he would probably sell the gold Let's medal, see. finance his tax problems, and feed his mobile game addiction. This is the two decades. Let's go with the F tag. Proclaimed king of hate, Dark Side Phil. It doesn't really matter. Born on April 6, 1982, Philip uh, I wish I didn't. I wish my shotgun didn't despawn. Quite to his life after becoming an online personality. Very little of his early years have been documented. I don't know why, but it feels like the zombies difficulty has been like racked up a little bit. I feel like I'm like dying way more. Asking them for a rare $25 Wolverine toy for his birthday. Oh no! It's the it's the thing that's literally defined DSP for like all his life. Very unlikely this is the case. When they take too long to buy it and the store runs out of stock for that particular toy he berates them and seeing how amp he still gets when retelling the story it seems he still resents them for this yeah so my birthday came and passed and guess what my parents go we're very sorry philip but that would be fucking sounds i said i told, told you to buy, buy the, the figure, figure. Why don't you listen to me? Bruh, he forward, was he like, from he was like 30 years old, still fucking salty about a toy he didn't get for like his 10th birthday. Holding on to a grudge against his parents for 10, 20 fucking years, dude. What the fuck?
This dude's a fucking animal. This dude's a savage. In Catholic school, St. Ambrose, in 2000, as the valedictorian of his class before going on to study business at Fairfield University. But before there studying you go. business, he had a, he had a great academic life. He was busy in the competitive fighting game scene, with a particular interest in Capcom's Street Fighter series. In the 90s, he actually traveled across the United States to attend tournaments. Mind you, this is at a time when gaming was still seen as somewhat of a loser thing to be engaged in. So to be dedicated to it as much as he was, was pretty rare. However, this dedication didn't manifest in exclusively positive ways. Phil often lost his temper and was a generally toxic player, which turned many of the other attendees of the tournaments he participated in against him. Now when I go to these tournaments, I say, hey, guess what? Such and such. I've known you for 10 years. Get the fuck off this station because I want to play the game. Yeah, what a fucking asshole, dude. No, that, that's what happened to DSP. D What's worse is that DSP was the years, biggest fucking the pussy. He consistently lost every and the FGC. In. God damn it, didn't spawn here again. That was true. I was one of the biggest shit. It didn't spawn at all. Game. The game fucking knows and what I'm trying to do now. God damn it. And that's embarrassing. As he tells the story, when he finally turned this around and started winning, it was to the general chagrin of everyone involved, which earned him the title of the King of Hate, because everyone hated him. The competitive fighting game community by 2005 had largely made the transition from the use of arcade cabinets to console ports. Evo 2005, however, proved to be a bump in the middle of that transition. A PlayStation I do wish that there was a round-based mode. Turbo ...was particularly divisive in the fighting game community, with various bugs and technical details that would mar its reputation. The Port yeah, I do so wish that there was a round-based mode in this one as well. In this particular port, that as a result, various high-level uh, players eh, end up so whatever. the event in protest to its use. I can kind of see why I people wanted round-based it back again. I was kind of done with it though. Specific. In perhaps the earliest manifestation of his ability to handle his finances in anything resembling a mature way, a 23-year-old Phil was living in a three-bedroom apartment he knew he was going to move out of within half a year. In the meantime, he had no idea how he was going to pay his bills, let alone find and pay for another place to live in. With his only job prospect being an entry-level position at a Best Buy, Phil applied his business diploma to the best of his abilities. Instead of buckling up and being frugal, hoping to scrape by until his conditions improved, he decided to take cash advances Body. on every single one of his credit cards, which ended up being about three thousand dollars so that he could travel to and attend evo this decision mangled him financially so bad that he spent the next five years only managing to pay off the interest was it worth it what well it, he oh. placed not third not second not first but fourth, fourth. In the tournament however since the top fourth three place dave the let's go arranged this win to mean he was cranking out those wins player. Exclusively nah, he's like, yeah, he's, he's the best uh, American Super Turbo player. Based on their nationality. This gets even sillier when you consider there we go. acting like this tournament somehow represented the Mother entire country, fucker, which stop. instantly falls on its face when you take into account the fact that many American players didn't participate due to their issues with the port. Other people in the community... Zombies do get annoying, PSP, though. I'm not gonna lie. About this event very kindly. You got some, That's the answer I was looking for. You got some idiot named DSP. What is this, a 30... That's a 15-round mag? What? I like to, I like to get Bro, look at the size of this mag. There's no way this is 15 rounds. This, this is a fucking 30 round mag. Because he beat me and Choi in a game that was like, it's like jank ass version of Street, Street Fighter. Fighter. Hell yeah. <laughs> This may seem like a minor issue, but it's less about the tournament itself and more about how Phil himself behaved afterwards. In later videos, he belittles the players' issues with the port, saying that they shouldn't have expected arcade-like gameplay from a console, and instead should have practiced more. Instead, we said instead of being about it, which is what it seems all the OGs were doing, we'll just play the game and learn the differences so we know for the tournament. Being a sore loser is bad, but not content with just that, Phil managed to also be a sore winner because even after <laughs> yeah, I've been saying that. Game, like, I don't know how DSP can win. Win, and then still be like, like a buffoon, salty about winning well, it's like bro how are you gonna be salty like about winning over people he was you're literally the definition of a sore winner which i didn't think was possible but it's absolutely possible 950 in fuck. 2002 he pushed the limits so much that while he was leaving the place he was playing at him and his friends were followed by the friend group of someone he recently lost to who proceeded to compel him to pay a nominal amount of money for being a general nuisance according to justin wong another avid Street Fighter player whom DSP had beat before, he had the tendency of being nice to him in person and saying terrible things about him when he wasn't around. Yeah, However, the most detailed account of why exactly DSP had such a terrible reputation in the community came from another fellow Street Fighter player, Viscant. His Reddit post reads,
Trees and Viscont. Falls. This would have been either Evo 2005 yeah, that's, or Evo uh, The Viscont shit is I've like... Been talking oh, trash shit. For weeks months before I finally the Viscont shit is like I'm the funniest sure thing ever. I a money match and knew he wasn't going to accept. It was going to be like, lol, fight me IRL at Evo. And I accepted. From here, it turns into what sounds like a total farce, except I can assure you that it was 100% there we serious, go. which makes us both look like total Mother complete fucker. Idiots. So first, Phil was like, okay, well you have to sign some document because if I kill you, I don't want to yeah. be responsible. Yeah. Like, Classic DSP. I don't want to be held responsible for your death to sign this fucking then waiver. There was an honest to God negotiation over weight, and that we were going to have to weigh in and everything. Again, I'm not making any of this up. As dumb as this sounds, this absolutely happened. Finally, it was agreed oh, yeah, that we would have to go on a diet to fight me, and it was settled that we were going to fight. It was going to have MMA rules. It would have a referee, and we'd sign waivers. I was dumb in the mid 2000s. Anyway, so we agreed upon this early in the year, and from here on is where the story Bro, gets. Please, weird. I just need so a few more zombies Phil now. Was under the impression that this wasn't going to happen and this was just internet shit talk but a few people from the west coast went out to one of the east coast tournaments and told him that i was taking this seriously and was going to fight him and had probably been in more gym fights in the past two months than he'd been in in his life so one day phil instant messages me on aim and tries to back out he was like hey so how let's about go this? How about something we good we're going to fight and then when a whole crowd is around us we both do dx I'll cross take it. chops to the crowd it'll be such a goof what kind of this, this really happened and i'm just like are you kidding me i honestly couldn't believe he was pulling this and i was still mad about the whole thing and actually wanted to fight him i told him i wasn't going to do any of that trolling but if you want to drop it then fine i'll drop it we can both i wish the scott so never dropped it happened. he could have had, had like he could have been like the biggest friend. walking and dub in the fgc if never you never like dropped the fight against DSP. Because if you don't know, Viscon also got into like some beef with uh, what's it called? With LTG. And the LTG shit was probably the funniest shit you'll ever hear about. I generally don't hold grudges. So uh, basically, it was really it was literally a the grudge match, but they they decided to take it out the parking garage situation, this on some uh, on some Ultra Street Fighter. Fine. What? The oh, I think this is a competitive Street Fighter player. Yeah, find the weapon stash. Friends, however unlikely that may seem, and they went on to collaborate with him in the future. One such acquaintance was Mr. John Rambo, who sought Phil out after his victory at Evo because he wanted to get better at Super Street Fighter Turbo. He'll come up again later, so keep that guy in your mind. Despite his infamy and localized gaming communities IRL, Phil found a way to circumvent this by tapping into the realm of online gaming. Even if word got around about his excesses at the competitions, it wouldn't be enough to prevent him from making a name for himself based exclusively on what he chose to put up online. He created a YouTube channel in 2007. I think it's uh, back at that one spot related to his where I saw in it. Gaming. But in 08, he slowly transitioned the channel into a rudimentary proto Let's Play channel. Though instead of having the screen captured directly while he played it, he recorded it with a separate device, meaning he pointed the camera at the TV, basically. Yep, at the classic. time, Phil lived with his parents and saw content creation as a pastime rather than a job. Not that content creation was much of a job option in the Jurassic period, which was YouTube prior to the 2010s, but even still, he was somewhat right, realistic about his experience. fucking do this. Still, that didn't stop Phil from taking inspiration from one of the early internet's most adored <laughs> Got levels, one. angry video game nerds. Now, as I was a, a Street Fighter player... Yeah, DSP completely, like, ripped off AVGN. In a hotel room. Not in a good way, either. Like, AVGN's way of doing videos is, like... You know, very high quality. Well, for whatever reason, DSP didn't catch that part. You know, and they showed me a video of this guy who looked like, like, very much dressed up like a nerd, right? The nerd. Down white kind of shirt, black thick glasses, right? Even talk kind of a little bit high pitched or whatever. And here he is, ranting at a video game, making funny lines, talking over the top, swearing like a sailor. Hilarious. Yeah, that's where DSP got it. Just him in a camera making fun of a video game. Though I get what he's saying, there is a kind of purity and earnestness to early YouTube Kino, and I use that word loosely because I'm pretty sure AVGN was on another site before he was on YouTube, but I digress. I think Phil took the no production value part a little too seriously. <laughs> yeah, he really did. Playthroughs in bulk, with several hours of video dedicated to each game with absolutely no editing involved. On this decrepit, old, and abandoned channel, there are over 7,000 videos, because back then, you couldn't upload very long videos, compelling Phil to split them up into dozens, if not 7,000 and videos dude he's yeah, like oh he's like pushing like 80,000 videos uploaded to his like all his youtube channels combined with built -in it's absolutely insane completely raw like there's other people that have like way more videos uploaded 
actually blow up but like don't surprise me. i don't know don't why it's just so weird seeing it from dsps though i mean it shouldn't be that weird but like he's legit the only content creator i know that hasn't changed anything about like what he does when it comes to streaming on top of that, he brags about the passion and effort he put into the videos and his larger upload volume compared to these other much yeah, we'll more that one. When in reality, he just has the most videos We'll still that for now. Uh, I'm not really feeling the Renetti or the Sidewinder. I do kind of like the F-Tac. It's not that bad of a gun. He is doing us the issue is that he brags about it in a really grating way while putting others down. All the Hell yeah. The first conflict with someone else to be documented online, it wasn't a result of him disrespecting other YouTubers for trying to make money off of their content. Instead, it was during a recording of his playthrough of Spider-Man Shattered Dimensions when he was making too much of a racket and his name uh, was yeah, to that's a good one. Shut up in there. Being the good Samaritan he is, Phil took his neighbor's advice. As it turned <laughs> out, however, his neighbor wasn't the only person getting annoyed at Phil. The running joke surrounding DSP's online presence actually had a running start, as they were already going on before he had enough detractors, and people in general, seeing his content in order to pick up on it. Though if you are to go back and look at these older uploads, you can catch them in the wild. For example, Phil claimed he suffered from a chronic nasal drip, and because of this, he also chronically uh, snorted loudly into the microphone. Snort. Later on, in part due to his tendency to ask Oh, I'm surprised he didn't, like, cut into like a snort pigs many many times it would have been hilarious for his haters was his loudness which his neighbor can Let's corroborate see. but specifically his laugh lovingly dubbed the seal uh, laugh due to its ASMR there we go tier silver cargo sound design <laughs> Regardless of how entertaining or irritating these may be, they're most likely done unconsciously by Phil. This is just how he is. No, I I think they're completely done consciously by DSP himself. Like he he knows what he's doing half the time. Like when he snorts into the mic, when he burps into it, he knows what he's doing. He's he's absolutely being obnoxious, like on purpose, and not being apologetic about it at all. I mean, every now and then he'll be like, "Uh, sorry about that, guys. I, I got this drippage. And it's just like, bro, you are not fucking sorry. He loves it. He loves being obnoxious. Which means helicopter support incorporated. According to Phil's oh. retelling, he constantly worked extra hours and was paid less than other people who did the same job as him, despite the company's actual vice president telling them that he was better than his customer service position and that he was to undergo extensive training for a promotion into what sounds like a general managerial role. He supposedly Damn. did all this training while remaining a customer service employee, which he described as equivalent to working two jobs simultaneously. After two years of this, he was temporarily taken out of his customer service position and placed into that managerial Let's position. See. And nope. if his word is oh, to be there trusted, we go. Got he revamped the entire company and started saving them a lot of money. And his work was so excellent that they gave him an award. Oh my god, and a convoy? So uh, excellent, I don't want to deal with a no convoy. Had any use for him. And within two months of giving him this award, they laid him off. Does this sound fishy what the to fuck? you at all? Because it sounds like the Pacific Ocean to me, and to many other people as well. Well, though we only have Phil's side of the story, it's not that difficult to glean a very different one from simply looking into it. For starters, his last job was at Best Buy, and the story with it is also very interesting. Phil claims that he was the leader of a business team and was paid better than everyone else, and that the leadership at Best Buy hated him because he made too much money. Again, this story is basically that he was so good at his job, there was no reason for the business team, which he Bro, was how can these guys just chill in here without no gas mask? Him, they framed him for violating Best Buy's discount policy. That, or he did I think that is a thing, though. Best Buy's discount policy, I don't like remember, though. Like, I, I remember hearing something that DSP let Rambo his, anyway, his, like, his, like, employee discount or something like that. Helicopter support company. The like, I remember that being a thing. As a former logistics coordinator or maybe I'm like misremembering it or something like that but I could have sworn it was something like that who you know rather than what your work affects presumably Phil heard these kinds of complaints from his more blue-collar workers and decided to pretend he was one of them but the truth was precisely uh, the opposite. his father David worked at the company as a customer support manager from 2005 to 2007 later being promoted to logistics manager and finally continuous improvement leader which is noteworthy since this is the exact phrase Phil uses when describing his job and training at the company it instantly becomes 
becomes clear that David, having achieved a reputable position in the company, had his son hired as the position he used to occupy. The Nepotism, let's go. simply transplanted his dad's achievements onto himself. Unlike Phil, <laughs> his dad is an extremely experienced and highly skilled person, a former Marine with there we go. of 3.7. And we got something purple glowing over there. And one PhD, all related to quality management. His stint managing HSI was just an extension of his already decades-long business relationship with his parent company, Sikorsky Aircraft. Having See, begun his something good. Give me something good. Hey, oh, never mind. It's an uncommon thing. Own boss and opening a company of his own. The job he passed down to his son wasn't. I think I need the schematic and not the plan. He worked up I don't know. It says plan, so it's no but I've I've never seen a plan before, a unless it means All schematic. This becomes particularly egregious when later Let's on in his say career, Phil plates, plates a medium to yeah, it's literally nothing. I've never used the cluster grenades or the cluster mines in this game before, or in zombies. The whole being thoroughly trained for an elite position story also disintegrates once Phil makes the mistake of showing the award he got during a stream. As it turns out, the award for his amazing work was, in fact, simply a certificate that he had completed something called a certification program, which yeah, it's literally something that everyone company, gets. is something that tens of thousands of people go through at HSI, uh, and not a special is. program he was assigned to by the vice president himself. In yeah. any case, his delusion about his job at HSI is so great that he actually believes that him being what laid the off fuck? caused the company to go out of business. At that helicopter company I worked for, within a few years of me getting laid off, they, do, they went out of business. Another very conveniently underexplained wrinkle in this story is the detail about him buying a condo so that he could live closer to the job. And I paraphrase, be the guy that shows up during a snowstorm when everyone else doesn't. The problem with this Hustlers University tier motivational grind begins with the fact <laughs> that he bought a condo while being supposedly severely underpaid. However, the real crux of the condo story comes when you find out that, based on the intentional self docs Phil gave out in a video tour of his condo, and the public records of his dad's address, which are not going to be specified for privacy reasons, it was oh, less yeah. than a 10 minute drive from his parents' house. He already lived near his job. All his move did was shave off a mere 5 minutes from the total commute. Meaning Hell he yeah. A $130, On that grind. He wanted to buy one. The More Sigma added, grind, if you will. He had added to the in-depth analysis of his condo shenanigans. Let's saying see. that part of Phil's motivations for buying property so close to his parents was so he could just go back to their house to get meals and his clothes washed due to him being too much of a man-child to do those things himself. And to be honest, that could be a uh, thing, I but I do remember... choice because I am a man-baby and I refuse to do anything. Okay, so uh, I do remember something about that, and it was... Uh... Like back when DSP was working at Best, I I, I I remember hearing this like a different way. Uh, the way that I heard this was that DSP bought the condo from some chick that he worked with at Best Buy, and that he ended up uh, paying way more for it than what he should have. And some people will say that he overpaid just as a way that he could flex. Like, flex his money in front of this one chick that was, like, selling her condo or something like that. I don't know. It was really weird. Um, but I guess this guy's done a little bit more research. This is just the story that I remember hearing. But uh, whether the story's true or not, I don't know. Uh, it's just one of those stories that gets passed around a lot. Anything. Last but not least, it's claimed he at one point admitted to buying the condo from a girl he worked yeah, with. Yeah, there it is. Getting with her, only to be no oh, that was it! Holy shit! Was closed. However, a lot of the original dark side Phil I can't believe it. Privated or otherwise unavailable through regular means. So these yeah. footnotes have yet to be verified. But regardless of the whys and hows... I mean, it's it's kind... I could kind of see that being true, true because they're, they're, they uncovered, like, his SOK... And his hobby... Uh... Was it SOK or... Sure, you can... Uh, uh shit like forum posts like begging for his audience to click on from years ago so where he was like terms and conditions like super fucking chud incel type ideal ideologies on women it was absolutely insane because i was like i was like what the fuck is this dude was due to a video of his being so successful youtube thought he was cheating oh pg flopper me in the shower topless i'm big up to the flopper basically slurring my words because i had drunk drank so much all right uh it went viral within a day the thing had something like thirty thousand views if not more um, and honestly, because I was making so much, you know, all right. I'm going to gonna assume body. that all I need I is Aether like Tool plans. I'm going to assume I need Guess the what? schematics, that was the video but that I don't, YouTube, oh my God, that's so fucking ass to try to AdSense program. And they find a fucking schematic for an Aether Tool, dude. Like, what the fuck? You're sitting there clicking 
on the video to get ad revenue because you made so much in one Let's day. Let's see. So I don't like, think I've been I through here. It was the viewers. The viewers went nuts for this crazy video and probably went over and went, oh, I want to support Phil the underdog just lost his job. Let's all support Yeah, DSP whatever. the you're not underdog. Supposed you're not supposed to do that on YouTube. I like, hate how he still refers to himself as a fucking underdog. Like, dude at one point had, like, the most subs on Twitch. That sounds very, very real. It was <laughs> absolutely insane. That he asked for people to click on the ads, confirming that this was a violation. Not to mention that he makes like he he makes this more than like you know. As a series of playthroughs, he was in the process uh, of completing, were being uploaded to his fuck, channel. What do you call it? Uh, he got copyright striked, which made the original Dark Side Phil channel screech to a halt. Damn in it. response to this, he created DSP Gaming, his longest running. And he makes more than like you know gameplay, average. Even after the original channel was reactivated. When YouTube decided the copyright claims were indeed, he makes false. quite a bit of money. Since his AdSense account was still not working, the prospect of being a professional gaming content creator on YouTube was still squarely outside of Phil's purview. So he went to another website, which at the time was one of oh, YouTube's Oh no, Blip. not Blip. TV. Blip was considered laxer on copyright issues, hence why creators like nostalgia critics Doug Walker also re-uploaded their content there. However, Phil's time on Blip was very short. As Actually, we need to use this one. I need to get this one up to level 19 so that way I can do uh, the next achievement. For it, or the next camo grind for it. During a playthrough of the game Dead Space 2, saying that every enemy he killed in game was Jewish. This is what happens when you let the Jews do whatever they want. DSP, no! You're not Howard Stern. You can't do these jokes. Their greed has had the other fact to turn everyone into necromorphs. Despite being the second biggest creator on it at the time, this probably lost him his partnership with Blip, leaving him bereft and upset that he wasn't given a chance to redeem himself <laughs> by the platform. Just oh no, he he however, was. He was gonna have like a second chance, but then he said some fucking past. stupid the shit about the CEO in an, an email and got his fucking channel nuked permanently. being negotiated was back in 2010, but Phil ruined it by first demanding his videos be featured once a week on Machinima's channel, and when his demands were rejected, he made a video trashing the company for unrelated, and according to Hutch, made up reasons. Hell yeah, so level 49, let's go. We moving. Foolishly decided to take him on anyway. On top of that, they would also protect him from any potential Easy run. issues he may face. Just like that, DSP was back to brute forcing his YouTube success by uploading a massive volume of videos until one of them happened to get a lot of views. Oh, Much man. like he used to do on the original DSP account. Alongside the gameplay videos, he had other segments such as Ask the King Q&A, The Week in Preview, which I suppose covered DSP related news, and the most notorious DSP Tries It, where Phil would, as the name suggests. Okay, yeah, so I guess I do gotta find the plan. How the hell, dude? I haven't found like a schematic in like 10 hours and every time i do find a schematic it's one that i already own i think like the last new schematic i got was the speed cola one but like yeah i i am having like the worst luck trying to get these schematics i've run like 50 runs and i have not found like I've only found like four schematics out of 50 runs. It's literally the worst. Many more that enjoyed watching him. There was a moment in time in which it could be said the general audience wanted to like him, and there was a reason to be optimistic for the future of Dark Side Phil. But nobody could predict how fast this reputation would sour. I hate worthless humans. If you worked on this part of the game, you're a worthless human. Hell yeah. In Thank you, you worthless humans, for the views. And now, it rewarded viewer retention instead of sheer numbers of views. Essentially, the longer someone watches your Hold video... On. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go grab my dog. She's, like, freaking out downstairs about, like, the new dog that the neighbors got. She really doesn't like him. ...since he had a penchant for splitting his videos up into dozens of little tidbits, rarely cracking ten minutes, often being as short as two. He also refused to improve the technical aspects of his content despite how much money he had already made out of it and how many of his actual legitimate fans were begging him. By 2011, PewDiePie was already soaring to insane heights of popularity with relatively good quality, a decent mic, and even a face cam, setting a new standard for gaming content, while Phil was still languishing with his busted camera filming his screen with little to no editing to speak of. The problem became more and more inflamed as time went on, and Phil's viewers let him know that if he wasn't interested in evolving his format, they would move on to newer and better channels than his, to which he either responded with derision, a ban from his channel comments, or both. In short, DSP made it clear he didn't want to treat YouTube like it was, his job and his only source of income. You know, two years ago, it was about me, you know, waking up, putting my camera down whenever the hell I felt like it, recording for a few hours and uploading the footage to YouTube. 
Now it's about having a schedule. Every day, getting up, whether I feel good or not, plopping down on the couch, setting up, live streaming on a schedule so you guys can watch live, then trying to figure out how to schedule out uploads. It actually, I say this, it's actually Sorry, more back. work at this point doing what I'm doing because it is more like having a regular job. You know, every day I'm trying to do two streams because that's the kind of dedication that I put towards this effort. So, you know, being having sitting down, streaming for several hours, uploading video, streaming a second stream, babysitting the video, setting them up for upload, putting them into playlists, tweeting, keeping you guys in the know. All right, I got to figure out. a lot of work versus what I used to do. Very rarely do you. I got to figure out how to shoot down this reinforcement helicopter. All right, I'm going to have to find a key card. Alright. So, it looks like the meta is and try to pack a punch, punch a rocket launcher and try to take out one of those reinforcement things. Alright. You get this clear of an Did I bring my rocket? Laziness. I did not. Uh, I might be. You know what? Hold on, channel, let me see. Clearly, it wasn't enough for him to hire an editor, get a capture card, or basically anything that would. Bro, I am not viewer, getting lucky with these shops the appearing in the fucking in the zone that enough, right now. Even in hindsight, he sees nothing wrong with his attitude and actually blames the negative right. responses he was getting on people being envious of how much money he was making due to his plummeting popularity and concomitantly his depleting AdSense revenue. Machinima sought to reevaluate his contract, renegotiating various. Rip. areas of their partnership particularly the amount phil was paid for pumping out his content a gutter knife. under nice. heavy scrutiny since machinima was receiving a lot less from advertisers it seems that this renegotiation talk finally lit an ember under phil's ass and got him to at least try and do different things than his usual stick one of these things was a series called project 7 which was purportedly made based on suggestions from machinima and his fan base i know this era there of go. youtube and particularly hellhound stun adjacent to avgn and nostalgia critic which this definitely was is typically oh my God, God, please. That's, that's part of the appeal, but I think this was cutting it a little bit close. That's right, and you'll never escape my clutches. <laughs> right. I see an easy one. Hopefully it's not in this barn. I really don't want to be in there. It's like my least favorite place to be. That's just me being a hater, though, because alongside with this panel at MAGFest 2012, Project 7 was one of the very few instances of genuine oh, positivity surrounding Phil's come up. And for a very brief period, it was almost as if he wasn't... Should have grabbed a soda, but I already had a soda for today. I'm trying to, like, cut down the amount of sodas that I normally drink, because it's... Oh, God, it is here. Fuck. It's been bad for me. The story it's been hour and bad for me. long video that eventually came out in 2015, only to be taken down by Phil due to it being a PR nightmare for him, his friends, John Rambo and... Howard, with whom he did Project 7, told the truth about how it was made. Mind you, this wasn't initiated by John and Howard, but by Phil himself, who, when asked about the rumors of the team... Stick to the outside. Don't get... Holy shit! Their problems ...and suggested that the only feasible explanation for their falling Stick out... Stick to the outside. Don't get yourself cornered. Him, Phil tends to do. All of the Holy shit! Project 7, ...which heavily relied on editing and storyboarding, were produced by two childhood friends of Howard's, Andre and Paul, who ran the YouTube channel Respect the Pact. As a matter of fact, they were the ones who had the idea for Project 7, 
and only brought Phil in, presumably because he was looking for ways to branch out with his contacts. Initially, Phil being the face of it meant that their work would get more eyes on it than usual, which is a good thing. However, they quickly realized Phil wasn't exactly someone who exhibited good faith. For starters, yep. the editing and special effects, which again were the brunt of the series, was taking up a lot of Andre and Paul's time, especially since Andre was about to become a father. This prompted John to tell Phil to pay them for their efforts, to which Phil replied he had already offered to do so, and they'd turned it down. This turned out to be a bold face. And line, on top of that, DSP went out and John bought a fucking BMW. Every intention of what an asshole. Proceeds from Project 7 to himself and wanted to share it with absolutely Imagine no doing that and shit. You think this is because of machinima trying to start up what have you. like an internet series and then rather than paying your friends to, for the work that they've been doing for you you fucking go out and buy a bmw what an asshole this dude is Notwithstanding, there we go. everyone involved in the series contributed out of their own pocket to produce and sell merchandise for it. But only Phil ever saw any of the resulting revenue. The pettiness on Phil's part was so extensive that he didn't even tolerate positive comments about the other participants in Project 7. Upon seeing John Rambo's contributions to the show be considered funnier and better performed than his, Phil rushed to claim that everything, including their lines, was his idea when they were oh, shit. They confronted him about it, and he apologized, but according to John in particular, Phil's apologies meant very little. Over the course of their friendship, Phil tended to either make a slight or tell a lie about John. Get off me, dude. Only to do it again a while after. Ultimately, this is why their friendship broke down. They simply lost all faith that Phil could listen and care about what actions of his made his Jeez. pretty much only friends uncomfortable or upset and gave up on interacting with them altogether. Eventually, in 2022, Phil claimed that the reason no payment was made to them for their work on the project was due to the fact that, indeed, the project was Bro, losing money. please, leave me alone. Case, and who knows, there's a fair chance it was he could have just communicated that to them. The fact that he didn't talk about the project failing until 10 years later is at least god a little damn. bit suspicious, I guess. Just a little. While the oh my god, I could use the, the fucking pack a punch on this weapon. Friends, he was beginning a new I'm so mad. Let's see. Indiana, you know what? We'll just use it on this. We'll use a green one. Immediately, people took All right, 3,100. We're almost there. Old, while Leanna was born in 1993, we gotta find a store. In 2012, she would have been 19 turning 20. Since oh Phil's no. Mike was indistinguishable from his content at this point since he would spend most of his waking hours. Uh, uh, let's see, I need a store. To to the pumping out of more content. Leanna coming into his life meant that she was bound to show up on the videos as well. However, some viewers took issues with this, as her presence was sometimes considered disruptive to the regular flow of content. Personally, I don't get this very Yeah, Leanna was pretty fucking tell, annoying. She was basically the female version of Phil, and close to being as obnoxious and insensitive as he was. But anyway, yeah, you gotta, like, expose the Illuminati. They know everything, but I know more. Viewers attempted yeah. to negotiate God, with Yeah, Pandali was so fucking videos. annoying, but you know what? Big ups to her for getting out of the fucking vortex and, abject hatred and responded exactly not how you'd expect coming back, I guess. I don't know. With you, but these type of vlogs I won't give her too many big ups. She still was fucking annoying, girl. and she was super antagonistic towards a lot of people. A while, despite the consistent grumbling of some members of the audience. Until one day, it scabbed over during a stream in which Phil was playing Kingdom Hearts. Panda Lee began provoking the chat by making a series of remarks stronghold. Kingdom Hearts is boring. All fanboys, please cry into jars so I can moisturize in your sadness and Yeah, rage. there we Due go. Due to this somewhat inflammatory comment towards a beloved franchise, people fell to her goading and began arguing with her in chat. This is hardly a shock, since when people are watching Phil play a game, it tends to be because they like the game. This went on until the crushing majority of chat turned against her, not just because they liked Kingdom Hearts, but because she was actively drawing negative attention to herself for no reason. All of it culminated in her appealing to Phil to do something about people being mean to her in chat. Say, and so we'll slap. All right, and now I'm gonna fire on this the thing chat. too. I've Hell had yeah! Your bullshit tonight. I see everyone arguing with my girlfriend. And then now I need to find a stronghold. Had enough. So we're gonna turn it in there we go. mode, and now none of you can can talk since you can't act your age. All right, <laughs> let's see if I can clear out a stronghold solo. Have no chat. How about that? So yeah, how about that, guys? Because you're insulting my girlfriend, I'm gonna block all of chat. If people had found her to be a slight, even if infrequent, annoyance before, now she had been seen as a bully and a coward who was prone to instigating conflicts with her boyfriend's audience, only to run back under his umbrella of safety when people treated her how she treated others. She also took on Phil's tendencies regarding participating in flame wars in the comment sections, saying things like, I get paid for trolls to watch and whine, so I don't see the harm in letting me get paid for them to cry more. Yeah, you clearly aren't getting it. But Phil is and has for over a year now. And let's be honest. Do you think Phil and I care about what you or anyone else thinks? Because we Jeez, don't. If you were in front of me face to face, you'd get a nice annoyance. Fist, punching you right in the balls. 
Perhaps the most ironic moment out of the whole situation was that years later, Phil actually threw her under the bus and described her as someone who was confrontational and always wanted to get the one up on everyone else. I mentioned it before, but that's exactly the same trait that made Phil so unlikable early on. So he's not Let's even projecting see. it on her. He's accurately noticing why they got along with each other Small so well. Chance, they were yeah, similar we'll people, pop but this. Deanna did serve a purpose in the larger narrative of DSP. Her presence and, uh, led to much more yeah. concrete displays of disrespect from Phil to his audience. Indirectly, she was the reason many uh, of Phil's fans get noticed the how roof? comfortable he was disregarding Lame. their opinions and just doing whatever he wanted at their behest. Besides the beginning of Leanna's presence in his life and content, 2012 was also marked by even more examples of Phil being terrible at gaming, despite it being the core of his job. The most glaring instance was during a video of Half-Life Black Mesa, in which he failed to pay attention to the game's tutorial instructions, proceeded to struggle for 30 minutes in an area of the game because he didn't know how to crouch jump, and then claimed that this core mechanic of the game's movement was actually bugged. Up until this moment, Phil's haters were disorganized and disaffected, believing that no matter how poignant their criticisms of Phil and his content were, they'd just fall on deaf ears. But as 2013 began, this was fated to change. A YouTube account called Evil AJ 2010 uploaded the very Oh no, not AJ! Please, videos, AJ, leave him alone. Phil he didn't mean it. Creator. This series was called This Is How You Don't Play, and it compiled DSP's playthroughs while highlighting the funniest examples of him being awful at a game. The first one contained clips of Phil playing Metal Gear, a stealth game, like it was a regular action game, and dying a lot in the process. Phil addressed this during one of his long-winded rant videos, and AJ, he no, don't do it to him. They were the dumb ones for bringing attention to DSP's you don't know it. and indirectly making him money. It was clear AJ that for did. Reason, he fucking uh. The game bugged him, even if just a little. He's like value, basically so the guy that started the. the this is how you don't play. Deal, right? Like somebody could make a whole channel on how bad I am at video games. They could make it a billions. But for Phil, it was the straw that broke the camel's back. The dam was cracking, and many of Phil's detractors, as he came to notoriously call them, saw it as a sign that they could also speak about their grievances with DSP in general. Slowly, the spark created by this video turned into a wildfire, and to an extent, it was more popular than Phil himself. Let's Due to see. Phil's focus on quantity over quality, the views his videos the got weren't really at? attached to him or his brand, nor on how good the videos uh, were. Someone's already Hence doing the drill. Fucking so much, assholes. They're stealing my shit. Or the video's topic was. I the come in here, clear it all out and like they come in and steal my shit dude audience. people who what didn't the like fuck? Phil and there was definitely an audience for that it seemed like Phil felt the shift to his public image happen in real time prompting him to make two videos I don't videos even know where the, the fucking drill so is either people actually hated him just because he was bad at the games the thing is many people have marketed their gaming videos on them sucking at it and dying a lot but DSP was the opposite he had a history of branding himself as a pro player and of blaming the game whenever he sucks there it part is. of his ego part of his persona was that he was good at games furthermore he also had a history of putting other people down for not being good at games. Case in point, to Buskis. Back in mid-2012, he made a video called Get Competitors Ads Off My Videos that, supposedly, was just him being upset that other channels were being advertised for in his videos. Putting aside the issue that he was still pocketing the money for these ads, in actuality, the video was a lot more Changing malicious that. than Phil led on. For a significant portion of it, he did nothing but bash to Buskis gratuitously. That being said, please understand, disclaimer, this, uh, this video is not intended I can have that shit. to be a direct It's nothing I need. A few moments later. Your shit I already have. Suck, you're not funny, and you're not good at games. Watch your own f***ing videos. You're horrible. When it comes All right, to gaming, let's see. So now I just need an uncommon aether tool. Very cool. I just got to rely on the RNG now to help me out here. I had to take a break from the grind. I was actually losing my mind. Bro, I'm about to lose my mind trying to find this uh, aether key. Or not aether key. This uh, aether tool plans. Because I haven't... Dude, I've only gotten like four schematics like out of 50 games that I've played at reg three times in a row. Jeez. Oh, re-gear three times in a row jeez dude that's that's rough i came close to having to redo all that like last game so that he made more money from a video but yeah, i'm a i'm gonna do one more and hopefully i can get a hopefully i can get a schematic out of it dude i oh my god it's been so annoying here we go we'll do an escort don't put as much effort into their gameplays as he does despite the fact that as of may 2012 he was still refusing but yeah i was gonna avoid glad you can make it up your days when going good instead of pointing a camera hopefully it's been better than mine his decision to not pay anyone the grind has been too unkind thumbnails for him is justified due to how stellar his commentary is so much so that he describes it as 
like nonstop yeah. improv comedy. I'm not going to sit here and act. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. it's a it's a whole comedy show, show here, guys. Show, but you know what you're getting into. Managed to be even more obnoxious. All in all, it was very clear that Phil was simply seething because there was someone. Good luck, dude. You'll need it because I just keep getting duplicates, bro. I've got nothing but duplicates too. It's been so fucking ass. He acts like he's a goofball. He's self-deprecating. Yeah, I don't know what his deal is with Toby Turner is. This entire commotion was particularly rich due to how many times Phil accused other people of disliking him out of jealousy, including the creator of the How You Don't Play series. The wave of hate towards DSP coalesced into a decentralized group called Kojima World Order, whose intro can be seen in many of the detractors' videos at the time. Unfortunately, there was also a downside to Phil being faced with all of these criticisms. It gave How long did it take you to get the Ether uh, schematic? Having begun all the way back when YouTube's Bro, I can't imagine getting the... Like, like getting the ether schematic like before everyone who was on his side oh it's a fucking escort fuck it was this one Finally, shit early to mid all right you know what this isn't too bad the unthinkable and bought a capture card Presumably oh my god a capture card i don't believe it also known as listening to reasonable advice your own audience has been giving you for years as to as to what they want to see or or maybe just like what the industry standard is however it was a little too late and the tide had already turned against him for good undeterred phil went on to cause even greater controversy within his audience when he started yeah, this is one of those where it's like, when rather than giving away actual games, have fun grinding. Oh, uh, yeah, the empty boxes saga. I can't believe DSP try to fucking do this shit. Just try to fucking do a giveaway for. Oh my god. This got him lambasted and unsubscribed from, even by many of his diehard yeah, fans. Yeah, take that, Mauler. fans, he was also being ridiculed by his peers. Other oh my god, another one? Celebrities anywhere from 2013 to mid-2014 were finding out who DSP was. Bro, why is my luck so shit? Pie and Minecraft's creator Nosh were roped into the DSP phenomenon. Even fellow Blip. Why is my luck so shit with, uh, with these things? The most notable instance of another YouTuber chiming in with their two cents about DSP's situation was Total Biscuit, but not because it was the most aggressive takedown. As a matter of fact, it was quite the opposite. It was one of the most scathing pieces of criticism DSP ever received, precisely because of how generous and understanding it was, as far as trying to see it from Phil's point of view. After being mentioned Later, a few Trump's. times by DSP, Total Biscuit made a comment saying, If DSP is name dropping me a lot, I don't know why. It's really weird that he's doing that. He's not my friend or colleague. I've barely spoken to him. I dislike DSP's content and his attitude. I've done some terrible things on the internet that I regret, but nothing close to the stuff he does on a very regular basis. He is a real Really, really bad Let's Big up Stevie. Blaming the game for his own mistakes, and I find that really distasteful. If you make your living playing someone else's work, then the least you can do is respect the work that went into it in the first place. I don't like yeah, to see true. someone harassed online daily. I've experienced it myself, and it's put me in some really dark places. But to say DSP brings it on himself is a massive understatement. His persona <laughs> is the king of hate. He does it on purpose, and there's a lot of baggage that comes with being super negative. That's like his only defining Bro, why are there so he's many goddamn plays, hellhounds right now? What did I do to deserve this hell? Like anything positive to happen. Here's the thing. Insulting I've literally done nothing. I've been a good boy. Damn it. Also, what is that purple shit? But let's not pretend that viewers are immune to criticism themselves. They often act like assholes. They're entitled, whiny, and provide that insta kill. criticism with no constructive use. It's gonna make this whole shit easier. Emotionally and mentally to be subject to that kind of stuff all the time. And I really feel like part of that is why DSP acts the way he does now. Sometimes viewers do shitty things and should be called out. But let's be frank, DSP has a long history of calling viewers out for no reason. Rather than try to move away from that, he has embraced it. I'd like to see DSP get some help. Therapy. DSP in his current form doesn't help anyone, least of all himself, and incidents like the I'm giving away boxes thing make me believe he has some problems that he needs to deal with and get past. Because oh regular people would not consider that a normal, sensible thing to do. I kind of pity him, but there's no smoke without fire, and DSP is a metaphorical arsonist. Bro, three? Four? A mauler? Why? Reading that comment, didn't take kindly to it. The entire Hell yeah, get him, my mauler. He doesn't watch my content at all, and has only formed an idea of who I am and what I produce Wait, what the from the KWO I just montages. Fire? Because watching that was weird. any playthrough for more than five minutes outside of Metal Gear Solid 2 and 3, you'd know that my content isn't constantly bashing games, game devs, and blaming the game exclusively. Yes, complaining about the games are part of what I do, but not nearly 100% of the content I put out. The fact he thinks that the king of hate means that I've embraced being negative about everything, and that's my hook, just proves he has no idea whatsoever what he's talking about. Total Biscuit thinks that his videos are some kind of godsend because he's informing people about Total Biscuit put more fucking effort into one video than DSP's put into his entire fucking career, YouTube career. People don't buy bad games when they see his stuff. 
Only I've gotten thousands of messages over the years saying the exact same thing about my playthroughs and or reviews. Just because he puts out one highly edited video and I play through an entire game from start to finish doesn't make him better than me. And honestly, one edited video versus playing through an entire game, which is really harder to do. Seeking therapy because I sometimes get upset over slash baited by trolls. Um, if I'd let it get that much to me, I'd be in a nut house by now. Little did Phil know he was indeed in a nut house, except it was his condo and only had one inmate himself. Besides him pretending like Total Biscuit was saying BSP's content was exclusively negative, Phil completely sidesteps the treating fans like shit accusation and the empty box giveaway so that he doesn't have to acknowledge there's at least an inkling of truth to TB's comments. Despite the fast approaching instability due to his plummeting in popularity and oh my god it's a fucking aether tool content kindly whatsoever the it's not a schematic phil burnell decided it was time to once again buy a new condo this time in washington supposedly he had no outstanding debt besides his condo which he was still paying the mortgage for and decided that connecticut was too bro why are there so many fucking maulers here dude so what did so i do to deserve this a house in another state despite his outright admission that he had no prospects of selling or renting the connecticut condo in early 2014 phil and leanna move in together Phil made it clear from the get-go that he was going to need his audience's money. A lot of it. Again, God the damn. Issue isn't what is this, a speech cola? Yeah, I'll drink it. The reason he needs support in the first place oh is my he God. to do a very expensive move at the same time his channel was dying. To make matters worse, he tried implying... I've never seen that many maulers on an escort mission before. I was looking for a transport cargo ship. Time not being good. It even got to the point that he suggested he was going uh, to upgrade his video's quality to 1080p. You I guess we can eliminate bounty. Eliminate yeah, bounty is fairly easy. Minimum. But the trolls didn't fall for the pity party. If anything, his pivots e-begging after his AdSense brute force strategy was no longer functional only earned him even more distaste. Since, instead of doing the smart thing by admitting this format was outdated and obsolete and changing it radically, he would rather beg for his fans to give him money directly. Before, Hell Phil yeah. was just ignoring the requests of people who watched him. A 15-year legacy, if you will. Ignore the requests of people directly putting money in his pocket. But tensions weren't rising exclusively on the YouTube front. Over at his fan forum, because yes, he has a fan forum. The users were beginning. Hey, to I got a fan Discord. It's not even a fan damage. Discord. It's more like a hangout place. Warnings, That's pretty cool. Users and lock threads without any concern. One infamous quote to come out of this situation was Phil saying, "I can't break the rules." I am the rules. I believe he's oh, actually God. unknowingly quoting Louis the Fourteenth, King of France, who said, "I am the law. I am the state." His own what a got fucking so asshole forum, this guy is! Holy shit! Phil. I can't believe he fucking said that shit. I didn't even know that shit. But then again, I'm not like super familiar with like his uh, his forums lore. Uh, you should never go to his website. Uh, he absolutely does like log IPs of people that show up and stuff like that and doxes people. Regarding myself or my work are considered troll. I wonder if he's going to talk about that. I don't know if he will or not. He absolutely should, though. Kojima world order in particular, but is not limited to it. I'm already seeing accounts that, no surprise, are popping up on the site and doing nothing but spreading unfair and unwarranted negativity about me. I'm all for legit criticism, but these anti-DSP movements are not that. They're one-sided bullying campaigns and will not be tolerated on my site in place of business. If you have a problem with that, contact an admin for immediate deactivation what is of your that? account. Thanks all for understanding and moving forward positively. Despite this agreement, Phil proceeded to not uphold his end of the bargain by permabanning a user for what he deemed was unwarranted and unproven slander. The mods of the forum, along with many of the Twitch mods, resigned en masse, saying, For those who read the settled agreement, this was oh, not it's a mimic. Allowed. It was in direct violation of our agreement. We tried our best to stay, and unfortunately, we failed in that regard. All the best, the departing staff. Noticing that even his own mods had left him, or in his eyes, betrayed him, a la Julius Caesar, Phil decided to respond on the forums. Mods did not I get him before he gets to... Oh, shit, never mind. First, which is why we've come to this. I refuse there we to go. I told you I get him. ...for a website where I get personally attacked with slander on a daily basis by the same people. Getting Speed slapped cola. on the wrist and warning points haven't done anything to change the fact that the forums are a shooting gallery God for damn it. In the future, I can't get this goddamn schematic. The time and willingness to properly I'm legit losing my fucking mind. ...to something more manageable for less people. Bro, I guess I go away. ...$3,000 website, and I set myself up for failure when I got it. Thanks for those leaving, and I wish you all well in the future. For those wishing to stay, let me know Let's so we can say... talk stuff out. I actually don't know what the hell he's talking escort. about here. There are Do I got time? Yeah, I got, got time for another escort mission. Free, so unless he's an absolute I'm assuming I can get to a gas station. As a matter of fact, there's no reason to even bring up $3,000 in the first place, so I suspect he just said it to brag. Unless he's trying to suggest he was paying for the moss to do their job, in which case we're back to lying because they were unpaid. The situation continued to escalate as an administrator...
administrator oh no i i, I absolutely believe dsp uh paid three thousand a month for his shitty fucking forums after the site was flooded with not safe for work images and completely wrecked it went down and stayed down for good at least until phil revived it sometime later with a new less inflammatory name just the DSP forums. When someone entered DSP's stream as he played Mortal Kombat 10, they successfully got him to lose his temper by bringing up the Indiana Kingdom Hearts incident, prompting Phil to spend the next few minutes just airing out his rage. I thought it was gonna happen two fucking years ago on Twitch. I mean, you'd be more of a fucking loser. Seriously. Uh, do you want to put your really, gas mask on, dude? The reason this guy joined my match was to do that. Not to play the game, not to have fun. He ruins it for everyone. Delays people who want to play have to wait now, right? Hit it! To to God damn! I mean, what? Ladies and gentlemen, you found the epitome of a loser on the internet. There we go. Finally. He alienated the vast swaths of his audience, and he apologized the very next day in a video on his YouTube channel. For once, this was an appropriate response, even if he was pressured into doing it. Every once in a while, Phil does seem to exhibit a sense of clarity. For example, some of his trolls doxed his new location back in the summer of 2014, which wasn't a very difficult task to do considering how careless DSP was about it. It took a long time for someone to do something with that information, but after five consecutive days of being DDoS attacked, someone tried to swap what Phil, saying he either had or was in the process of murdering his girlfriend and her family. I don't know. Nah, no one actually spot, spotted him. Unjustified and dangerous this was, but thankfully Phil had already been in contact with the police because uh, he predicted stop. something like that would happen. Perhaps because something similar already had happened at some point, but that's just speculation. However, Phil took this as an opportunity to conflate okay. the people who tried to swat him and falsely. So I didn't get shit out of that one. Everyone who had ever made a "this is how you don't play" video or mock you, him, yes, you. If you ever did a, this, this is how you don't play you personally put a gun to my head to i can't Especially believe he fucking said that shit situation he found himself in at the time obviously like, god damn it really because people made a shitty edit out of you of your videos that's putting a gun to your head how sad can you be dude too proud to start paying an editor and putting out decent content to quell the mutiny that the kojima world order had created his strategies to deal with world order let's go i love it due to being a member of machinima to strike the channel of whoever was bad mouthing him once again total biscuit this time along with slow beef popped up on twitter to address what phil was up to with the abusive copyright claims ironically dsp was soon going to suffer the same fate he put many people through at this time when dsp yep. gaming began facing various copyright id takedown notices due to his use of fan art in his free streams the threat that this post to phil's life that was like the funniest so shit too action would be taken hundreds of playthroughs that featured fan art were deleted and privated in order to prevent further strikes consequently the accumulated views on dsp's channel dropped dramatically which according to uh, Phil, i shouldn't have launched it engine. that far not only was his personality pushing people away from his videos and streams now his privileged spot in the eyes of the algorithm was going away and the house of cards was very quickly collapsing again Let's this see. is not something i wish on anyone not even Oof. someone as annoying as well it's Phil. gonna no. livelihood nah it'll it'll only take me to However, here so i'll have enough time to extract actively participated in bringing all of this upon himself he simply wouldn't stop in blaming exclusive bro what is this pink mist that like channel. appears around me whenever i get like a kill i legit don't even know what it is it's so weird this period of mid to late 2015 was making a little over a thousand dollars a month like he always did when it came to asking for money he brought up the topics of his taxes and bills saying he had to pay off his house but it was clear to anyone with half a brain that phil was not exactly living frugally he had nothing resembling savings to subsist on and actually dependent on things like the hike in revenue in the latter half of the year to keep himself afloat through all of the debt he had incurred none of which is explained to the viewer of course because that yeah 1500 let's go phil truly was due to the declining ad revenue machinima once again renegotiated their contract with phil and lowered his salary Instead of looking inward to where he could improve on his content, he decided to strike out at people who watched his videos with an ad blocker, calling them thieves, among other things. Though he'd previously oh my god, everyone with the ad line, blocker rant. I feel like everyone's had an ad blocker rant at least like once in their like youtube twitch career or something like that it's so wild to me but then again i've always been like pro ad block and stuff like that feel morally bad to be in such a situation everything is a tax write-off i don't need money you know i don't want that that's ridiculous i would have people be sending me money and stuff and i'm still not asking send me monies guys i need it to pay my bills if i were to have to do stuff like that and i never i really hope that i never will 
course, there's nothing wrong with opening up a Patreon per se, but when you try to guilt trip people into paying for debts that you chose to incur, there's definitely a problem at hand. This wasn't the only instance of Phil eating his own words either. He spent years mocking any Let's Player who did Minecraft videos, going as far as to say it was only widely played because it was free. The reason that people were playing Minecraft is because it is free. Guess Minecraft what? was free? You're a f***ing idiot. Once Patreon time, I don't remember Minecraft out, being free. Just tuned to simply having missed the game and said it is one of its years. However, much like any of the other obligations Phil made to his Go patrons fetch. during this time, he would fail to fulfill the extent of what was promised, with him only playing one of four prospective Minecraft sessions due to low viewership. Another incident came when users voted for Sona 3 to be that month's Patreon game. After a four month playthrough, he reached the final boss, only to rage quit it and not finish, saying it was the worst designed boss fight he'd ever done. He only returned oh, no. to Persona 3 later, but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Another tier on the DSP Patreon was yet Imagine quitting Persona 7, 3 on the easiest difficulty. $1, a month. Couldn't be me. Met, and he took some time off of streaming to work on it. Just two weeks later, he indefinitely postponed production, saying to do Project 7 I'm so time, sick of these hellhounds. They're legit one of the most an the most annoying enemies in this purpose. game. It was also around this time that Phil decided he would only fulfill his pledge obligations if the pledges surpassed the set. Oh wow, you just gonna throw dollars. shit at Supposedly to counteract the abundance of false pledges he was receiving on Patreon. In addition to this controversy, the prospect of another Project 7 reboot reignited whatever was left of Phil's deteriorating relationship with Howard and John, who at this point were very mad at Phil for a variety of reasons, including the fact he monetized the video he made talking about their mutual acquaintance, Scott. The entirety of their back and forth adds up to several hours, but the short of it was that... Bro, why are they just, like, randomly no throwing shit at me now? ...between Phil, John, and Howard. Since this time, Phil has made clear on multiple occasions how he simply doesn't have a nice time smaller, to in the very cool. Instead, sinking his time into his business. Something like it's only been one. Much later on, Phil recognized that during this time period, it wasn't just his professional life that was tumbling down, but also his personal life. His relationship with Vienna was deteriorating, and he'd completely lost touch with his best friends from his peak era. Both there we go. Level 19. I forget what it is that I need for uh, that one. I think what I need is uh, electric damage for it. That he describes himself as being an alcoholic at the time. Pretty sad, and despite everything, you can't help but feel pretty bad for the guy. Nah, I don't feel bad for him. DSP began 2016 with a three Might as well use plan. it. On his main account, DSP oh my God. continued Why? his playthroughs like he always did. Well, his vlogs went to the King of Hate vlog DSP, and his right. edited videos and montages now. were uploaded to a third account called KO Gaming. After a rough 2015 that introduced Phil to the consequences of behaving the way he did, he was angling to outwork his lack of manners and the audience of trolls he had attracted. It was supposed to be his year. Phil would finally become Himothy, until one foolish mistake sapped his momentum right at the very beginning. One of the ways he found to make up for his past shortcomings as a content right, creator was please. to return to Persona oh, wait. 3 to be Never mind. as he was supposed to do a long time Got something before. better. However, just as his live stream for it was about to begin, Let's fucking go. was set on a message informing people that it would start shortly, he mistakenly left his webcam on and visible no, you left viewers. the camera on. So, yes. Audience to what appears to be his pre-stream preparation ritual. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I can't really show it on screen, even though it's not explicit per se. Yeah, like it's it's a weird thing. It's like obvious based on the fast pace. It's obvious what he's doing, but I don't think he can actually get away with showing it on stream. Immediately prior to beginning a stream, as soon as he's very visibly done, the live stream starts. And oh, the camera's on. Camera's been on the whole time, huh? Almost as if he was knowingly nodding to those who had the displeasure of witnessing the whole thing. As far as live streams go, this comes close to the mother of all of them. It was covered by Keemstar of Drama Alert, and potentially it's the single big most up Keemstar who made Boogie get on However, all fours and say and beg for forgiveness. The situation was the I can't believe fucking Boogie did that shit, but I'm not surprised. It is Boogie. That, that dude's like a walking fucking pity machine. And since a lot of people watch live streams in the background while doing something else, like gaming, he probably thought this moment would simply sink into obscurity and be quickly forgotten about by those who had witnessed it. I yeah, wonder, nah, that wasn't gonna happen. Maybe even thousands of hours of DSP live streaming and unedited videos leading up to this, if that or something equivalent has happened before, and it just got lost, like tears in the rain. His next nah. move is to berate those who suggested... And people have been keeping track of DSP since, like, he was streaming. Like, if something like that happened again, people would have saw. People would have 
noticed on earth that enjoys scratching their leg that much and honestly i feel like if he had just acknowledged what happened and made a joke out of it it probably would have been pretty funny he just couldn't do that the hit to his ego was too big after the immediate shock and embarrassment wore him down to the point where phil felt comfortable in ceasing his reflexive Bro, lying, please let me have my fucking schematics already in fact not just scratching his leg due to how thoroughly he welcomed the mockery this time around and you're like up that, that fucking shit on it did it on purpose oh, in order to fuck, get i forgot to reload this one didn't i career. however as misdirected a person as phil is i doubt this is the case not only because it falls outside of the purview of the typical shenanigans he gets up to but i honestly also think he lacks the imagination one needs to have that sort of move it's too andy kaufman for good old phil there are way simpler and less risky ways to boost engagement besides public humiliation and if we've learned anything phil loves to self-aggrandize not the opposite to be fair despite how bad oh yeah himself is this is one of phil's most competent bouts of dealing with backlash as he just very quickly owned up to it within like a day or two however despite dealing with this club minimally well phil couldn't look very optimistic i didn't realize i walked that far away from it and was very much past his prime be on back please day, 2016 while save playing me the new pokemon game pokemon moon on twitch his fans would incur phil's wrath as he lashed out at them Quite honestly, let me take a look. I have not looked at stream numbers all day. My God, the stream numbers were terrible. Wow, what happened? Here's the bottom line, and I'm tired of it. Oh my God! Please go, 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 please. Phil's not engaged in his commentary, and Phil's commentary is boring, and that's why people don't want to watch the playthroughs of the stream. Bullshit. I'm. Please go, please go, please go, please go, please go. It's lit. Oh, okay. We were going. The plane was just glitched into the ground. About, oh jeez. You know, which I've been playing recently and really liking or Pokemon. It's bullshit. I call complete and utter bullshit. Oh my I god, where do I get one of these things? Let me see. I'm not. So, with the I'm uncommon not aether excuses, plan. I like people are fucking lazy and don't want to come out to the stream. I don't even know what else to say, you know? There are few mistakes as easy to avoid as openly complaining you don't get more viewers. And while it's not a particularly grave one, it's not with the uncommon ethical plan. He isn't open to consider that his lack of popularity is due to the lack of quality of his. No, I need to watch this video. Okay, so I have to blow up the extractor. Fuck. Or not the extractor, I have to blow up the helicopter while I'm doing the mission. Oh my god, that's the worst. The 75 crits with the pistol. God damn, that sounds awful. Alright, let's see. Should be able to equip this one again. Let's see. What do I. I forgot to check on Smith. Uh, what do I need for the new one level 18 with electric damage is this thing level 18 it's level 15 fuck uh oh supply mouth i think the supply mouth needs ice damage oh my god who did that hey dusty big ups for the follow very cool much appreciated uh let's see i'm currently uh Trying to grind weapons and grind camos and uh, having having a good time. Hey, thank you, thank you very much. Uh, I've been at it for like two years now. It's uh, it's been a lot of fun. Uh, let's see. Where? Oh yeah, it was the uh, it was that thing. I forget what it's called. Well, yeah, glad you can make it. Hope your day's been going good. Like I said, just uh. Just grinding some camos and zombies right now, which is honestly kind of a kind of a pain, especially when you're trying to do other stuff. Two fifty with the rare or higher. Okay, so we can do that easily. I got I got one of those things. I got something that I can do for that or use for it. 
let's see. No, don't e don't equip base. Change. Armory. There we go. All right, so we got to get this thing back up to, or we got to get this thing up to level eighteen, and I got to get, and I need to boost this thing to a rare or higher. All right, so I should have one rare tool. Yeah, we got one rare tool. All right, so I should be able to get all that done in this one. Yeah, we boost this one up to blue as well as use our aether thing and then try to do the thing again. I'm just surprised that I've not found, like, a jug nog. I was playing some Modern Warfare 2, got my long shot 310. That's that's pretty impressive, dude, especially with the Lockwood. That's not too bad. Um, I can't say what my longest long shot was, honestly. I, I'd probably have to, like, load up the stats for it. You know what? No. Maybe it was, like, maybe it was, like, 200 meters or something like that. It was probably, like, 240, 250 or something like that. Uh, but yeah, nah, dude, that's, that's, but that, that was using the sniper rifle. I wasn't using, like, a marksman rifle. I, uh, yeah, that, that's what the Lockwood is, right? It's, it's the, it's the repeater rifle, if I remember right. But yeah, dude, that's, uh, that's pretty sick. I ain't gonna lie. Oh, we got the speed cola, too. All right, we might be able to do this one. Let's see. Are there any other colas that I can bring in with? Quick revive, and... Critical hits. Yeah, we'll take that one too. Alright, so I'll just pop all three of these colas. And I should be good. Oh, man. I don't want to load in with a random team. Let's see. We'll go with the Stim and a Simtex or Molotov. Yeah, Simtex. Though I built it to replace my sniper rifle. Ah, uh, okay. That's pretty sick, though. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, we'll go with the Simtex. Yeah, that's pretty sick. Um, I I tried doing the same thing with my M4. I, I wanted to turn it into a... Uh, I wanted to try to turn it into a, like, long rifle or something like that. But I I never had much luck with it. It was It was okay, though. Like what what I was able to achieve with it, it it wasn't too bad, but you know, it it just worked better as like a close range weapon for me. But yeah, I don't know. I I was constantly like swapping weapons out, so I I never really had a chance to get good with like any other weapon. Um. But I I did like the SMGs. The SMGs seemed like they were the real meta, like especially on like enclosed maps. Like the the high rate of fire on those things just outpaced anything and i wonder if that's still like kind of the meta for the multiplayer i just haven't touched the multiplayer yet so yeah one of these days i'll i'll pop into the multiplayer i've, I've just been kind of having fun with zombies kind of as like you know i don't have to try hard i don't have to sweat the only thing that i do gotta sweat is like how annoying the zombies get though like oh man some of these zombies get annoying some of these zombies matches get annoying Nah, you know, like, yeah, some of these zombie matches do get kind of sweaty, especially if, uh, like, your back's to the wall. I gotta put my phone on the charger. There we go. But, yeah, uh, man, they play Ground War, because it reminds me of Battlefield. Ah, uh, okay, okay, that's pretty cool. Yeah, Ground War wasn't too bad. I liked it a lot. Uh, it was, I, I thought it was a great addition. It was going on lightning. Glad you can make it up. Your day's been going good. Uh, yeah, I, I liked Ground War. Uh, I thought it was a pretty good addition to Modern Warfare 2, but Modern Warfare 2 was like my first Call of Duty back, or yeah, first time getting back into Call of Duty since World at War. Actually, no, Modern Warfare 2. Modern Warfare 2 was like the last game that I played online, like competitively, like OG Modern Warfare 2. Uh, World at War was the first time and last time that I ever played Zombies. So hopping into this, it's like, oh, okay, it's this is cool. I do kind of wish that there was a round-based thing. Like, I think that'd be pretty sick. But, uh, that's yeah, whatever. Uh, let's... There we go. Pack a punch this up. Go look for a... Hey, there we go. Got a contract here. 
Hopefully I can get there before those guys get it. If not, maybe I can uh, link up with them. Oh, I need a vehicle. Oh yeah, that's right. I can get kills with this thing too. I forgot. Yeah, it looks like they're going for it too. Hopefully they'll let me into their party. No, oh, no, I don't think they're going for it. Fuck, I gotta do this solo then. Oh my god, I'm already surrounded. Why? There we go. All right. Please leave me alone. Oh, shit. And I have no shields. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, shit. Oh god, how do I not have any plates? How did none of them drop any plates? No plates either? Fuck. Plates? No. Okay. It's fine. We can still do this. Oh my god. Where the hell did he come from? Oh god, it's over. It's so over. I have no fucking armor. I got one. Oh, why did they just come out of nowhere? It's like literally they just spawn out of the fucking thin air. Oh my god. Are you fucking kidding me? I lost fucking everything. Let's see if someone will come fucking help me. Oh, man. I can't believe that shit. God damn it. Oh, I fucking hate this one. Fucking mercs do way too much damage. Like, in this, like, level one area. Let's see. No one gonna help me? Oh my god. I don't want to lose my fucking level 3 plates. Let's see. What is this? C6? God, I fucking hate that mission. I've only been able to do that shit once, like solo. Or better yet, the consequence of his behavior as an online personality.
Phil received backlash from his fan base, which was then compounded by other creators like Review Tech USA, who covered his little tantrum on live stream. Phil apologized for calling his viewers lazy, but remained steadfast in his belief that the viewership. I'm gonna try to load into like a random himself. squad. Point Maybe time, someone will help me. You don't play videos made with clips from Phil's content and completely Damn. Phil's actual content as far as views and engagement. And uh, what am I gonna lose? I'm gonna lose my shotgun. I'm gonna lose my gas mask, and I'm gonna lose my other shit. You guessed it. Exposure by having their channel's name in the description. I have to make a small note here by saying that he still hasn't tried hiring an editor to work for him to help make his Let's Play content watchable. It's actually mesmerizing. Anyway, the success of posting community source content on KO Gaming was short lived, as in 2016, the channel was demonetized for reasons unclear. His situation was already dire as far as channel growth was concerned, but soon things took a turn for the worse. As the adpocalypse hit in early 2017, much of Phil's backlog on his other two channels got demonetized, meaning he could no longer profit off of them and depended even more on his immediate income. However, the potential for AdSense revenue was stripped away from Phil when his content was deemed advertiser unfriendly, mostly because of the years of content on each channel loaded with every offensive expletive known to man. Because of this quick succession of unfortunate events, Phil found himself unable to pay for the immense amounts of credit card debt he had accrued, the mortgage Bro, for his just new get home, to and you'll fucking the see mortgage it. for his old home as well since it's not clear that he stopped paying it, and last but not least, the medication he needed for his chronic back pain. This panic over his future led to even greater tensions with Machinima, who advised DSP to start uploading shorter edited content to try and amend the yeah. declining rates of God viewership. damn it. However, hopefully someone point, come get, or hopefully that dude can get to me. It in. And especially now that he's tight on money, there's no way he's paying for someone competent to edit a slop. Incapable of understanding uh, how the I think the next match I'm just going to load in operates. and Phil thinks that get a uh, along with Google is shafting him load in with a bunch of randoms and hopefully and one of them is going to do a uh even if the content simply is a not thing Strangely, he seems to believe that the changes in algorithm one of those extract things nature, and that they owed him an explanation as to why he was being treated unfairly. He released a video airing out his grievances and basically saying that he'll get to the bottom of it oh, as if there God. was something to get to the bottom of. There's no deeper explanation to it, other than his low quality standards put his channel in a bad situation, and once the apocalypse hit, he was too exposed and got the worst of it. Phil obviously didn't see it that way and wanted to get a satisfactory answer as to why he was making so little money, and primarily he wanted an answer to why it wasn't his fault. This tirade heightened the friction between him and Machinima, and finally their partnership came to an end as Phil was fired from the network. Probably one of the only people to ever be fired from the Machinima network. By March 2017, yeah, imagine being lower, fucking fired. From Machinima. How the Phil fuck do you even do that? Wasn't bringing in enough revenue to keep things afloat, so he went on the search for a new MCN to be a part of, so that he. Right, at least I can try to get my even fucking by, by kills. MCNs were basically phased out from YouTube. Most people saw them as scams, or in other words, companies that take all of your money, give you a portion of it, and don't really do anything for you as a result. But here, Phil was still looking for an MCN. Eventually, he found one called Curse, which was willing to take him in. This was a bit foolish on their part, I should say, since he promptly abandoned and them to sign with another MCN, Liberia Oh, Media God. Yeah, and Liveria was a fucking the scam. Of the copyright claimed the derivative videos of his detractors. Soon after, Phil noticed Liberia's inability to commit to any of their promises to him on writing and sussed out that they probably right. weren't... They should be able to get the 250 for this camo to curse, on this one. Lucrative, allowed Phil to continue if not, like, However, halfway. Just as one negative feedback loop is looking like it might stop, another one begins. Phil's domestic life with Deanna became turbulent. Leanna, by this time, had recently gotten herself a job and as the breadwinner of the family was often out working. Probably because of the life experience she was accruing while at work, surrounded by adults with expectations of responsibility and maturity, she began maturing herself, and naturally, muted tensions rose between her and Phil. In early 2017, she tweeted a photo of a fake engagement ring saying, My co-workers keep asking me when Phil and I are getting married, even though we aren't engaged. Gotta fake it. While seemingly small, it communicated a lot about how their relationship was going. She wanted more out of it. She wanted commitment, expecting Phil to take it to the next level. Level, while he was comfortable big ups there. dj he 13 confused on stream when he was brought up it appears he quickly took the hint and got engaged to her though he admitted there was no hope of having an actual marriage take place due to phil's unstable finances despite the proposal yeah phil dsp learned quickly marry your girl before she ditches later, you that's why he got married to cat 
this and said that uh, it was a soul mate, on top of their already bad otherwise known as a soul mate. Pay for her three hour stay in the emergency room, despite her receiving nothing resembling treatment besides a pill, according to Phil. The reason for her anxiety attack is unknown. It could just be from the stress of having a job, but many people speculate it had to do with her relationship with Phil. Soon enough, Leanna did break up with Phil and moved out. While he denied it for a brief period, he eventually did speak out on it, saying the following. Since there's been tons of speculation and it makes sense to clear it up, yes, it's true that Leanna and I have broken up. We actually broke up a while ago and she moved out two weeks ago. We purposefully agreed to keep quiet to prevent any unnecessary drama on either side, being that we both have public personas oh God. and social media uh, presence, and we're still on good oh, speed cola. This is a personal matter between us dealing with behind-the-scenes occurrences and feelings that, quite frankly, are nobody's businesses but our own. I wish Leanna the best. I still talk with her regularly, and we'd both appreciate it if you'd respect uh, her. Yeah, they talk story. regularly. In, Massive X to doubt on that one. They ain't that fucking talking. The only time I'll really address it, as I prefer to move on positively and focus on the Panda Lee don't even fucking reference him in, like, subject. any of her Thanks fucking tweets. Meanwhile, the trolls took this opportunity... Or not tweets, Instagram shits. ...radio station 897 KACC and requested the song Baby Come Back on Phil's behalf. 897 KACC, we got a dedication in. <sighs> these these kids and their names, I swear. So, Dark Side Phil wants to dedicate a song to Panda Lee. He wants to dedicate <laughs> Baby Come Back by Player. Baby Regardless, Come Back, it was clear that back, back, leaving had filled like a ton of bricks, perhaps even worse than his financial issues. He began sleeping poorly and began struggling to eat as well. As he used to eat, he couldn't Leanna sleep, Leanna couldn't even make himself eggs and toast for breakfast, dude. And then he banned fucking War Dog Leader for uh at this point, Being the king of suffering, because DSP thought breaking up with his ex was like the worst fucking thing imaginable. The war dog was like, "Oh, it's okay, DSP. My brother passed away. You can you can make yourself some eggs, some eggs and toast and stuff." He was like, "Oh, well, since you want to be the king of suffering, uh, there." Go ahead and, uh, he, he did something. I forgot exactly what it was that he did. He, uh, he basically just put him, put War Dog Leader on a fucking pedestal. He was like, yeah, go go ahead and tell everyone about how you're the king of suffering and how you're better than me. A pair of professional scammers who use pictures of young women without their consent to swindle victims of their money. After a decade of their grift, it was their attempt it was some good shit. Phil that caused their undoing. The woman whose picture they used to pretend to be Phil's fake girlfriend was contacted and promptly refuted their story, and just like that, the thread was gone. The account that made this thread was soon linked to another pseudonym, Angelina Capri, who had registered a domain in the name of none other than Patrick Bronsgeese. By the time they changed the registry information to the domain providers, it was too late. Kiwi Farms had already gone to them scouring the internet for any information they could find about them they came up with various indecent images of women yeah the uh other things the Another escort saga was Patrick pretty was fucking wild to provoke phil during twitch streams claiming to be a patron who would rescind his pledge if phil didn't address the rumors directly whether this was a botched attempt to extort phil or just a way to kick him when he was already down for entertainment was still unknown owner of kiwi farms null would personally email phil big ups church on the situation i love drama i also really hate being lied to the escort story had steam to it because the escort identity had tweets mentioning you going back four years before the first this is how you don't play the escort profile itself had its identity verified by a third party every single thing they said was impossible oh to thank but god fell apart in january when she Blotha. claimed that no yeah, one I'll believed take that shit. someone that threw her entire story out of balance and people began looking uh, for what was let's the see truth, they were what can i do now oh my god couple using random girls the the fucking store spawned in the area that i needed to let's go but turned a tractor then decided to use their extensive catfishing profile against you and that you don't want to visit my site so this is an archive of the full details on a third party site it totally exonerates you cheers big ears following this fiasco phil introduced oh, yeah, dsp won't admit Pat that it was uh Anna, trolls and detractors off that and got him off the hook on that one following that was more shy refusing to participate in phil's playthroughs and seemingly being averse to having her photo shared she appeared so uncomfortable in front of a camera that it could see ground station her as a hostage regardless of what was being said by the detractors this was oh a good my god they're like no vehicles between here and like the next thing that i need to do 
In 2018, Phil tried to replicate <sighs> the virality of his original DSP Tries It accident oh, yeah. video, but it was quickly overshadowed by another controversy he involved himself in. At the time, prominent What'd you streamers do this and influencers time? received copies of the newly released State oh, of the Oh no, State of the Decay 2, not that one! Jeez. he was simply too irrelevant to be viable as a recipient of a free copy, Phil took to Twitter to rant. Those playing State of Decay 2 a full week early are paid shills. They are walking advertisements, not true gamers, and are doing so solely for a paycheck. I'll be paying for the game and playing it this Friday, just like so many of Hell you. yeah, stamina up, let's go. As always. Within a day, Phil retracted We're schmoovin' now. He, he himself had received free copies of games such as Fallout 4 and Dark Souls 3. Yeah, and you fucking like hypocrite. So he idiot. retracted the statement, presumably because he himself had received free copies. Not only did he acknowledge the hypocrisy, he also suggested using Twitter for business purposes exclusively to prevent similar situations in the future. Despite his promising relationship with Pat at this point in time, Phil opened up to his audience about his struggles with depression, pointing to the times when he acted extremely stupid and self-destructive as times that he had underlying <laughs> issues. Years later, it seems Guys, that please, that was my depression. That it was wasn't right his depression. He was got quote, unquote, obsessed with burning just being an idiot. Down. In July 2018, YouTube guidelines for MCNs changed, and now every report on a client of theirs had to be manually reviewed. This proved a very big problem for Curse, since for every stream Phil did, there were dozens of trolls willing to mass report him, creating a massive backlog of reports that someone at Curse had to be burdened with. Because of this, along with Phil's low numbers, they decided to drop him, meaning Phil was once again a free agent. This was particularly impactful on his finances, since the month prior, he maxed out his credit cards to pay off the total sum of state taxes he owed. Uh, thank God. MCN, his Main channel DSP gaming There's certainly a, couldn't be more. Hey, I unlocked a revolver. Let's fucking go. And the Tesla Storm. Hell yeah. That's what I've been wanting to get for this whole time. Planning to eventually charge Phil back for all of it, but ultimately all right. charge back we need to make uh, 5k in like 28 no minutes, which uh, should be easy to do, account, especially with this one. His original ban on DSP gaming from 2010 in order to make a living. He started uploading his new content into his long dormant KO gaming account, but that wasn't much of a fix considering the channel was dead from the lack of uploads and engagement. Phil truly was between a rock and a hard place really go into the KO gaming stuff in regards to his dwindling income and a lack of financial support from his YouTube viewers saying I'm going to make a video about it tonight asking those who watch on YouTube to pledge on Patreon for real this time the people watch on YouTube that's no excuse anymore you guys on stream I cannot really ask for more you guys give me so much already Let's those YouTube see, viewers what's at this a good point, spot to hold up at for granted and it has to stop those who have watched me on YouTube for 10 years and just take it for granted that I'll always be there need a wake up call how am I getting Oh my god what a fucking asshole where the hell did the you come from that from now on, on KO Gaming, he will be heeding the people's requests and uploading long-form content, almost as an archive to his streams, instead of hundreds of 10-minute or shorter clips that he used to do. Though this is a concession, it's done very begrudgingly, and it's not timely whatsoever. It would have been significant had he done this five years prior, but now it's just too little, too late. I should make a note here that he's more than willing to press his YouTube viewers for wanting to watch something without paying for it. Meanwhile, he's not very eager to press himself to get a real job if his financial situation is as Bro, why get a real job when you can just have people pay for your living monetary burdens and placing them easy peasy on viewers like they're the ones in debt to him luckily for phil DSP bro leave me alone so i can start the shit stream, god damn after participating on the stream for a couple of games cat abruptly left the stream to go out with her friends later on phil revealed that the real that shit's like the weirdest thing to me though it's like where did cat get friends she didn't fucking she didn't live in washington so where did she go you want me to give kevin a birthday shout out you guys are fucking lame trolls where did Cat really go that night? If I said happy birthday to Kevin or not. Happy birthday to my number, my number one fucking thief who deserves jail time for the amount of... Oh my god. Throw Tevin in jail for... Happy birthday, shithead. For stealing my content. Phil and Street Fighter on one occasion is having tried out the Wings of Redemption playbook on DSP, deliberately calling him Dave instead of Phil to get a rise out of him. Although it didn't catch on as much as Wings' Richard Samuel routine, it was an admirable effort. Besides being responsible for restreaming many of Phil's streams, Tevin had been around for quite some time, knowing of DSP since before 2010. What's interesting is that many of Phil's most prominent detractors at one point were actually fans of him. Quite the Batman dynamic he has going on. Due to all the DSP derivative content Tevin had uploaded phil began frequently oh my god four fucking hellhounds dude robber among other things bro why theory, do i get he was the all the fucking shit luck when i play this game the point where the phrase it's tevin's fault became one of the rallying cries for it's the tevin's fault especially during that period but no matter how much phil accused others ultimately he was his own worst enemy despite being a very meek person in real life according to everyone who's actually encountered him online phil just had conflict in his nature some were less personal such as his brief friction with low-tier 
god, as the two were often compared to each other due to both being very toxic Street Fighter players. As a matter of fact, they even fought a match in game once. Uh, yeah, PG. Starts off the match with a scrub cycle pressure, praying that it can work. Fucking Another good shit. Fighting game adjacent beef Phil was unable to stop himself from entering was when Alpha Omega Sin used him as an example of people who rage quit matches. To which Phil replied by qualifying that when he purposefully throws a match, it's not rage quitting because he doesn't actually quit. A highlight of Phil's response is when his audience outright there tells him Finally. that to make a response and address it is just Oh my god, why? Why do like some of them blow up and the other ones don't? Been your man for a very long time. Meaning it's okay for him to engage with someone saying something bad about This shit's so response. annoying. I guess that's sort of Phil's general sin as a content creator. He's unwilling to happy anniversary. What's going on, Vaughn? Glad you're making up your days when going good. Viewing experience for people who Thank you. Watch very streams. cool. He also got in some trouble in 2019 when talking about the past. Yeah, we'll use of it. Why not? While he does express sympathy for Etika, nothing good in there. The but yeah, it's been two years, dude. Can you believe it? I can't believe it. It's been two years. Also attracted some negative attention due to it. I actually didn't even know it was my affiliate anniversary. I was uh. I was. I was just getting oh, yeah, stuff set up to to do a stream play. earlier or er, later today. In a similar instance, it's been a one later, week Phil since he looked at me. Again. This time regarding Kobe but uh, yeah, I was like, I was like, oh, I'll go ahead and stream today. It's been about a, it's it's been like four days, three days, whatever, since my last stream. What else could happen? And uh. Mike was setting up OBS and was getting the new layout done, which is this one that you're seeing. And then, uh... And then, uh... allegations in April 2016, Phil posted a video covering his personal story with Toby. The only problem was, his gripes with Toby were over things like Phil's opinions on his content. I was getting, uh, I was getting, like, a lot of stuff set up for the stream. And then I look at the chat, and it's like, hey, it's your, uh, anniversary. Another example of Phil's pettiness. Congratulations. I was like, is it fucking really my anniversary? In 2016, Jared made an innocuous... And, uh, sure enough, it was. A wrong turn on in the internet and ended up reading DSP. Oh, yeah, Haha. very cool. Whoops. A whole three years later, when Jared was faced with accusations, uh, of yeah, that's shit. Wife and was exchanging salacious DMs with minors. Phil actually remembered this. Hey, that wasn't real and spoofed it, saying, Took a day off from the entire internet. But Bro, you can't say that Jared about uh, at the top of about Jared. Twitter feed. It, he was literally in proven video, he right that he was that he did nothing wrong. Keeping his eye on the bigger YouTuber who had punched down on him, but he made no comment when Jared addressed the accusations himself. And largely disprove them. This tweet went viral and got hey, positive get reactions it, right. from a few other prominent content creators. And Phil had a mind to capitalize on the first morsel of positive online attention he got in the entire decade. How did he do this? Not by right. pushing out some content to capture people's attention and keep them coming back for more. No, of course not, okay? Instead, Phil deferred back to his standard operating procedure, going over every negative thing ever said about him for the thousandth time in an almost two oh, hour long. Oh, video. The video was so good. He didn't even debunk anything. He just said, like, like, he just read claims levied against him and then just said, uh, not true. Uh, DSP spent $5,000 on WWE champions? Uh, not true. Unbeknownst to him and many of the casual followers of the DSP phenomenon, the main group of DSP detractors was about to implode. Wings had Sean Ranklin, Chris Chan had Liquid Chris, and Darkside Phil had the Sons of Kojima. Oh god, not the fucking Sons of Kojima. Reacting to and memeing on DSP. Their name being and intentionally Vaughn, where's the nurse outfit at? Phil's complaints about Hideo Kojima's game design decisions in the Metal Gear game he was playing in the first This Is How You Don't Play episode. The first proper group with this purpose was the aforementioned right. Kojima World Order, who focused primarily on troll compilations. However, Sons of Kojima right, took it to the next quick. level and added their own commentary and spins on the contents to the DSP moments that they compiled. Even the original creator of the This okay. Is How You Don't Play series, Evil AJ 2010, was a member. Quickly, the Sons of Kojima became the largest okay. group of the Actors online with one man in the no, I bought the wrong Fred thing, didn't I? F Fuck. Wait, who's this? Fred what? Fred Alright. Well, Fred I fucked up. Driving his name from the ABGN clip you just saw, Fred sought to keep his real right here. Damn, secret. he actually did it. I don't believe it. Other members of the SOC and even the general DSP trolling community at large. Many former members cited the group as an enjoyable pastime that was gradually ruined by Fred, who took it significantly more serious than everybody else. His number one rule was that no one under any circumstances. I don't think I've seen it yet. DSP, supposedly because it was oh wait, no, I have seen it. That's right. I remember what it was now. Actions. Anyone who attempted to monetize their DSP trolling began. Did uh? Did you make it yourself or did you uh did you commission it example being with the then up-and-coming youtuber ardenas ardenas was a rising star oh my god ardenas I, I missed that guy summaries of phil shenanigans the and then the sok got to him something fred 
Because in the SOK, we're quick to confront. No, I can't draw. Damn. It's okay. I can't draw either. I should get into it, though. I really should. I have the drawing tablet, and I got, like, a lot of art supplies uh, from when I used to do art school or art school art classes. The incident split the detractor community as people were either subscribed to Fred's ethos or casuals who thought it was stupid to treat it with much more importance. And I would probably agree with the casuals. Ultimately, Ardenas got her account copyright struck into oblivion. Her? Ardenas? Ardenas was a chick? Wait, was claimed in is Aqua Teal Ardenas, Ardenas then? Oh my god, we're unlocking the lore right now. Was worse than DSP. The particulars around who is responsible for the claims are very murky, but what matters was that this marked a tide change against Fred. Oh well, yeah, it's not a bad nurse outfit. Of Kojima was around, it's was okay, I guess, drama than DSP for itself. you. In 2015, Phil's main gaming channel, DSP Gaming, had been plagued by various copyright strikes over the use of fan art and free streams. Leaks oh, from a former man. Sons of Kojima member I think after revealed this. that it was an associate of the sock, <laughs> the awesome one, who had not only created the fan I think after girl, this, maybe I'll uh, swap games or something like that. I'll probably swap in the Suka Kojima game. Giving him the authorization. I'm not the making a lot of progress tonight in these uh, in these camo grinds, for fame and ridicule to but it's fine. To destroy his career. One user, the King of Divas, saw Fred leading the group as a direct cause of everyone in it becoming distrustful of each other, but he was pushed out of the community and punished for his betrayal after the fact with a feature-length expose. His private messages, recorded calls, and personal information oh, no. all for his non-adherence to the cult of Fred. Another user, Doper, made probably the best assessment of what the group was becoming in a twit longer. Let's be real here. Phil is not Hitler. He's an overweight, careerless, 35-year-old man who spends his yeah, days walking from one end of his house to another while complaining about how hard his life is. I've seen <laughs> way too many people act as if they're on some kind of mission to defeat DSP. Why? Yeah, the that's, the, that's the weirdest YouTube? thing about it some of these detractors with down? DSP Why is, is that they're actually trying to, like, what exactly is Phil take him down. Like, legit, just, like, take Take him down, and it's like, bro, it ain't that serious. It ain't that deep. Just sit back and enjoy the show. Watch the dude just fucking ruin his own life. You don't need to do anything. He's already gonna go bankrupt a second time. He spends whatever free time he has going to hotels in his own area instead of actually seeing the world and gaining new experiences. Yeah, there you go. is nothing short of abhorrent. We'll find out soon enough how badly he screwed his life up. There's no need to try and hasten that process, and either should you feel happiness about it happening this isn't good it's sad it's sad that a grown man is wasting his own life by no i think it's fucking hilarious that a grown man is wasting his fucking life right while banning or blocking anyone who challenges him in any sort of way if you want to laugh at how shitty his life is or what an asshole he's been go ahead but don't pretend you're on some kind of internet crusade against yeah him. i don't i don't agree with that part Phil really getting anyone anywhere is bitching about him for 75 percent of a podcast really helping anyone phil isn't changing from anything being said on them and neither are his airheaded fans gonna stop pledging their money to him. No, nah, they're not. It's been 15 years and they're still giving that dude money. About. Phil gets criticized and responds by blocking and then writing another wallow text. Phil whines about a video game not letting him win easily. At what point does it become obvious that it's just the same old boring crap oh. from him? Fred did address this twit longer in the 96th episode of the SOK podcast, but removed it due to the backlash it received. Fred at this point wasn't just after DSP. Bro, how far is this? God damn. Okay, there we go. It's almost there. Which more and more just meant anyone who wasn't there's a guy right there. Directing Phil's life. Where? An audio leaked of him mocking his own friends from SOK, and it was becoming extremely clear their was welcome back, void. beyond a platform for Fred to deify ah, shit. himself and his unhealthy obsession with DSP. So what happens when you're Some using mouse and keyboards? 19 hours a day in calls, attempting to manage the increasingly murky sons of Kojima. The details of this are extensive and trolled. But get to the point of redundancy and how ultimately irrelevant they are. Basically, hell yeah. Of being out to destroy SOK. Helped him. This is what happens when you don't have better things in your life to worry about. When the previously mentioned and Almighty Tevin had to pull out from participating in a podcast. Fred became paranoid about him to the point that he decided to release Tevin's docs. In an unexpected cameo, Mr. Medicare tried to intervene in the situation. Oh no, not Fred's the weather man! To avoid the implosion of his group and reputation, Medicare accurately concluded the group had become a loggers, a term which originated with Chris Chan to describe haters who become so obsessive they end up significantly worse than the people they dislike. Beginning in late July of 2017, a series of leaks regarding the sons of Kojima and specifically his leader, Fred. Oh yeah. No Nobody likes an A-logger. Except, of I don't know. I'll lay it. Nah, 
Have I A-logged DSP before? I, I don't know if you would consider A-logging, but I'm not going to say what I did. If you know what I did, you know what I did. But uh, if I said what it was that I did, then uh, I'd end up like face-toxing myself. Surprisingly, this was the last straw that broke the camel's back and made people in Kiwi Farms turn against the SOK for good. Fred resented the whole situation and was still pushing for an expose to be made on TXT. But at this point, people within Sons of Kojima were turning against him. Soon, a massive prolonged leak began with the intent of exposing Fred, including recordings of him intimidating, blackmailing, and pitting members of SOK. Actually, wait, no. I still need uh, 250 kills with this thing, so I can't extract just yet. Anyone Fred suspected was a DSP fan. He used a voice changer to stalk and have cyber sex with an autistic man. If I had a dollar for what? every time a lolcow hater manipulated an autistic person into <laughs> cyber relations via a fake voice, I'd have two dollars, which isn't that much, but it is kind of odd. Ah, uh, yes, we all know that Unsung joke. Hero bot decided to leak a barrage of incriminating conversations between Fred and another primary member of the Sons of Kojima. On the 6th of September 2016, a former member of the SOK. I just need gold on my holger and two more. And ARs are done until Zircoin. Hell yeah, dude. That's what's up. Not only had Fred tried to dox yeah, I, I think I'm going to jump into like multiplayer and grind weapons that way. It, it feels like grinding in multiplayer would be like grinding weapons in multiplayer would be way faster than grinding them in zombies. Abandoned the sons of Kojima due to the group's toxic atmosphere, but in his absence, he had largely taken up caring for his then girlfriend and fellow member of the S. But we'll see. I'm a I'm a pop in the Suka game after this one though. She sadly passed away. I haven't been making very good progress. Fred thought her death was faked. Uh, tonight, zombies is faster if you do it efficiently. Yeah, probably. Probably if I just like actually do this type of stuff or go into like the uh, the higher zones. For fun, definitely multiplayer. Yeah. There we go. There's my 250 kills. Darkside Phil caught wind of the situation. He addressed it in a pretty long twit longer, saying the following. Sons of people are now messaging me to say that Sons of Kojima is being exposed for doing horrible things to me to the I didn't mean to grab that. And the I thought that was something else. Leaks. It was obvious the vast majority of the shit was always them, as they are the only group who delve that deep into my personal stuff. I would not be surprised if they performed the vast majority but of the yeah. things against me, including the doctor, I don't know, I haven't touched the multiplayer attacks, yet. And I, I've been playing like this game for like, like signing up my email I don't know how long now. Sites, signing up my physical mail to dozens of catalogs and magazines I don't want, sending me feedback in the mail yes all nobody's sent him feces in the mail these, this dude's fucking lying he knew nobody was safe when it came time to start making preparations to attend Leanna's brother's wedding in late 2015 we can I just like jump out of the helicopter from here we attended there would be a strongly increased chance that someone would try to with us and ruin the event. That would have been incredibly oh, messed man. up. Having someone else's once in a lifetime event get ruined by a swatting. We all collectively agreed to stay home and not attend the event. What did Sons of Kojima do? Well, first they decided to find out the address and date of the wedding. They, on their own and without my mentioning to it for months, researched and found the event and then spread that info all over the internet. I don't think anybody actually did that. that. The reason we weren't attending was because I had forced Leanna to skip it so that I could stay home and play Fallout 4. He so did stay home and play Fallout. We missed the wedding. They then turned their own vile actions into a way to make me look bad after the fact. It's mind-numbing, isn't it? It's stereotypical stalker behavior. And when it happens to celebrities, they get restraining orders. This is a textbook case of a bunch of sick-headed, mentally ill, yes, oh, if you try to ruin someone's life you don't know, you are I mentally my ill, individuals routine. trying to destroy someone they've never met and have zero personal relationship with. It's disgusting and disturbing. For those who are finally seeing the light, they need to look back over the last several years, all the shit they did to me since I moved to Washington, and seriously see if they can live with themselves. I hey, we got some good shit inadvertently hurt someone but these people deliberately tried to destroy me for literally see what that is camo no is logical reason that's wrong on so many levels my life is already destroyed in a lot of ways and i'll probably never recover from the financial situation i'm in that they created therefore why dwell on it so please don't keep contacting me with juicy new info as i don't care just let me do my daily thing and be who i've always been since day one and let's keep stuff positive moving forward uh, i was so close to level 16 i should have just stayed down until i got a uh, said here to blame the financial situation like 
got the whatever done. It takes a big chunk of credibility away from this twit longer. During the previously mentioned final episode of the SOK podcast, no one was okay. present. It won't be missed. If anyone had any knowledge of these swatting attempts, and they said it wasn't their Let's doing. Say. While Phil seemed to accurately assess his haters turned stalkers, it didn't mean that he was necessarily right in pinning his assessment Gunsmith, to the members of the SOK. Customize. I think I need to get this to level 19 again. Kind of yeah. Rating, as their leader, no. Fred was. Speaking yeah, of Fred, well, 18. He soon spoke out himself about the leaks. The things I've said and done in the past were disgusting. I need electric and kills with that one. That's I'm not, not too bad. Make excuses or say that anyone else influenced me to do them. I take full responsibility for what I did and what went on in that group at the time. When Let's I look see. At the pictures, Change. I feel ashamed. Not even just because they're public now, but because I acted that way. It's stuff I allowed myself to forget about and move on from that I have to now reflect on. One positive thing I can say is that the things leaking out from no, two years ago one. are not what the group is today. That is why none of the leaks are recent. A number of things uh, have changed LMGs. and the vibe is completely different. I want to thank you for your support and your friendship. I have no hard feelings. I can only blame Select. myself. Select. Whenever things like this happen, I try to learn from it. This is yeah, that's not too bad. See what happens. For now, I'm going to focus on my friends and family. The Purple reaction ooze. to Fred's apology was see what it looks like on the shotgun. At worst, people, including Almighty Tevin, who represented many of the members of the detractor community, saw it as generic and simply put, damage control, with no actual repentance to back it up. Speculations as to how the group would fare Customize, some camo. Some thought there was no way to survive in any shape and suggested that All some camos. of the members of the There we go. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. I kind of like the way that looks. However, others saw value in what the Sons of Kojima I was a fan. I, I am kind of a fan of the moldy membrane. I do kind of like this one. I just wish that, that there were more uh, color breaks in it. Like, uh, which led I don't know. Like, that a vicious cycle was at hand. like, just a little bit more other, like, not on moldy colors on it so but i i do i do like the design of it i do think it does look pretty cool so forth regardless right. the leaks continued relentlessly uh, and after years of ridiculing roll cows fred became give me a second i will brb i just need to use the restroom farms With his detractors leaping headfirst into a shredder, Phil felt a burden lift from his back. Because of the void left by the Sons of Kojima's collapse, it meant that DSP had less judicious eyes trained on him at all times, and consequently he knew he could get away with more stuff than usual. Besides things like his old condo still bleeding his wallet every month due to the real estate market in Connecticut apparently being on a continuous downturn, Phil admits not only to have taken on more credit card debt, but also loans and borrowing money from his parents to pay the cost of running his business. He says he doesn't talk about about it because he doesn't want to bother people with his problems but this is evidently not really the case since he has no problem in asking for money and constantly talking about his problems every day more likely he doesn't want to speak on where exactly that money is going because it will invite every dormant troll to scrutinize how financially irresponsible he actually is notwithstanding he revealed that ever since his move to washington he'd been paying for a ridiculously expensive leased bmw he talks about having been roped into it by the dealership so as not to pay penalty fees for the car he was previously leasing but he explains this very poorly so it's difficult to even pick it apart. The most egregious part of the story is that when asked about why he didn't just get a used car, he tries to make it seem like it would somehow be more expensive and inconvenient than just getting the BMW, which is obviously impossible to be true. Just get a Civic, okay? But Phil's financial situation became exponentially worse when apparently someone, presumably one of his detractors, tipped off the state of Washington that Phil was an unregistered business operating in the area. Phil hadn't paid taxes for his business operations for the previous three years, and all of that was about to come down on his head at full speed. To pay off all of the back taxes Phil had accumulated, he did back-to-back -back live stream fundraisers on Christmas 2017 and February 2018. But despite having a minimum goal of two grand, Phil only raised a little over $300. Undeterred, he tried doing even more special events, such as starting the annual tradition of having the entire week of his birthday having celebratory streams. Coincidentally, his birthday is in April, right around the same time taxes are due in the U.S. Oh yeah, was it that time, bad? I've been seeing. Fundraiser. I've been seeing the other one. Uh. It's like that giant, it's like that fucking bright fluorescent pink or something like that. And it's like, bro, you're, you're giving yourself away with that one. Like, why, why would that one even be a thing? But you know what? It, I still kind of like it. I want to get more of these poison frog ones. I think these are really cool. 50 kills with the rival nine. That's probably like multiplayer. When you need to buy $70 bag to get What? Is that like in the shop or what? Or like, where is that? I didn't know that's what it was. Blunt fingers. I didn't want to buy the blunt finger skin though. Like where, you, where do you buy that at? A real bag you get a code with? Oh my God. I didn't know that's what it was. 
Holy shit. Hold on, let me, let me see if I can find this. Let's see. Unless you got a link to it. Cod, $70. Getting a seventy dollar DLC pack. No. I'm not seeing it. Actually, I'm not really getting anything. I don't know. Maybe my Google yeah, search game is uh right is trash time, right now. A little over four hundred dollars. By this time, Phil promised to not bring up his taxes anymore due to the amount of ridicule he was getting from both his and fans. Still and brings up later, his taxes to this day. To pay off his taxes for the state of Washington, with only Let's his federal see, taxes the remaining. There only it problem is. is his federal taxes amounted to seventeen thousand dollars. So during winter twenty eighteen, Phil ran four different fundraisers to scratch together some money to keep it afloat. Though his YouTube was simply doomed, as we've previously discussed, his Twitch account wasn't. Right. During this period, he went from five. 517 subs oh, to I over forgot, 1800 to most the, uh... of which is thanks to one user who gifted over a thousand subs during his streams the total amount donated through gifted subscriptions amounted to a little over five grand which Phil got half of as his standard operating oh, procedure on twitch this plus twitch bits his patreon money what was left of the youtube ad revenue and the odd tip actually made things look slightly hopeful the only stain on this relatively positive moment was that phil despite his previous claims that he used to be an alcoholic decided to spend the christmas fundraiser of 2018 indulging in hefty amounts of alcohol which prompted ah, him to become noticeably more neurotic the drunker he got luckily oh, he give me a second by without causing any major havoc online later he announced that the grand total he needed to raise was actually 17 grand as to cover the expenses for his tax attorney april 2018 rolled around and during the main event of birthday week phil managed to receive a total of thirteen hundred dollars in tips for the rest of the amount he owed he made a deal with his parents they would pay for his debts but he would have to set out a 10-year plan to get his finances in order and keep them there remember the 10-year plan guys Phil's parents to teach him some fiscal responsibility another fundraiser was done in august of 29 he never did that 10-year plan phil to get $1, that $1, thing failed stupendously was going to be made once the goal was hit it turned out he'd just gotten a cat he alluded to a second goal reward which was immediately hit when a user donated a whopping entire thousand dollars in one tip only for phil to then explain that there was actually no second goal and that there'd been some miscommunication it doesn't seem yeah, this was entirely that's all it was. malicious in nature more so a manifestation of phil's lack of communication skills soon after phil did an interview with fellow youtuber the quartering though many felt that it fell short of expectations since quartering wasn't pursuing the more pressing questions and more no i didn't find it dude on phil i i typed in like cod modern warfare 3 70 dollar bag and i just got like a bunch of uh i got a bunch of random stuff Time viewer and supporter of DSP, DJ Runo, donated the $20 DJ Runo, no. necessary for Phil to buy Untitled Goose Game, which Runo wanted to see him play. Phil thanked him very much for his generosity and eventually said he would buy it and play it the following week. However, the very next day, Let's Phil took see. to the stream to say he didn't have the money to buy the game and was too poor to buy anything, <laughs> asking for his viewers to donate. Oh, did he task for his either for Nintendo crossing or back? Try that. All right, surprisingly, cool. this caused some commotion, and Runo tried to get his money back upon discovering that Let's Phil wasn't see. going to play what he had gotten paid for. The more generous members of the uh, channel. Uh, I should have checked to see if there's a thing for this game. Extremely overdrafted bank account. The money got swallowed up by Phil's debt before. I oh my God, is this it? Confusion was only made even worse when Phil added untitled. Goose Bro, Game really? The That's the bag. That looks so lame. His late stream at about 10 p.m. on the 7th of October. Oh my God, day, it's a fucking fanny pack. Forums, it's not a cross bag. My twenty dollars for a game. It's a fucking fanny pack. Oh my God. I'm just gonna go through PayPal and save. I thought it was like uh like one of those cross bags like. Like, uh, the dude from money, Infamous 2 War. Because I wanted to see him play the like, I, I, got, I got that from a pre-order. That that bag is, like, actually built pretty well. I, I really do like that bag. Uh, I used it quite a bit for hikes and stuff like that. But, uh, oh my god, it's a fucking fanny pack. $70 for a fucking fanny pack. No goddamn way. I don't believe it. I refuse. It's 60 but after taxes, it's like 70 70 or 75 yeah i i figured that oh my god i'm gonna buy it 
give you at least <laughs> 20 bucks to buy that game, and that I'd now said I wasn't going to buy it, but that if people still wanted me to play it, you'd have to send Nintendo credits, and you didn't want to pay twice, so you were requesting your money back. Uh. I immediately returned your funds that I raised in tips on today's Borderlands 3 stream, because that's all I have, and apologize if this was the situation I'm in. All money I raise has to go to bills. I swear I'm only going to do three games, guys. The internet on, to say the least. So then I check my Twitter and the forums, and I see this. Instead of actually talking to me, like, man, you apparently are trying to report to Twitch using video evidence that was ripped from my stream by detractors. Guess what? That's not what a man or a fan does. You had a knee-jerk reaction instead of acting rationally. And now everything you've done was in vain because, one, you have your money back. Two, I haven't violated any rules or anything. Three, you just exposed yourself as a complete Fuck. asshole. The best part is, I didn't go off when anyone asked about this Metal Goose game. I didn't see anyone ask at all. I was angry that idiots kept asking for code vein slash astral chain after I repeatedly explained I cannot afford any games right now. The I hate when that really shit happens. Like, poor gullible idiot who apparently needs to retract or say it all. Congrats, we're today's biggest idiot. So you oh no. need to get what you want rather than actually caring about me as a person or a content creator. Well, you can keep your Hell money. yeah. You can say goodbye because I certainly don't need entitled toxic people trying to ruin my life. Oh my yeah, god, DSP, fucking chill. Me like a respectful human. During a chill stream where he played Minecraft, Bill will spend over 30 minutes ranting about the situation, including oh. insults to DJ Reno throughout for his insubordination. About eight hours after the creation of the original thread, the actual DJ Reno is a person yeah, let's go. who made the first post about the situation, made a thread titled, WTF is even going on. Go. We're gonna lame it out here for a second. Spend more than the game costs for a camo that burns your eyes and gives away your location. Literally just <laughs> ruins your game for you. God damn. No, I I I wouldn't do that. I, I wouldn't spend seventy dollars on that bag, dude. Like the bag looks cheaply made. Look, we're gonna make it. It's gonna make it. We're doing it. It's a free point. Let's go. Come on, please. Touch it. Laming it out. Works every time. Oh, no. Alright. You know what? Let's, let's go for this one. Fuck. Yeah, that was... So the reason why... Oh, god damn it. The reason why that he stopped paying was because uh, his mom told him that he didn't need a that he didn't need to pay it if he didn't want to. Just so that way it would go into foreclosure or something like that. It was really weird. It was a really weird piece of advice to get. Stay in the corner. Fuck. All right, it's fine. But if he had already spent hundreds of dollars, oh my god. How much money did he spend on it if you take into account the following years? Well, that's exactly what some of his detractors Shit. set up to discover. Upon finding an account in the game called They Call Me DSP, the same as Phil's Twitter handle, they began oh examining my god. when account was active and when Phil was tweeting. Lo and behold, the time snatched up. Given that's no damning piece of evidence, but it was something. Next up was ascertaining the There we go. That account had spent in the game over the years. And the figure they came up with was a gruesome $38,976. Hell yeah. Just shy of $40,000, which, to put things in perspective, maybe for some younger viewers who don't know how much, like, things cost, 40 grand can be a down payment on a house. 40 grand is like a new BMW. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. And that's what he spent on a WWE game. Hell yeah. He tried to throw a little pity party over trolls annoying him about his absolute lack of concern with his money, but this time, pity was something very difficult to have. Bill was having some serious financial and professional troubles since the very beginning of the decade. There was no justification at any period in time for him to have spent that much money. I'm a master at this game now. I can't be stopped. And Bill's claims of being poor were to some degree an act. And he wasn't as worried about his money as he appeared on stream. Yeah, he's being that broke. The best and funniest trolling campaign was done on him for the entirety of his career. Trolls began paying for cameos from pro wrestlers to call out Bill on his You know what? Let's drop it over here. Hey, Bill Burnell. 
Oh no, not Kurt Angle. I've seen the bank leaks. Jasper, show me your phone. We all know the champion's addiction is getting worse. Oh, it's true. It's, it's damn, damn true. true. And Cat deserves more than Burger King. And by the way, I'm watching. On top of the oh, God. people and Ricky Berwick, can we even get to see a familiar face chime in and give his very valuable two cents? You're filing for bankruptcy, but the only reason you're EDP, no! EDP, you leave him alone. If only, if only we knew what EDP was truly up to the during these times. There we go. Fuck. That shit. Now, all that shit is like fucking public. Something that seems unlikely to say the least. The general public immediately deduced that Phil was writing off the money to be able to lay on WWE champions as a business expense. This is why, when someone files for bankruptcy, it's followed by a hearing, which Trolls made sure to get access to. While we don't have video of it happening, the audio track is available online for anyone to peruse. During the hearing, the audio track is pretty sick, I'm not gonna lie. Pop it out. And a predator only to press Phil on his business expenses. The unnamed detractor asked for Phil to itemize his business expenses, meaning to lay them out one by one, which was uh, something that Phil couldn't do without revealing his champion's addiction. However, the detractor yeah, we'll drop it here. Fuck. his claim to be a representative of City. There we go. It all worked out. Later on, another troll joined the call and began playing clips of DSP playing Dark Souls, which amused everyone. <laughs> Why am I poisoning? Why am I toxic? <laughs> you hear the dude fucking laugh. Despite attempts to derail Phil's defense, in May of 2020, Phil's bankruptcy went through, and $130,000 of his debt was defaulted as his credit plummeted Damn it. into non-existence. While talking about his mangled credit score, he mentions that he's waiting until his credit gets better so that he can take out more loans. Again, what he means here is that he wants to transfer his debt from owing taxes to the federal government to owing money to creditors. While this is a smart thing to do in this situation, it's obvious that as soon as he gets his hands on surplus money, he's going to go to one of his addictions and use yeah. his expensive hobbies. And that's not yeah, he's, he's, he's going to end up back in, and eventually he'll simply back in bankruptcy. Work, he'll effectively be thrown into the wood chipper that is the infinite debt cycle he locked himself into. At this point, Phil was entirely financially dependent on the donations of a group of people, affectionately dubbed whales by his detractors. Just a few of DSP's blockers there are we go. for most of the money donated to the One man in particular, who went by King Tut, donated thousands by himself. Appearing suddenly in August 2017, Tut wasn't an old time uh, let's DSP, see. meaning he wasn't one of these stragglers from pre old no. DSP oh, era. Fuck. He felt some parasocial affection for the man, so it's really hard to deduce why he decided out of nowhere to dump as much money as he did into Phil's black hole of debt. Being as much of a pay pig as Tut was for his benefits, so he could get away with pretty much anything for being toxic in chat and insulting other viewers, all the way to trying to control Phil's streams altogether. Well, he actually managed to do it too. Tut was like the only person that was able to like get DSP to change his fucking stream schedule. And was like, DSP, if I give you like $400, will you play Street Fighter V tonight? He's like, uh, yeah, I guess I can do that for you, Tut. Uh, I don't know where to put this. I think Tut's uh, telling the truth on this one. Some of his anger at one of his mods, despite the latter not really deserving it. Swaggins, another one of DSP's whale followers, gave a tip to Phil on how to beat one of the bosses in the Resident Evil 2 remakes, only for Phil to misconstrue it, blame him, and flash out. 
As a result of this outburst, the Swagons were seen to deliberately unman a detractor to spite Phil. In a stream of Sekiro that took place soon after, Swagons found himself extremely annoyed when Phil relapsed back to his old ways of complaining about a game when it wasn't easy enough for him. There we go. Oh, fuck! But DSP having none of it said, I almost had it. There we go. Don't like the combat in Sekiro, and he's so hurt by that. So he was a fair weather friend who wanted to mod when I agree with him. But as soon oh as no! Agreed, don't talk about it to me at all, but instead freak out and leave. Swagons, no! Beyond it, to the point where I'm not having a second John Rambo situation, so he can just get out and stay out. That is literally what happened with Rambo all over again. Nope, I'm done with that crap. Swagons also Fuck. had a response in order. Stupid kitty stuff. As you say all the time, the world isn't black and white. To think it's just because it's a hero is asinine. I've given so much, spent so much time trying to help moderation, only to be shown disrespect from Resident Evil 2 to now. Let's all the excuses, see. the I did nothing wrong mentality, and general toxicity have driven me away, and I no longer wish to be a part of it. You say all the time that you're open to the opinions of others. I don't know if that dude's still in his chat. I don't think. No, no, no. He's, he's still there. He's like. It's like some fucking weird shit now. I forget what it is. Listen to someone else's. The amount of money talk is such a turn off and will not help with long term growth. Many have contacted me questioning whether or not you're even telling the truth at this point and generally say that they're tired of all the taxes talk. I'm talking about actual fans here, not detractors. I tell them that we can only take your word about it at the end of the day. How much later, Swaggins lost his mod privileges it. and as yet another DSP fan died, a detractor was born and took another moderator with him. Eventually, Swaggins did return to DSP streams. After yeah, he did come back. His hefty donations did not come back with him. Rip. If only, if only DSP had apologized. Ah, oh, fuck. What? No, it should have been able to slide in. I don't believe it. Did I get 16? Damn. I've never been able to like top my own score 2500. Oh, you can't do the Halloween skin anymore. That's so lame. I wish they kept it on. It was like having a night theme or dark theme. It was really cool. Was it really only 29 days? Oh, bad news, guys. I got a, I got a really bad ear infection. Oh, fuck. Why did I put it there? Festival. Oh, this fucking nerd. Best, this one, a shiny silver, he dubbed Platinum DSP. The streak raged on for another 50 days before, finally, DSP mentions that it was starting to become a lot harder to hit the tips goal and put on the accursed DSP vest. This was a few weeks after Phil was hit by PayPal with $800 worth of chargebacks. So as you can imagine, he got a there we go. At this point, Phil's scheme was becoming irkingly transparent. There were times when the vest streak business overtook the stream entirely, coming close to guilt tripping his audience about the streak oh you when it started little shit positive the best was being absorbed into the general dark cloud of dsp's debt mongering and e-begging more time goes by and as dsp was approaching the there we go mark, an anonymous user would dmca strike dsp's twitch account spending him off the platform temporarily and pushing him onto youtube eventually he resolved the issue with twitch and returned to celebrate 
day 200 of the streak. When the time came, Bill said that only now for the best aid was he able to start sleeping soundly at night without worrying. <laughs> oh my god. From his point of view, everything Imagine. Guys, I can't sleep unless I hit the vesticle. Please, Tim. I need that money. I really do. For some reason, it was only after 276 days that the streak came to an end, as Phil streamed himself playing Paper Mario in the Origami King. Despite preparing for this day for months, it wasn't easy on poor old Phil, who probably made 30 grand by playing video games with the best on for nine months. He becomes extremely upset at his audience for not keeping the streak. There we go. Hell yeah. Oh god. Okay, no, it's it's still good. It's still good. What should I do after ARs? Um, do the shield. Do the shield. The shield will be fun. Guys, please, I need that vest streak now. Oh, thank God. Fuck. Stuff. Look how he's fucking shaking when he says this shit too. Oh, uh, trying to get modern war modern warfare three weapons. Uh, are there any new melee weapons in the modern warfare three? I haven't I haven't really looked at melee weapons yet. Oh no, the Anonymous Saga. No, it didn't. Yeah, he did. BSP did. Yeah! It's so fucking toxic. Yeah, that's why DSP is allowed to get rid of or get away with a lot of shit. started insulting me for being gay, which I don't mind. They escalated it to mocking me for something that happened during my childhood, telling me that's why I'm gay, and called me a P-word. I timed them out for the rest of the stream. Phil was bombarded with emails complaining about me being a bad mod. He panicked, threw me under the bus, talked poorly about me behind my back to the troll, and removed me hastily. I emailed him and let him know what happened. His response was that he believed me fully, and I was still absolutely in the wrong. He reprimanded me because he felt I had no reason to ever tell anyone what a fucking asshole dude some dude starts harassing his mod for you know some shit that happened when he was a kid and dsp tells him uh you shouldn't tell people that even if they do make fun of you for it it's like what a fucking asshole dsp is god damn but I finished them already. Uh, what don't you have done then, dude? Jeez. I feel like you've already done everything. We can still fix this. Uh, battle rifles? Uh, do battle rifles. Battle rifles might be pretty cool. Nani went fucking sicko mode on DSP after this. But you know what? 
a naughty mouse ended up fucking blowing everything up in his face because he went really really artistic about like some troll shit and uh really really made himself look bad it was actually kind of funny Anani sh Oh god. I fucking hated Anani so much, dude. Oh my god, why is this game screwing me over like this? Yeah, there we go. side really isn't any better than Phil's. We are far worse. Reprobates like this adult Hell man yeah. taking pictures of himself in a full diaper wanting to F fur babies and a zoo file are the people Bruh. that the look up to. His attempts Indeed. to apologize for what he describes as tantamounts to deliberately telling teens that zoophilia is okay weren't heeded by members who believed it totally insufficient. Yeah, Nani Mouse was a sick fuck, dude. Yeah, and then he fucking came back again. It was really weird. Fuck! It kicked it out. Bro, why am I so trash at this game now? Alright, I swear. Last one. And then I'll, uh... I don't know. It's my stream anniversary. I can do whatever I want. Play whatever I feel like playing. You can't delete your account on Kiwi Farms. My only other option is changing my password to a random way string and plug it up forever. And so he did, as his account has been inactive since mid 2022. A 55 day Thank God he fucking left, too. Pamper Chew came out in August. Oh, not Pamper Chew. Please, anything but that one. We don't need to talk about Pamper Chew. If you don't know who Pamper Chew is, just just don't. Don't bother, man. No. You will apologize to me. I don't. I mean, we can go, but no, I can't. I can't, I can't bring that clip up. Because he, he actually does say a gamer word, like, during stream. So he does say it. He didn't mean to say it, but he didn't apologize for it. And he, he insists that it never actually happened. There you go. Pretty fucking funny. I'm not gonna lie. Fuck. Don't block those cherries. Fuck. Stupid garbage, constantly. And Phil did address it. He didn't actually. He just 
claimed he suffered identity theft, which is actually true, and purposefully left the rest of the details as vague as he could, as to not raise attention to the glaring fact that perhaps the most damning piece of information on him ever was now public. Now comes the end of 2021, and Phil decides to make some changes to his content. First and foremost, the biggest change would be dropping the beginning of hate moniker that had defined his career. Let's go, let's go, let's go! Forums, and he Hell yeah. The channel that he'd also retired on the third we move in. The video titled, Goodbye, this channel is retired. Head to DSP Gaming, and thank you for 10 awesome years of vlogging. Today, the channel does remain online, but only in the archive. However, Phil's attempts at rebranding would do nothing to curb his nearly two-decade legacy of the moniker, and more widely, his online reputation. Yeah, his reputation is just absolutely tanked. He's he's not gonna. He's not gonna get anything anymore. I don't know. He's he's just done. He really is. There's nothing else he can do. He's not getting sponsorships. He's not getting you know collabs going. No one will touch him. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, we got it. Oh, yeah, nah, he's just, he's cancelled. He just doesn't realize it yet. And you know what? He brought it upon himself, too. Oh, <laughs> no! in TF2. There's Left 4 Dead. You know what? That's fine right there. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Push it, push it, let's go! Oh my god, are you kidding me? The rest of Phil's 2022 was He raged, he begged, Phil tripped his audience over lack of This is bullshit. Yeah, you got really weird about that one. Oh jeez, I put I dropped it by accident. This particular episode of the show starred Damn, I didn't think we'd go this far into this, uh, into this timeline. So, kind of just dropping shit now. His tractor of his spent that money just to frame him and incriminate him, which further solidified his guilt. You have my email. And this is this Yeah, this was like the best time for DSP to ever Like th this right here would have been the perfect time for DSP to just like absolutely, you know, prove himself in innocent of the WWE Champions thing. But he didn't do it. He didn't take Craig up on his offer and just like show him like email him the account and just be like hey uh here's here here's my account as you can see it is not called down from the rafters but then dsp doesn't do it he's he's like uh i gotta talk to my wife about it i gotta you know i gotta see like what what will happen if uh you know this leaks and it's just like bro if it leaks then it's like you're absolutely proven right that you're not, you know, down from the rafters and you're spending like $30,000 a year on fucking gotcha games. Yeah, what kind of risk is there? You're proving yourself innocent. And he's, he's like, I got to know what type of risk there is in this, guys. 
side character of every Volkow story, apparently. You just see, <laughs> he has to pop up. Heyman recently decided to move past Phil oh. O'Donnell with him over the coverage of the incident from a couple of I messed up so bad. Total of $50,000 to join the Volkow podcast alongside the of Redemption and Movies United Days. I got a brilliant idea. Why don't I take the three of you, put you on a podcast, we will call it the Volkow podcast. In an extremely unfortunate turn of events, Phil turned it down on principle and sought to make his thoughts clear on the matter during the size of the mm. Fuck. Okay, never mind. It worked out. Everything's a okay. Maybe he's not serious about it, guys. Maybe he's not serious about a big podcast. Thank God. See if we can push these two. Yeah, let's go. It worked. Hell yeah, we got the watermelon. Big ball in now. While he addressed the aftermath, he made the mistake of mentioning Team Star in a negative light, which prompted Team to chime in again. In a tweet, Team reiterated that DSP no longer be considered for the Volcal podcast. It didn't work. Another instance, I have set up interviews with DSP. Going to get to the bottom of this. Apparently, unlike him, we like money. Keep in mind, DSP totally yeah, nothing. About me when I was I nothing came of that either. He doesn't know me. After that, he was hurting for money, so I offered him 50k for a podcast job. He disrespected me again. After that, I had a peaceful chat with him on side scrollers and projects that be. 24 hours later, he was talking smack about me. After that, he tried to steal my podcast idea. So I don't want to hear that I'm harassing him. I'm simply responding. When Keemstar announced he'd arranged interviews with members of Phil's family, DSP responded saying he didn't. Let's go. Come on. Yes. All right. We're doing it. I think this is it. I think this is it. I think this is it. I think I like break my high score here. So much to catch up on. Like what else? I like multiplayer stuff or uh or what? I didn't realize how many apples I just had lying around in this thing. Let's go. Come on. There we go. Alright. Uh... <laughs> nah, we're not going to drop it there. adds up to the phenomenon. Oh! Okay, never mind. It worked. Yes, Jeez. Like McDonald's, where you know you're getting a bland, kind of soggy experience, but every once in a while, you just, you just find yourself coming back, okay? He's a low-skill, menial job worker who stumbled into being a professional. Hell yeah. Person, All right. And got addicted to it. No matter how much negative attention or debt his attachment to his online personality incurs him, he keeps on going. Phil is not destined to be an online personality. He doesn't have the talent. I he doesn't fucked up. Effort. He has no skills. And yet, every no, wait, maybe day, I didn't. No, I did. He's a less player who had a game. So three years after it was already the norm for him to start doing direct capture, he's never hired an editor in his life. He doesn't 
Okay, yeah, I fucked up. I fucked up super hard. There's nothing I can do. Okay, never mind. We're good. We're good again. Slightly good. Ah yes, the Sisyphus meme that every that's been going around lately. I don't know why that meme became like so popular lately. Or not even a meme, but like you know the story itself. Damn, I fucked up. I fucked up so bad. There's no way I can recover from this. I was so close. Ah, oh, what? That was bullshit. At least I broke my third place record, so that's fine. Anime going outside, spending time with friends. Probably some other stuff. Hell yeah, that's what's up, dude. I'm surprised you managed to get so much done in, uh, in like, what, a week? Has it been a week? Yeah, it's almost been a week now. Holy shit, dude. Like six days seven yeah it's been about six days now like holy shit dude what the fuck you're like a machine literally can't be stopped let's see i should really get around to streaming we love katamari i'll probably do it this sunday uh i don't think i'm doing anything crazy let me see what's today thursday let me see what the yeah, today's Thursday. I don't know why I keep thinking it's Wednesday. It's weird. I think today's Wednesday, and I thought yesterday was Friday. Like, it literally makes no sense. Uh, Let's see. What will I do tomorrow? Should I do anything tomorrow? That's the question. Uh, If I do anything tomorrow, it'll probably be... It'll probably be Call of Duty. Uh, I'll probably, like, actually, like, do some multiplayer stuff. Um, if not, unless I can find something else to play. I don't know. Let me, let me, let's, let's bring it back over to the PC side of things. Because I'm not really feeling Call of, Call of Duty tonight anymore. I, I've been on it, like, long enough, and I've just been like, ugh. This camo grind is, is a pain in the ass. You know what? Always, always a good time with EDF. There we go. Did I even have audio for that? Last thing. All right, let's see. Give me a second. We gotta find. Uh, we gotta find some new stuff to watch. Failed attempt at pork belly burnt ends. Eh, watch out another time. The reason I left Sweden. Oh no. Displaying our exploded USS Enterprise. God damn. Let's see. Oh, that was yesterday. I was like, wait, we'll stream today? I was like, oh, wait, no, that was yesterday. Uh... Boglum Chronicles. If you guys don't know who... Uh... If y'all don't know who King Cobra is, uh, you guys are in for, like, some shit. Let's see. Let's go by most popular. Oh, wait. I know the one. Is this it? Yeah, this one's it. It's a four-hour fucking video. 
much and stuff. Follow me on Facebook, you're just one less. You know, I'd also go back in time and I'd tell myself, hey, don't cheat on Stephanie. I, I would ask my fans to chip in, give up on love with companionship, man. D cup. And it broke on me when I used it. King Cobra is like an absolute fiend. Like, this dude is fucking wild. And checking them out too much, you know? But holding up the doll's dismembered face. <laughs> Let's go, EDM. Hey, what's going on, Pluton? Glad you make it every day. It's been good. Don't ask why I did Orion second time and I just liked the game. God damn, dude. I mean, I've done Dark Aether and DM Ultra and Cold War. God damn, dude. I don't know why you'd want to do Orion twice on Modern Warfare 2. But yeah, Pluton, uh, we're, we're doing some... Hold on. Yeah, we're doing some EDF now. Figured why not. It's only been three hours. It's, a, it's an anniversary stream. I should be streaming for like 12 hours. But I don't know. Is uh, game audio working? Let's see. It might be working. I think it's just like a little too low. Yeah, it's working. It's just uh, it's just kind of low. Let me uh, let me pump it up a little bit. There we go. That should be good enough. Yeah, play on. What's up, YouTube? Hope uh, hope you've been good. Seriously, you've been uh. JFS. Been at the grind and stuff like that. Thank you all for wishing me a happy birthday on the 26th of March, which was Wednesday. I'm now. Earth Defense Force 5, there it is. Yep. So I went on a date recently. And oh my god. I this dude went, went on a date? What? No way. I think this dude's like full of fucking lies and shit. But being as I didn't have a car, she picked me up. I, like, this dude's just a, a habitual liar. I feel like he is. Like, all the fucking stories that he tells, they just, they don't sound real. They sound, they sound fake and made up. We don't have that much in common, but we're still making it work. But you know what? Uh, I'm gonna let him have it. I'm gonna let him have it because it's apparently all he's got going on in his life. There we go. Alright, uh, what was I doing last time? We're still trying to, like, 100% this thing. Uh, I think that's what, you know what? I think that's what the goal is. I try to 100%. And I look at that and I'm like, that just happened. Uh, try to 100% EDF before, uh, before EDF 6 comes out. Let's see, where were we at? Alright, we, we were rolling Ranger then. If people are watching this whole thing go down on tables around us, and I'm on turn to these people, I'm like, hey, you got a oh, fucking God, scare problem? Oh, trap. But I didn't say that. I just kept my mouth shut. I'm it should be fine. Shit. Yeah, that's uh, that's what we're going to do. We're going to try to, we're going to try to 100% this before, uh, before 6 comes out, which I'm, I'm guessing 6 is going to be a February release. Not a February release, uh, like our, April. 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 I think it's going to be an April release. Hell yeah. And barbecue up some bugs. Start kissing and fondling and all that good shit. No, you like, weren't, right. Cobra. Maybe Quit lying. This date won't turn out so bad after all. And I'm getting to the point where she's... I gotta figure out, like, when's a good time that me and the buds can, like, sit down and watch a four-hour Cobra video. Because this one is, like, absolutely fucking wild. And, um... And, uh... I act it turned out that I actually knew about King Cobra, like, before... Like, I even whoa, thought whoa, that whoa, I knew about him. Goes, that's way too big. That which, uh, big. which is kind of weird. Maybe for you, but shit, I'll, I'll be gentle. She goes, no, 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 this isn't going to work out for us. When she basically put a close on left. And as she was leaving, this is what she told me. She said, if you made more money and your dick was smaller, I'd consider going out with you. <laughs> no, she yeah. didn't fucking say that. I'm sitting there, she left, pondering that for a second and going, nah. Hey, this story never fucking happened. Well, Cobra's just there. fucking making it up. And it made Make it more money real, and your dick was smaller. Well, whatever, Cobra. Shit, if it were real, she just didn't whatever. want to sleep with him. And right as she was leaving, too, she was all like, like I said, she was all like, this yeah, dude's a fucking you know, animal. But what I do like about this, uh, this documentary is that he's right. just... Is that the roller coaster ride of black pills that he takes? 
I'm like, well, what people would it's just like, like well, Josh, you can get a penis it's literally a roller coaster ride of so just like, well, fuck that. slightly up. One, all down, 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 and then slightly up, and then just down, down, down size further size down. Right it's now, it's yeah. absolutely wild. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right, Cobra. You tell him. Well, Ladies, he's up, single. I think that's just an excuse they make. Nothing I can do about it right now. <laughs> Nothing I can do, guys. <coughs> Classic DSPism. Hmm. Let's see, do I need to make this so, bigger? Um, no, nah, I think it's fine the way it is. I pretty much have one option. Out of my way. Wake up, wake up every morning alone. And then go to bed at night. Whatever I feel like. Alone. Damn, he just like me for real, for real. Right you know, uh, Where are these bugs at? Yeah. Who knows? I can meet that one girl one day that I can meet that one girl one day that I really connect with really well, and we're just perfect for each other. You know what I'm saying? And like freaking, I can miss out on that if I kill myself. Oh so God! Me, meeting, a, meeting a girl that finds me attractive, I find her attractive both mentally and physically. You know, it's a, it's a wonderful feeling to think about you too, but. It's also I should, dream. you know what? I shouldn't have started with this one. I should, I should have started with the mead, uh, the mead compilations, because those things are absolutely wild, if not the most disgusting things you'll ever see. I'm literally throwing you guys to the wolves right now with this one. This is like advanced King Cobra lore because of how long it takes. Like th this is like a four-year saga or something like that. If if I remember right, th this video takes place over like four years, and it's just Cobra just just becoming more black-pilled with each uh, with each and every month. It's it's absolutely insane. Let's see. Despite oh, I hate a, a fucking underground missions so goddamn yeah, much, dude. I really do. They're like the worst designed things imaginable that only seek to, you know, test my patience as I roll around looking for these last two bugs. There they are. Why did y'all go so far away? Please let that be it. But, yeah, that's it. You know, it, it was funny, but, like, see the Easy. Map, Would have been done so much easier if they didn't just, like, spawn and, like, 20 miles you know, away from I me. Hey, we got a new level up. Let's see. Let's look and for the Mead Chronicles. King Cobra Mead. Meat and begging. Let's see. New batch of meat. Here we go. This ought to be a good one. Maybe I'll make that uh, video player up there a little bit bigger. Maybe make the gameplay a little smaller. Nah, I think it's fine the way it is. But yeah, if you don't know what he does, he makes his own meat. Which is uh, kind of cool. I need to show a trope of this. I don't know why I haven't shown a trope of these videos yet. I was like, yo, Tropa, check out this dude. He makes his own meat and shit. But yeah, this dude packs it with sugar. Actually, I need a Tropa here. I should have a Tropa on one of these streams and have her, like, explain the mead making process. She she makes her own mead. Actually, let me DM her real quick. I'm going to start off with two cups of sugar. Let me see. A Tropa. is the secondary weapon that I have for this. Oh, it's a sniper. Uh, we'll roll with... You split a little bit, that's all right. Rocket launchers. Still a full cup. I don't know what I normally roll with, though. Probably this one, the volcano. Wait, let me see. Got two bananas. 
400 damage, 180, 600. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll roll with this one. Local honey. Yeah, drop that honey in there. <laughs> Just fucking open it with your mouth like an animal. God damn it, Cobra. Why are you like this? What made him this way? I got a I got one friend that's like really into the King Cobra lore and he's he's got it all on lockdown. I need a I need to ask him like what's a, like where do I start with the Boglum Chronicles? Do I just start from the beginning or do I just like like whatever? Look at the cold water to swish around the X Oh my god. Okay, Volcano was not the one to use. Didn't even hit any of them, dude. Let's fucking go. Hell yeah. Alright, nah. We're not using this one. This rocket launcher sucks. I can't believe that was a thing. I should have looked at the accuracy. Maybe she could, like, blacklist weapons. Cascade? Oh, you know, Cascade's always good. Either Cascade or... We'll try this one. Hell yeah, shake that shit, dude. Look at all that sugar at the bottom! Peanut butter chocolate syrup. Yeah, yeah, let's drop that fucking chocolate syrup in there. This dude's speed running his way to botulism. I can't fucking wait, dude. The fucking botulism arc. It's gonna be amazing. Our saga. bottle in there but that's enough what we need it for He's putting little Reese's in his Reese's thing. Minis. Just drop them in there. Taking these Reese's minis, dropping them in there. And then I think someone even sent him like some really expensive like wine making like powder. I, I don't remember if it was a powder or if it's like some type of equipment or something. I'm gonna add one more ingredient to it. I was gonna add like a spot of Jif creamy peanut butter to it, but with that Reese's peanut butter ice cream, oh yeah, we it. slapping in that peanut butter too. It. Plus, this is already like Bro, almost full. This dude's palate's too advanced. You're adding bacon to your mead to make it bacon flavored mead. You oh, want God. the? Uh, he really is a redditor. Bacon, bit bacon flavored so mead. So I won't get all that seems like rotten. a redditor thing to do. What I love about being overpowered now is that I can just like run up on these guys and not even have to worry. I'm gonna dump this entire container of bacon bits into our wine. <laughs> oh, is that what he's making? He's making. He's actually. He's legit making wine. can't hide from me I got a rocket launcher dude what else is he slapping in there 
Oh, he's still slapping bacon bits. Let's fucking Bacon's go, dude. Bacon's clogging up the funnel. Hold up one second. Yeah, I don't know why you thought pouring bacon bits in a funnel would be a good idea. It's like, oh yeah, There's bacon bits in a funnel will, will work so out. The only ones that I can't really us. tank shots from are the shotgun guys. Just for shits and giggles, we'll add a little bit of Jeff Creamy. Oh my god. Just a little splash of that. This dude's a fucking beast. Bro, you're shooting your own buddy. Just a little bit in there for flavor. The Wait, what was that? Making it from is fucking this? apple juice? What the fuck? Mucho mango. So my buddy told me that the reason why he throws all these weird things together is because he likes all of this stuff, like, individually. This is really gonna acquire a like, lot you know, of peanut butter, chocolate, like, that, that's all stuff that tastes good individually, and, you know, peanut butter and chocolate do taste good together, I guess? I don't know, I'm, I'm not a chocolate, or I'm not a peanut butter fan. Uh, but he assumes that mixing all this stuff into a mead is, like, normal or something, and... Or not normal, but he thinks that he's like a master chef or a master mead maker, whatever you want to call it. A brewer, I guess. I don't know. He, he thinks he's one of those things. But he thinks that if you mix all this stuff together, that it'll taste good. Like, individually. Yeah, bacon's good. Individually. You know, chocolate, peanut butter. Orange juice, sugar. Yeah, that's all good. I have to drink some of this down and make some room for more juice. Oh, God. He's going to fucking chug it. Look at this animal, just drinking the chocolate mead. Dude's on his way to fucking botulism. Bro, you fuck, he fucking hates it. <laughs> the fucking sigh, like, oh god. I actually fucking did this. Damn it, Atropa, you will fucking watch this video. I need her to watch this. A little marine afraid of a little, a little uh, artism. But there you go. That should be enough room for that. Little marine afraid of a little redditor. There's an airlock hole in the middle right there on that little dimple in the middle of the lid. <laughs> fucking teleportation shit. Always fucking gets to me, dude. We'll rinse that lid off real quick. And I dropped the lid down the fucking drain. Hell yeah. I dropped the fucking lid down the drain. Luckily, Hell I yeah, Cobra. spare that goddamn lid bottle. <laughs> what? I need to like figure out when I can catch one of his sh one of his one of his streams if he like actually does. I mean, yeah, no, he he still streams. This was like a month ago. I went into my kitchen sink and tried to rinse that lid off, and I dropped that spare lid that I had down to the garbage disposal. And I wasn't gonna try to fish it out, <laughs> so we're just gonna use the lid from the other bottle for our wine making yeast. Oh, that's oh, what it was. It was wine making mess. yeast. Like, it was like a good For kind a from like what someone told me. Just like we did last time. Pour Crazy. that in there. Put the lid on. Just stir that around. Look at this dude. The laser ones are also Blue super on. annoying. Like those are dudes that I also that I can't really are. tank Hold either. That in place. It's just like continuous fire from them. And they have like perfect aim too. So they can just hit you anywhere. There you go. That wasn't too bad. Is that white bad audio? Uh, 
two more. Do I have a vehicle? No, I don't. Oh, that's right. I got rid of the vehicle for the uh, for the armor. Their boy Cobra. Hold on. All right, let's uh, let's find another Cobra video. Discuss the new mead batch with King Cobra. The Cookie Monster Mead. Oh my god, this is seven days ago. Chip Tooth Mead Tasting and Suspended Again. Cobra, what are you doing? I kind of dig like this weird Dragon Ball Z music. Speaking of Dragon Ball Z, I found out that Walmart has another Blu-ray of... Like, it's a Walmart exclusive for like Dragon Ball Z and it's like Blu-ray orange boxes and I've been trying everywhere to find like out some info on it and I can't find any fucking info on it it's like no one fucking bought it or anything like at least anyone that buys the movie or the Blu-rays they don't do like reviews on it they just like hey guys this is what I bought uh, I don't know anything about it, but I'll, I'll be sure to let y'all know. And then it was, like, last uploaded, like, three months ago or some shit like that. And it's like, bro, can I get some fucking solid info on this shit or not? And the most I can find is, like, one or two comments where they're like, yeah, it's, uh... It's a decent, you know, whatever. It's cropped better than the DVD Blu-rays. And, uh... It's got the Faulkner music, so if you like that, then, you know, go for it. But I was like, alright, but like, is it good? I don't know. At this point, he's just making the old drink combos, but instead of drinking them right away, he lets them spoil for two weeks. <laughs> imagine you are 12, then imagine you find out you can make booze with household items. What 12 year old? Right, I'll be right back. One? I'm just gonna go grab something to snack on real quick. I thought I ate enough, but I didn't.
on. Did I press something? All right. All right. I think it's working. I press like oh that's a uh, that's what that button is. I was like what the hell did I just press on my uh, my audio interface? Sorry, I was uh, calling a trope a coward for uh, not being able to handle something disgusting. You know, Marines, they got a uh, they got weak stomachs. They can't handle the stuff that I can handle. There we go. Wouldn't throw bacon, cookies, and jalapenos in. The world is his oyster. He's forever 12 and alcohol and smoking is the coolest dude. He just never stops upping the ante on being regarded as fucked. It never fails to amaze me how stupid he is. <laughs> I love how regarded has just become a thing now. had a shit ton of treatment sink to the bottom. And I guarantee Let's he's see. going to choke down a goblet of that sewage in a couple of weeks and proclaim that it's so good he would offer it to his Viking ancestors. Hell yeah. He's a dog. He eats cat food. Sleeps in a dog chair, doesn't bathe, <laughs> smells everything, doesn't chew, barks in the middle of the night, has food and housing provided for him, can't use a can opener. He's a mangy dog. How do you not use a can opener? I'll be selling a pair of wands with autographed uh, album cassette tape. I gotta get the wands made first, because they're both gonna be marble handled wands. All the small yeah, if you don't know, he also wands. makes wands and I'm sells them on Etsy. On but, uh... He only makes one like every couple of months, over the last couple of days, and I think it's tasty. which is supposed to be like his main source of income or something like that. Like, cookie, chocolate chip cookies in it, uh, bananas, uh, green monster energy, jalapenos. Hell sugar, yeah, honey, Cobra! You know, you Get the, it? You know what's up? You know what's There's up? There's a sweetness to it, and I did not know this, but when I poured it in there. The jalapenos had carrots in there. And I'm like, all right, fuck it. We're just gonna throw it in there because it's it was a Halloween mead. You know, Halloween I mead. I like my, I like making my own one. It's pretty fun. Hell yeah, Cobra! Right, get that Halloween mead. Plan, Let me get so that recipe. Get to do it. Now the combination of this. Whoa, well, that was a close call. Yeah, I want a Halloween uh, mead. I've actually never had mead before. I've only ever it. really had like moonshine, and I'm pretty sure I've told it before. I went to Vegas, and uh, there was this uh, museum that had their own uh, distillery, like in the basement. That was pretty cool. And uh, there's straight moonshine. I I literally couldn't drink. It it actually it legitimately tasted like paint thinner. But they had like this moonshine with like cinnamon and jalapeno. And that was like really, really good. Uh, I wanted to buy a bottle and take it home with me, but it was like the only one that they didn't sell, and I was super upset about it. Uh, depending how things work out uh, next year, I may end up going back to Vegas and uh, seeing if I can see if I can get some more of that moonshine, that jalapeno moonshine. I'm telling you, it was it was legit good. Bogalum's botulum juice. Not jeez. Hell yeah. Get that botulism. YouTubers, we're trying some wacky flavors of soda pop. This ghost pepper one is pretty damn tasty. And uh, the heat of it definitely creeps up on me a little bit. It's not overpowering. But I can feel it back in my throat, my stomach, and my nostrils, and my sinus is clearing out just a little back bit. Back in my throat, back in my neck, back in my now mind. Now check this out. We have another, another crazy flavor of soda. This is a uh, butter-flavored soda pop. Can you believe oh, this Oh, God. Shit? Is he actually drinking these? Bro's like fuss how. Just downs the butter. The butter juice, if you will. That was a guy that I used to know. I'm pretty sure he's still active. I don't know if he still streams or not. I know that he used to stream. He mainly just streamed, like, Call, Call of Duty Zombies. Like, one of them. I think it was, like, Advanced Warfare Zombies or some shit like that. Maybe it was, like, Black Ops 3 Zombies. It was one of those. Uh, but that's all they ever streamed. It was really weird. I was like, bro, fucking play something else. This tastes delicious, not a sponsor. 
but uh yeah that dude uh that used to that dude used to put like butter in his cereal or some shit like that it was fucking wild <laughs> it was like bro why are you putting butter in your cereal it's like it's not butter guys it's margarine it's like it's, it's not even better <laughs> oh man good times i miss that guy not really I did try to help that dude once, though, but, uh, he wouldn't take it. Right, I'm about to just turn on, like, the autoplay. The new meat flavors 3. Oh my god! We got the cookie meat? Oh, this may be- Oh, wait, no. This this is, like, actually his channel. I, I actually don't want to watch his stuff. Uh, I, I get the feeling that he- <laughs> I get the feeling that he's absolutely, like- Fucking nuts. Teeth update and vile snack. Give me the tooth update. Why don't I remember this mission? At least I don't remember going about it this way. But then again, I've always been like air raider, so. My way of going about things is a little different. As a ranger. Oh, it's a it's a tracker. I didn't know that. Oh god, King, what the fuck is with your teeth? Get that shit checked out, dude. Want some fish and cheese? Fish and cheese? I mean, that's I was gonna say that's not like the most offensive thing. Combination that I've heard. Some of this seasoning. You need some Frank's Red Hot Buffalo sauce seasoning. You need some fish. Some King Oscar Kipper snacks. And you need some uh, Le Crin or, or some like nice shredded sharp rustic cheddar cut cheese. You want to microwave a small bowl All of done. cheese in the microwave for two minutes. After one minute, you want to add your uh, your your fish to it. Microwave for the second minute. You want to cheese it all nice and melted. Damn, I didn't find it. Mm-hmm. Put like a little bit of hot sauce from the seasoning in there before you microwave it. Fish and Chick. cheese. I was drinking my sweet tea. Fish and also, cheese. welcome back, mailbox. I thought you were in Betty by time. Or were you at the gym? Oh, yeah. Or uh we're on the Boglum Chronicles now. Yeah, sweet tea. How long I love sweet tea, dude. Pole? I gotta be careful though. I don't wanna drink too much and then end up with yeah, kidney stones and I'll be like that one girl. Oh, Daymare. Oh, that's glorious. what you're doing. Shit was fucked. Is it like a bad game or is it just like a fucked Would up you game? Like some fish and cheese. I like some fish and cheese. I've been, uh, I've considered getting it. It's bad, but good, if that makes sense. Hey, I, I kind of get it. It's like one of those games that's like, eh, you know, it's kind of bad, but it's, I like it. It's solid, good fun. I like canned fish. Let's see. Mission start. But yeah, I've been, uh, I've been swapping back and forth between games. It's my anniversary, dude. I can do whatever I want. Such as watch, uh, King Cobra videos. No. uh I feel like the bar was low and they made it. Hell yeah. Is, uh... No, they... They made, like, Daymare games. Who the fuck did... What the fuck was that? Mailbox played Fart for 15 bits. Thank you for the biddies. They made two. Yeah, they did make two. Is that the second one or is that the first one? Because I, I saw you play it a little bit the other, the other day. Yeah, that's the one. That's the second one, isn't it? Gonna play 98. Oh god, dude. I hear like 98 is like kind of bad. There's the cheddar cheese that I used. To make the fish and cheese. Fish and cheese, you wank us. Day more. Day mare. Damn it. Daymare 1998 and 1994. Okay. Not the same. Too many. Unanswered. Heard. Look at it. 
What's your look at it? Curious point. I have too many questions that I want to answer. Fish and 98 cheese. came out before 90 set, or 94. Ah, uh, okay, 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 yeah. That's what's up then. Maybe not a fan of Man, I'm so the mad that they announced like an cheese, OLED like Steam fish. Deck. Because I just got a Steam Deck Fruity earlier Fruity. this year. I'm so mad. It's fine. I was like looking at the Steam Deck stuff and I was like, fuck. This one's got a terabyte in it. They announced another Steam Deck. Yeah, it's it's up on Steam right now. Like it's on it's on like the the front page. All right, let's see. Tactical Bacon review. The Back in Time series. Yeah, we can we can go back in time with uh as long with as the you're king. Consenting and everyone's of age alive. Had a fucking heart attack on Twitter. And, uh, Why? What happened on human. Twitter? You was know, it that dude that was simping for OnlyFans girls? Or that, uh, that politician? That shit was fucking wild, dude. We have simps in the highest levels of government now. Someone's giving money to VTubers. It could be, it could even be you. Uh... Tactical Bacon. Now, this is a different company, not affiliated with... So I got another follower went to see it, click on it accident, and thought... Oh, uh, damn. That sucks, bacon. dude. One day bacon. your Oshis will follow you. I hope you. we didn't try a couple slices. That ain't half bad. So I'm going to do a review of it on YouTube for you. Now, when you open your tactical bacon... Like, you pulled the little I have nothing bad against yes. Fuwa... Fuwa Moko, but I people. I don't like them, dude. I really don't. Every time I see a clip from them, I just I get a headache watching them. So I I, I just don't watch them. Ever follows me? I'll eat my own feet. Don't don't say that, cause then it's gonna happen, and then you're actually gonna have to do it. I don't think it's the high pitched voice. I think it's just like everything that like gets clipped of them is just them shouting and shrieking and screaming. And it, it really does drive on my nerves. So I, I think that's the reason why I don't really like them. Or it's because I have... I, I don't know. Like like I said, I, I, I don't have any, like, you know... Like, whatever. I'm sure they're great, you know, entertainers and streamers and stuff like that. But every clip that I see of them is just them screaming. I'm just like, fuck, I do not want to watch this. Look at that. It comes in a sleeve. Oh, yeah. Like candy. I said, it's it's nothing the like sleeve is really greasy, but it's nothing like a, on the levels of like what I feel for DSP. It's Every legit Friday just tubes, like uh, got some fresh I just bacon. can't I can't watch this in English. Mm. Like because most of the stuff I've seen from them is either cute stuff or Tactical weirdly bacon. motivational stuff. <laughs> Read English. Damn. Nah, it's just. It's not my thing. That type of humor just ain't for me. I'm not saying I'm above it or anything. It's just like, it's just not for me. He probably watches Gura. I actually don't watch anyone from Hololive. This man is orgasming over some tactical bacon. Eating a whole can of bacon? Hell yeah. Bro, I'm gonna get me some tactical bacon. It's going straight into the go pouch. Or the go bag. Mm. YouTube. Mailbox, where's, where's your tactical bacon at? Oh, that's right, tactical you don't got bacon? any. Y'all dang. Eat it straight out of the can. I ate it. it. Damn. Yes, sir, YouTube. Where can Eat I get some tactical bacon? I'm sure they got some on Amazon or some shit. Or microwave. I'm about to check it out. We'll do a we'll do a bacon review, a uh, full Reddit review of a uh, of some bacon. What it even is tactical bacon? It's just bacon that comes in a can. That's all it is. You can you can kind of well, yeah. I think that's what he's eating right now. Yeah, that's what he's got in his hand. This dude's slobbering over this fucking bacon, dude. Sounds horribly disgusting, bro. It ain't even that bad. 
You you weren't even here for the mead making, dude. King Cobra seal of approval. Hell yeah, that's how you know it's good. It's got the King Cobra seal of approval, dude. You can't, you gotta buy it now. What are you gonna do? Not buy it? You're gonna wash in that bacon, wash it down with some of this. Oh god. Uh, Damn, you got the Bud Light? Oh no. Oh yeah, keep, he's worse than DSP when it comes to burping into the mic. Bacon is good, yes. Made from real pigs. Oh god. Tactical bacon, you get the uh, Cobra seal of approval, man. They're not a sponsor. They are not affiliated with Tactical Soap. That is a different company. Hell yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah Tactical to Soap too. Sexy bad boy. That tactical shit so stupid. Not trust in the seal of approval for a man who oh, looks like <laughs> it's stung by 93 bees. Nah, dude. King Cobra is a guy that you can trust. Look at him. This man makes his own mead, damn it. You don't make your own mead. Do you? Atropa you know, makes her own meat. I tried to get her to watch like one of these videos, but she said no. I'm an affiliate for. Um, I didn't know the Marines were so weak. Percent off your next order directly from the Grandike Soaps website. Yes. Oh yes. I love bacon. I'm never I gonna stop bacon. bacon. I don't care how bad it is for your health. I don't care how salty it is or how greasy Hell it is. Hell yeah, this is a real man. Bro would lick my forearm <laughs> and try to justify it. <laughs> no, he wouldn't. He wouldn't do that to you. He wouldn't justify it. He'd just tell you that it's for science. I love bacon. It's delicious. I love bacon, guys. Atropa doesn't Honestly, make me don't convince the knife here, just conjures it. Nah, she's not that powerful. Sexism, your toxic masculinity. Guess what? Bacon is not gender specific. What? But it's Where did this come from? Working on wands for Etsy. I got one sold. I have another one being made. Would you buy a wand from Every this man? I bet that's where Atropa gets her stuff. Really. She buys wands from this guy. She doesn't even no, know it. Can you imagine being yeah, where she casts a greater to sing on Tom. Ah, uh, he's fine. It's not like that, you sick fucks. The chick on this shirt's of age. The fact that you're <laughs> suggesting that looks bad on you more than it this does. This dude has a weird honest. obsession. Like, I, I, I don't know. I, I don't really know how to explain it. Other than it's whenever he refers to, like, when he's talking to women, disgusting. he always has to preface the fact that they are, are of age. Because It's just it never just like, I was talking to this one girl. Years. It's like, I was talking to this one no, girl. Not, yes, she I'm was of I'm age, guys. And it's, like, really I'm weird. Sure, I don't know. Mainly because I've never it's heard anyone, like, preface the fact that they, you know, whenever they talk to someone, it's like, oh, yeah. Uh, she was of right? age. Yeah, fuck you. You can't do. You can't get a life. And it's like, okay, I, I wasn't assuming she wasn't of age. You're like thirty years old. I, I would assume she already was of age when you said that you were talking to her. But yeah, it's mighty sus that he does that. Are right, you got caught doing some weird shit before? I don't think he has. Uh, I don't think it's a, uh, what's the other guy's name? It's not, ah, I, I can't remember this other guy's name. Um, but that dude, ugh, God, I can't, I wish I could remember this guy's name. Um, but he's, he's, he's more advanced than this guy. Like, th this guy is, like, nothing compared to the other guy. Uh, but he's absolutely been caught, like, talking to underage chicks before. Uh, and, but the thing is, is like, that dude's, like, genuinely regarded like highly rotundo and uh yeah like like not even chris chan's level like like below chris chan level type shit like you know like lower than chris chan rotundo levels is what i'm talking about and I'm not trying to justify it, but, like, that that dude would have talked to anyone. He's also... I don't know. Like, 
th there's like a whole thing going on with that dude where it's just like like at what point does like like do you just like genuinely start harassing this guy because he overall seems kind of harmless but when people show up to his house and like start harassing him and shit here you go the first thing i thought of his facebook group like about how those are goofy rifle builds yeah no but like th this dude's like like genuinely regarded and it's i don't know it's fucking weird dude like, I, and I can't even, like, pull up those dudes' videos, because, like, they're they're very, very, very not safe for, uh, for Twitch. But, I mean, some of the stuff that, that so he, he was actually on his way to going to, uh, to jail or prison, because he assaulted some dude, uh, like, outside his house. Uh, like, this guy just came up and started, uh, harassing him, and he was, like... He just like went all out and just started started attacking the guy that was like you know at his house and uh and like the guy that like provoked him was equally regarded because he he started calling the judge and sending him all this stuff and then the judge was like all right I, I see where this is going, and no, I'm throwing this case out because it's very obvious that that you were only doing this to try to get a to get a rise out of him. So the judge threw the case out, and the guy got to go scot free. And it's it's fucking wild, dude. Where like all the guy had to do was just not be so such a fucking a log, an a logger. <laughs> Yeah, not be such an a logger, and they they would have had this dude in like fucking jail or prison or some shit. But no, uh, a loggers just don't know when to stand back and just let the shit work itself. I think it is that one image of Boogie with a gun. Yeah, although Boogie actually got convicted as a felon, like Boogie's actually a felon now, so. <laughs> fuck it, fuck that guy. That shit's fucking hilarious. Oh, it would have been funnier if he actually got prison time. Wait, what did Boogie do? He fired his gun in a school zone, dude. Like, uh, like that that picture of him having the gun. He actually did shoot the gun, and like it was in a school zone. Or it was, like, during school zone hours. Like, I don't think he was in the school zone, but he was in a residential area. And, like, where he fired the gun, it was it was kind of, like, you know, they, they kind of, like, tracked its trajectory. And, like, it would have fucking, like, hit the school. That was, like, <laughs> that was, like, not even a mile away, dude. It was, it was absolutely insane. But yeah, Boogie genuinely regarded. Alright, we can get on to the we can get on to the main event. The black pill the blackest pill of all King Cobra videos. The doll saga. I had to give you guys a quick introductory. But uh we can we can hop on to the We can hop on to uh to the doll saga. You can already kind of tell what the doll saga is YouTube. just by the name itself. Serious King Cobra JFS was in the video. God, who was that? What was that dude's name? Cyrax. That's what his name was. Cyrax. Wednesday. Yeah, he's he's another like law cow, but I I hesitate to call him a law cow just because of how regarded he is. Like, so dude genuinely like needs help, and yeah, people just harass him on the I internet. And it's it's not in the same way that, like, you know, people fuck with DSP or anything like that. Or people fuck with King Cobra. But, like, Cyrax is genuinely, like, legitimately needs help. Like, Chris Chan levels of help. Like, more than Chris Chan levels of help. That's how I feel about it. So I, I, I don't look favorably upon here, his trolls and stuff like that. Eve, you know, and then SF Roots leaving. Oh, 
contemplating dessert, and as you're contemplating dessert, I managed to accidentally spill my drink in her lap. Oh no! And oh, I looked you can't like, do that to that the chicks. And I'm sitting that there, just happened, guys. <laughs> like, I'm so sorry. She goes, oh no, no, it's fine, it's fine. And then she goes, hell yeah. Coach knew what he was doing. He, he found out the shortcut to get her pants like, off. Uh, the chicks that are above age, yeah, exactly, dude. This whole thing go down on tables around us. Uh, obviously, these and girls were above people, age, I'm like, guys. hey, you got a fucking staring problem or what? But I didn't say that. <laughs> I'm all shut. I'm sitting there like, you gotta be fucking shit. Yeah. Gov's having his fucking embarrassing and, moments at the bar. You know, like, do you want to get dessert? And she goes, actually, no, I'm kind of full. I'm like, yeah, me too. So then I said, well, do you want to go back to my place for a minute and hang out? And she goes, yeah, sure, why not? Hell yeah, like, right, Cobe's sweet. getting so it, dude. God damn, yeah. I didn't know he was a and, fucking player. Uh, we're talking and talking, and uh, we start kissing. We got the and lady talking, back at his place. And I'm like, all right. I'm thinking to myself, maybe this date won't turn out so bad after all. Look at this and dude's cheeks. She's completely naked. This is my 13th reason why. I got more game than me. Hell yeah, I dude, commando in it. She looks down at my cock and she says, oh, hell no. I said, whoa, 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 what? Oh, no. What's the issue? Going anywhere near me. Maybe for you, but shit, I'll be gentle. And she goes, no, 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 this isn't going to work out for us. When she basically put her clothes on left. And as she was leaving, this is what she told me. And she said, if you made more money and your dick was smaller, I'd consider going out with you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, fuck. Cobra. There, the king's got a cobra in his pants. Well, you're lost then. And Damn. maybe the day would have went a little bit more smoother if I hadn't spoke drinking or in her lap and shit. But yeah, probably. Whatever. And right as she was leaving too, she was all like, like I said, she was all like, yeah, you know, you're down for having to. You <laughs> yeah, dude, that that's exactly it. Like, all right. I don't believe any of this story. So this I is like one of those that. stories that, uh, I'm like, well, that Fuzz How used to tell like, us. Josh, or he was like, guys, I got a hand job at Walt, at, uh, at McDonald's. One, and then he fucking no did it. He was like, yeah, dude, totally man. fucking happened. It's like, no, it fucking size didn't, size Fuzz. Quit right fucking now. lying. He's so like, no, and then, then he tell the fucking the story. It, it sounds it exactly like one of those, like, middle school, high school stories that someone would tell you. Yeah, like, it's like, oh, yeah, guys, I totally got laid. I was like, bullshit, you did, dude. I can see you fucking lying right now. I can see the lies permeating your fucking pores right now. Literally see your yeah, nose growing, you like Pinocchio style. <coughs> and stories, uh, street cred. Yeah, and it's like the thing is, like we were just all in a fucking Discord. Like nobody fucking gave a shit. Nobody ever brought up like you know their fucking sex life or anything. It was literally just a place where we got together and fucking shat on other lol cows and video games and shit like that. It was like your standard Discord thing. But he'd always come in yeah. with these fucking stories like, guys, I you met this one chick. And it's like, no, you fucking it. didn't, Fuzz How. You didn't meet anyone. Really You're a goddamn liar. And we're just perfect for each other, you know what I'm saying? It's fucking and hilarious. I can miss out on, I can miss the out Law Cow League. It was basically that. The thought of me Although it was a little bit more malicious than that. I find her attractive, both mentally and physically. You know, it's a, it's a but you know what? It was, it was good times. Too. I miss it. But... It's I miss those guys. Reality is if only it didn't all turn to shit. shit. And I'm kinda creepy, so, because of uh, a uh, certain lol cow shenanigans uh, being mad that he was being labeled a lol cow. Or certain lol cow being mad that he was being labeled a lol cow. It's like, bro, you brought it upon and yourself. I go, the the you weird thing about it is, is like he also covered lol cows. And he was doing all the shit that they do when they start getting called out. And it's like, bro, buddy, fuzz, fuzzy baby, like, you're, you're legit falling for all this shit that you fucking cover in your own videos. The biggest issue for me is, me is, I is being labeled a lol cow. Don't worry, that ain't gonna happen to you. If anything, it'll happen to me. One has to be careful who covers lol cows that they don't become a lol cow themselves. But all I gotta do is observe. I don't have to involve myself in any drama. 
that's a that's that's the biggest thing that a lot of people fail to do or fail to realize is like you can you can sit there and watch but don't get yourself involved with anyone else otherwise you're otherwise like everything's gonna go horribly wrong and bad and uh you're gonna be the next christian or dsp in my case i may end up like the next dsp if i get involved in the, with the wrong people you law cows becomes a law cow exactly dude they're gonna they're gonna get my face stocks and then they're gonna they're gonna make fun of me of how ugly i am like oh my god look how brown he is it's like no i'm white on paper damn it <laughs> i always like that joke yeah, I was out of cigarettes too, and that really made it worse. It gave you the white pass, hell yeah. It's okay, I stole it a long time ago. Yeah, you fucking It was actually one of my favorite things. What's up? Or favorite things. It's one of like the funnier things that's like kind of happened to me. Where it's when people do find out that I'm Hispanic and they're like, wait, I thought you were white. Anyway, like no. The same thing happened with another buddy of mine. He's he's like he's got like that stoner voice. Like you, you listen to him talk, and like you just assume he's high, like twenty four seven. But that dude is clean, and it's it's just like it's like wait, you're not a fucking stoner white kid? It's like nah, dude. <laughs> Legitimately kind of funny sometimes. I stole something. It's my favorite thing. Exactly. You made this. I made this. Type deal. These are my favorite enemies to fight. And, um, They're the best. They the ragdoll everywhere. Although, like, once you get to a certain but, level, you know, you you can kind of just abandon tactics and just go straight the for them. Except the laser guys. The laser guys are like an absolute pain in the ass. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, Earth and Defense Force all on sale right now on Steam. Felt so bad for me. She if someone hits me with the "We made this," I'm gonna do a funny. <laughs> yeah, dude, they're uh, they're on sale right now. I said was wow. Uh, I saw the tweet earlier today. They were like, "Hey, it's time to do your part, soldier." And uh, I was like, "I already did my part. I already own all the EDF games." I walk by my dad. Oh yeah, there's like some weird shit going on with him and his dad. I don't, I don't remember exactly off the top of my head, but it's like, it's like they hate each other or some shit. But I don't, I don't recall the reason why. I got an ass chewing about how bad tobacco is for you. Yeah. The way I look at it, even if you quit cigarettes, it's nothing like Jamal levels. Need sleep and I'll play tomorrow. I can finish ARs and then do all of my battle rifles. Hell yeah, dude. Good luck. Even if you quit, that shit's so the fucking. Um, that's a fucking and a grind and a half right there, dude. Popped, completely gone. Damn. And I, I was pissed that day. Like, that's just life in a fucking nutshell, man. It's fucking. Ups and fucking down. Ego just destroyed by his own dad. Oh my god, we got forty percent. Let's go. We got new Chivos. The old man takes away your fucking cigarettes. <laughs> and I never went to my dad. At all. For advice on girls, fuck that shit. And after that day, I made damn sure that I never do that because that was just that just flat out pissed me off. I I'm never gonna forgive my dad for that, man. And it's it's very it's very typical of fathers to give their sons shit about girls they like. You know that's very typical father son behavior. But I fucking hated it growing up. Especially when I was getting yeah, 24 hours school, of weapon XP left, so it ain't too bad. Hell yeah, dude, that's what's up. I think I got like 17 hours or 14 hours or something like that. I got a lot. So I could I could easily like, you know, go through level up all those weapons if I jump into like a multiplayer game. Dad flexing on Cobra. Yeah, I got I got this many chicks. What do you got? At least I won't die not knowing That's fucked up though, dude. It feels, it doesn't, you know what I'm saying? Like, at least I'll know what it feels like before I die. You know what I'm saying? I don't and know what you're saying, Cobes. I wish I never would have met Stephanie. You know what I'm saying? Because 
before you've had your first girlfriend and all that. I see it's a yeah, master you, of you uh, relationship it advice. Like you crave it, and yet you, you don't know what you're missing out on. And once you've actually had it, it's a lot worse because then you know what you're missing out on. You know what I'm saying, <laughs> YouTube? That makes any sense? It don't make sense. I don't get it. How exactly did, did I get these two these two pizzas and the drink, which came to about fourteen dollars and fifty? Uh, you know what? I was so close to buying well, like Little Caesars today. I went down to. I was had forty Monday started and gained ten place. hours during. Holy and shit, dude! What the fuck? They loaned me fifteen bucks, and yeah. I, I owed them twenty. I don't know. Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna stream so. tomorrow. That's not, that's not gonna be a I was problem. thinking about just and going like straight into like multiplayer stuff. Mean, I'll play multiplayer if DSP game. plays multiplayer I'm tomorrow. I want to see if I can get into like a few matches with him. Also, I, get paid I doubt it though. I think he's like completely given up on Modern about, Warfare. Like it, it didn't turn out the way that he expected it to. Because uh, he was talking about tip support being super low for the Call of Duty uh, streams. You're gonna s stream snipe DSP? I absolutely would if I could. Yeah, I've done uh done other shit into DSP. I guess I've a logged him in the past. Uh, I can't show you because then it'd be a face talk, face talks. I would I, w I don't know. I wouldn't even consider it an a log. Uh, you don't know what a logging is. It, it means that you go out of your way to like absolutely just like mess with someone IRL, where you where you kind of just take it offline and you go out in the real world and do it. Cause I'm not a fan of the Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer. Really? Damn, that kind of sucks. I haven't touched it yet. I like the beta. I didn't think the beta was too bad. Uh, but we'll see. I'm not a fan of them bringing, like, the Modern Warfare 2 maps back. And they... There's only one map that I actually liked from the one that they're bringing back. And it's uh, El Asada, I think. Feels out of whack. Damn. I don't know. I, I didn't have too much of an issue with it. But then again, I still played it kind of slow. Damage has a role to it or something? Really? I don't know. That's weird. Unless, like, something changed between the beta and the, the full release. Um, the 12 hours in the beta. So I enjoyed it for sure. Hell yeah. I think I think I put... You know what? I think I put about, like, 8, eight or 10 hours into the beta. Because I did max it out. And I did have... And, like, those streams were pretty long. Other one skin in particular that I hate that just got me whining. Oh, is it that uh, is it that Gaia skin or something like that? The tree spirit. I've been seeing a lot of people bitching about that skin in like Modern Warfare Three. Like I didn't see anyone complaining about it. Yeah, the weird tree one. Yeah, I didn't see anyone complaining about it in uh, in like Modern Warfare Two. But, like, when Modern Warfare 3 came out, suddenly everyone was, like, complaining about it. And I don't know why. Like, what happened? If, like, there was, like, a change in it or something. People are saying it's pay to win because the model size. Oh, is that what it is? Okay. I mean, it's not pay to win. Everyone got the... Or everyone should have got the battle pass. You have... Ac if you got the battle pass, you have access to it. People are complaining. Apparently so. It, well, yeah, I, they they are. I've seen I've seen some people complain about it in like some stuff where people, where it's like Call of Duty or Charlie Intel will post something and it's like it's like oh what are we thinking about it and everyone's like oh it's great except for this fucking skin. I should start using it then. I I was thinking about that too. I can't use the spawn skin in multiplayer. Like the green stink lines just give my position away. Let's see. How many? Oh, there's like. Yeah, there's like a shit ton of missions. Let's see. But yeah, we're at 40% now. Very cool. Halfway there. I like my gas skin too much to change it. Damn. Which skin is that? Is it just like a normal gas skin or is it a. Is there like a, a thing to it? OG gas? Hell yeah. That yeah, gas was okay. He was cool. I do kind of want to go back and like replay like the OG. Uh, the OG games. Even though I just played them last year. I kind of want to go back and replay them. I think that skin is called Convoy Ca Gaz. 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 Jeez. I'm tempted to, to play them as well. Hell yeah, that's what's up, dude. They're not bad. They're pretty yeah, good. I had a lot of fun with them. 
I didn't think that uh, OG Modern Warfare 3 would be like as emotional as it fucking was. It's just like, bro, everyone fucking dies. And then you get to like the final mission and it's just so fucking sick. Because it's just you and uh, Yuri. And like some fucking sick ass body armor shit. Feeling rage on the final mission? I know, dude. I fucking know. I was there, dude. I was feeling it. And it was like fucking ready. Let's fucking go. Oh man. I hope we're not hitting the same beats. Uh, like the the new Call of Duty isn't like, or you know, the new Modern Warfare campaign isn't hitting like the same story beats as the last one though. And then as I'm riding away from the pawn shop, I think to Cause, myself, uh, you know what, if I damn. sold my bike... I don't think I, I could think see, I uh, I don't think I could see Ghost die again, man. I, paid I don't think I could do it. For it. And see Ghost I die. Who else was there? Really Was Ghost before. Price? Gaz? Well, yeah, Gaz die. I guess if, when I it's too the fucking the rough, dude. It's too hard. Then I'm giving up. Yeah, it's got domed in Modern Warfare 1. Was that, uh, was that on the bridge? Yeah, he gets domed on the bridge, doesn't he? Roach? No, I don't think they're gonna bring Roach back. It's weird that they didn't bring Roach back. I don't know why. Oh, he's talking about the sex doll. Let's fucking go. Ghost and Roach got more diesel port on them than Remastered 2. Yeah. I, could just see it now. <laughs> I haven't played the Remaster of 2 yet. Cove, that's so fucking sad. Don't say that, dude. Uh, guys, I need people to chip in for my sex doll. Yeah. <laughs> Oh god. People who support me on YouTube who are loyal enough to do that. Pretty well, sure 2 remaster is just graphical overhaul. The Roach and Frost. I don't remember Frost. I've considered the option before, otherwise I wouldn't have brought it up. But yeah, it's weird that they haven't brought Roach back. I don't know, maybe they'll bring him back for uh Modern Warfare 4. Almost two grand. Oh, I did find a copy of Modern Warfare, uh, like the, the remake, uh, at the game store for like five bucks. And I was considering getting that because I haven't played the story mode for that one. Uh, I think that's what I'll end up doing is uh, like next year's whatever. Because I don't think we're getting Modern Warfare 4 uh, next year. I think we're getting like whatever the hell Treyarch's working on, which I'll probably skip unless it has like a decent zombies mode in it. Oh god, I'm gonna be buying like Call of Duties like for you're the next six years man. again. <laughs> uh, you're still as pretty as the day I got you out of the box. <laughs> I just want Ghost 2, man, bro. They ain't making the Ghost 2, damn it. Sex dolls, they were it was shit. Invented. Everyone hated for it. And then everyone realized how great it was after like 20 other Call of Duty releases. Your shit? Nuh uh. If it's not shit, then why didn't we get a sequel? Huh? Exactly. Checkmated. Ghost was my peanut butter and jam. Uh, I don't like peanut butter and jam. Yikes. Fortunately. By the way, if you missed it, Cobes was talking about getting a sex doll for, uh, for himself. Oh, I wish. Because he thinks that he'll, uh, yet, I don't though. know. He's desperate, man. Um, he needs that. He's fucking about to go primal. What happened was... People are goobers, rip. Oh, uh, by the way, this video I takes place over, like, takes takes place over the course of, like, four years or five years or something like that. Yeah. This is a long-ass so saga. She, she has a friend, and he brings it up, like, once a month, like, during this time it. period where he's like, guys, I'm, like, and, so close um, to getting the sex doll. Guys, I've got this much money raised. And it's trying to riz a blow up. No, he's talking about like a legitimate like silicone sex doll. Like one of those sex dolls that costs like two thousand, three thousand dollars or something. And it's like, bro, do you know how much money two thousand three three thousand dollars is? That's a lot of fucking money, dude. To be wasting on like some advanced jerk off shit. 
But you know what? The man's the man's hungry. He the king's cobra needs to be fed. Gary, that's not far off from what I make in a freaking month, dude. Imagine wasting an entire month on like advanced sex doll. Fucking insane. But no, like th thinking back to like how much I made like in the air force, it's like oh my god, that's like an entire like not not an entire paycheck, but like like a paycheck, like two paychecks at least, like not two paychecks, but you know what I mean. Like it would take a full paycheck as well as like maybe like twenty or thirty percent of my other paycheck. Like holy fuck, dude, that's so much. Three weeks of pay, fuck that, dude. One of these days, it's bound to happen. Now I was in Colorado. I made good money. I told you I made like a uh, one thousand nine hundred in like my last in like my last like year. It's only a matter of our last month uh, in Colorado. It was fucking Keno, dude. God, I wish I could make that money again. Kentucky has shit, bh. Yeah, dude. You need to you need to get out of there. You need to get out of there. And get your place. Uh, get you. Uh, get your place in Colorado. I don't know where though. I've only been to Shriver, and uh, Peterson was kind of like weird. I don't know. I just didn't like how big Peterson was. Yeah, I'm getting six hundred dollars from my tax returns. Hell yeah, he's already part way there. One fourth of the way there. Our boy Cobra getting that sex doll soon. I need at least thirteen hundred to cover the rest of the cost of that. There you go. Yeah, He's almost it there. A while to save up for, but it would be being lonely. I mean, it, it would probably be the saddest fucking thing I ever did see. I even got an outfit. Well, it's only sad if you uh, if you make it come off that way, Cobra. You gotta be a chat about it and own it. I have. I have this real Morpheus scream costume I used to wear, and I could. <laughs> this is Josh pretending to be a troll. What the fuck? I didn't know that he was pretending to be his own troll. That's like some Chris Chan shit. No wonder he's a fucking law cow. Nothing but hiking camp for on my free time? Hell yeah, dude. That's what's up. Beat three people live in front of a studio audience to live in Colorado? Fuck yeah, dude. You know, if a woman buys a vibrator, no one thinks... Oh no, he's getting on the incel stuff. Cobra, don't. He's a creepy pervert. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Smokes the pipe. Yeah, this is in 2016. I'll be right back, real quick. I can't walk far, so people are pushing my fist into it. Oh God, <laughs> Cobra got that gamer rage. Oh, that thing's gonna have to be punished. You want to? <sighs> Yeah, were you gonna make some tea? Hell yeah, dude. Get yourself some sweet tea. Holy fuck, Cobra, what the shit? Bro, chill. What the fuck was that? I broke my... Did he break something? Oh, is this where he breaks his fucking guitar? But I'm walking by YouTube. I'm walking by my tool bench here. And I somehow managed to smack my fist into the vice clamp. It pissed me <laughs> off, so I took my metal baseball bat. I took my metal baseball bat, and I smacked the shit out of the fucking vice clamp. Hell yeah. And it put a small dent in the baseball bat, but oh well. I got my anger and frustration out. nine days later hell yeah bro like where does he get the money for these fucking nice ass guitars dude holy shit <gasps> no cobra don't oh, what are you doing stop please can't even smash it properly. Bro, you gotta hit it from the flat side. There you go. Bro, what are you doing? Stop, please. 
Help! Do I have the help thing? I gotta get the help one. Dude just wrecked his own fucking guitar, up, dude. YouTube? Oh my god. How are you doing this fine afternoon? Me, I'm doing fan fucking. Why would you do this, Cobra? Couldn't be happier. And the sad thing is, I can't afford to replace a guitar right now. Why did you break it then? Smashed. Cobra, what is wrong with you? To pieces. Lotus, observe a moment of silence for my recently deceased guitar. <laughs> the one that you murdered? In cold blood? Thank you. It's not like I couldn't play anyway. I don't know why, but I keep smashing like the double. A lot of people were asking me, why did you smash the double shift? The yeah, why did you? Well, Tell us, Cobra. I was watching a YouTube video on how to do this scale on the guitar, and the person trying to teach me this scale on YouTube was saying, and I quote, that, oh, this guitar scale is the bread and butter to every guitar player's arsenal or some <laughs> shit like that. I'm like, well, you know what? Maybe this scale would be useful in my playing. But I tried my damnedest to learn it, and when I couldn't even get the first fucking note, I lost it. I got frustrated with my playing, and I smashed my guitar. I oh, focus no. on what I can't do on guitar versus what I can do. And What's Cobra going off on? Of uh, on he he has a really nice guitar fucking guitar, and he just shreks it, dude. Hold on, wait. I, I want to see where he like shows it off. Yeah, here we go. Look at this nice fucking guitar this dude has. Look at that. That looks so fucking nice. And he just starts fucking wrecking it, dude. <laughs> and he's doing it like in the worst way possible. He's hitting it. Yeah, there you go. You're supposed to hit it with the flat side down first. <laughs> fucking curb stomping it, dude. I'm pretty sure that's... Oh my god, I didn't see it fall apart the last time. There we go. It's done. Oh, this guitar scale is there we go. But this is why he does it. Arsenal or some shit like that. I'm like, well, you know what? Maybe this scale would be useful in my playing. But yeah. I tried my damnedest to learn it, and when I couldn't even get the first fucking note, I lost it. Let me talk to him. Playing, and I smashed my guitar. I focus on what I can't do on guitar versus what I can do, and. Instead of focusing on how far I've come as a guitar player, I spend more time focusing on what I can't do on But yeah, he did it because he couldn't play a fucking string properly. Or a rift properly or something like that. Like, I don't think he's bad at guitar. But he's definitely not as good as, like, you know, he says that he is. I mean, like, he, he can do more than I can on a guitar. Like, I, I can't do jack shit on a guitar. I do have an acoustic. But, I mean, I, I've got no interest in going back to trying to learn guitar. I'd rather go back and learn piano. But the, the hard thing around here is, like, trying to find, like, a piano teacher that I can, you know, go to and stuff like that. I, I thought about using, like... Hey, the YouTube. school, like the community <laughs> so college, to learn piano, like the, but uh, oh god, that that's gonna be like way too much fucking money, dude. To like just go to fucking school nights. to learn how to play piano. Well, well it's gonna be like six hundred dollars, but it is for like a full okay. semester, so and maybe it wouldn't be that I don't bad. Hear any comments about oh I called it or this and that? 
Okay, I don't want to hear any comments. We rush What happened? Well, it was this close to happening. You oh my god. This close. This close? But apparently this, the girl, this, this girl that Scotty was going on a date with, it, okay. Um, and my schedule being goofy. Ah, it wouldn't even be a schedule thing for me. It'd just be, be like a money thing. Or his girlfriend. I don't know. So well, we'll see what happens. I'm still waiting for the VA to get back to me on whether they're going to give me, like, on, increase on my disability. This, okay, it was Bro, it's been since September. Please. DM me, VA. My DMs are open. Had last night's date not gotten canceled because... Oh, uh, no. Coves would have gotten laid. You know what I'm saying? She, um, be that guy and oh, call him every day. I should. I about the situation... And, it was like, hey, like, y'all been stuck on this evidence short, gathering process. Like, you know, what more evidence do y'all need? They probably got, like, dudes outside my house. The fucking comments. Like, okay. you know, I, I don't want to seeing if I'm going out and doing any strenuous activity. Like, the only strenuous activity yeah, that they could have seen me doing is, like, using a push mower on my lawn. And I've only done that once. And since then, I've had, like, people come over and, like, mow my lawn for me. Ah, I should have fucking brought that up during the, uh, during my, uh, VA interview thing. Or I was just like, yeah, like, I, I have to pay people to mow my own lawn now, because I can't do it myself. You're gonna come by and claim, ask me to carry your groceries in for you, I'll do it for five bucks? Hell yeah, dude. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's what I should have done. I mean, if they are actually, like, you know, they got, like, secret agents looking at my fucking place, then they they probably do see, like, people, like, bringing groceries to me. But that, that's not of me just being, like, kind of lazy, though. But also because, uh, like, if, if I go to the store and buy groceries myself, I have a habit of spending way more than what I want to. Like, if I do it online, I can see the calculations and I can see everything add up keep them on their Put toes to exactly but no if i do it online yeah, then i can like see I, it like you I know in real time shirt. adding up and stuff like that so i can i can stop my, myself my, um, like it's like all right i'm at fifty dollars in groceries uh i can probably get one more item I got all dressed the up only thing that sucks is uh i also pay for the uh as i pay the delivery fee as well as the tip so i end up spending like an extra eleven dollars but I mean, I, that's all right for me because it's it still comes out to like sixty bucks, which is still like a hella cheaper than what it would be if I go to the store myself. Because if I go to the store myself, I'm gonna drop like a hundred dollars in groceries. Because I'm sitting there doing it, grabbing everything, and it's like, all right, I think I got enough for like two weeks. But yeah, sixty bucks is better than eighty. Exactly, that's what I was thinking, dude. Also, that's uh, that's money for uh, some other dude that's doing deliveries. That probably needs more money than me. Maybe Scotty and there we go. Little fuck buddy that he has. Maybe him and her might work things out just enough. I thought to myself, maybe this maybe Scotty. The sweet tea is too good. I got that Gold Peak sweet tea, dude. Oh my god, it's the best. I thought that him and her would could possibly work things out just enough so I could finally meet Izzy and you know what I'm saying. But nope, nope, nope. Let's see. Let me check something real quick. I get to enjoy five more years. Speaking of tea, cop some apple so cinnamon tea. Holy fuck, dude, that sounds pretty good. Uh, yeah, uh, it was like, oh yeah, I, I think I talked about this before. Let me grab mine one sec. Hell yeah. Uh, I talked about. I think I talked about this before. How I made like apple cinnamon compote. That came out really, really, really good. I may make some, but I don't remember the exact apples that I used. I think I used, like, what is it, like, Red Gala apples and Honey Crisp apples or something like that? And, uh, just added a little bit of cinnamon. Hell yeah, he's back. But yeah, I need a, I need to try making that apple compote again. It's not hard, it's literally just boiling apples or fruit. Honey Crisp apples are the best. They, they are pretty good. I should do a uh, an apple tier list thing. I don't like Granny Smith apples that much anymore. I think I ate too many of them, and I just like I just got sick of them. 
but I used to love Granny Smith apples. Like, they would always be the ones that I would get. She never showed up. But on top of that, on top of that, you two. I think Gala apples. When, uh, Izzy heard about my, Gala? Uh, yeah, oh, it's, uh, I think it's red Gala apples is what it is. Hate them, they're too soft. I don't like red apples, dude. I think red apples are, like, too soft. I'm not gonna hold it against her. Fuck that, you know? But, yeah. I thought I had something with this girl I met on OkCupid. Nope. Never showed up. Bunch of bullshit. But, yeah, like I said, I'm not gonna hold it against Izzy. You know, she said she couldn't wait around forever. When she, when she was told that I had a date... You know what I'm saying? She decided to go with someone else. So, you know, then the date I had never happened, so yeah, go figure. Damn. Shitty Our boy man. Cobra got cock blocked. Oh, well. <laughs> Scotty's been trying to get me a girl, but it hasn't worked. It, it, I've been trying. It's a work in progress. Yeah. But really, man, it will happen. One day or another, it'll fucking happen. <laughs> I like red apples. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I believe it when I read, oh, red delicious because of how cheap they are. Yeah. Flavor and crisp. All these dates get Each bite is pretty good. Huh. I'll have to try some. Right now. I'm, not I'm, not, I'm not really big on uh, oh, like red apples that much. Like green apples, good. Uh, I'm thinking about giving up on dating and companionship anyway. Oh, God. Yeah. Quit putting your fucking mouth so close to the camera, Cobra. It's disgusting. I'm, not getting, I'm getting let down and I'm sick of it. That's Cope Cobra. Yeah, give me a call, man. Give me a call. You have to learn to love yourself before someone else can love you. Right. Yeah, it's that. That's gotta be. That's that's like the biggest thing. It's like how how crunchy is that oh, first bite? So if uh, if that apple's got a got a nice crunchy bite to it, then uh, then yeah, we're in business. But if it don't, then uh, yeah, nah, I ain't, I ain't buying those apples ever again. That's why I like green, uh, Granny Smith apples so much, is because like every time you bite into one, it's just like, ooh, it's good every time. <laughs> Except for those other green apples, like the ones that are just like really, really soft. I hate those. I remember I used to get tricked by those a lot as a kid, because I used to love Granny Smith apples, and then whenever I'd see a green apple, I'd just eat it. I doubt it. And it wasn't a Granny Smith, and it'd just be like this soft mush, and I was like, ugh. I throw it away instantly. You know, it would be nice to meet a girl I'm attracted to, and she's attracted to me sexually and mentally. But I was always tricked by Gala apples. Damn. Wishful thinking. Look at me. I'm a disgusting, ugly fuck. Hell yeah, Cobra. Own it. I dog on myself all the time. I don't give a shit. Well, it's nothing against you, man. That's just my confidence. What? Who? Rick Ross. Who the hell is Rick Ross? It doesn't matter who he is. He's a fucking ugly, fucker. How did we get to Rick Ross? This man. Yeah, well. I don't think Rick Ross is the guy that you want to bring up, considering he's fucking rich. That wasn't the, uh. I'm be alone the rest of my that wasn't the life. name Except drop I was expecting to hear in a fucking yeah. Cobra video. Because I can. But yeah, no. I learned my lesson with the uh, with the uh, Granny Smith apples and the green apples. Every time I try to get a date, it backfires. It backfires louder than an old car with a bad engine problem. Oh no! Damn, Daniel. Damn, Daniel. Classic meme from like 2015, 2016, whatever. If I could pop two Viagra's and walk around with my dick out, I guarantee you I'd get a woman. She would see that and she'd be like, Oh, no, Cobra. But that's indecent no. exposure. That's indecent exposure, so I can't. No, that's, that's, no. Jimmy Goodman. Cobra, yeah. wait. <laughs> no, that's how you get Jeez, put on a question, list, Cobra. Would you share your Stop. with friends like homeboy Scotty, or would you treat me? It more like a girlfriend. You know, let the no intrusive thoughts here, win. He's gonna serious. let the intrusive thoughts win and one of, course, of these days, my dude. Was, I treat her like my queen and my girlfriend. She would be my, my queen. Goddess. Yeah. 
No, if I got a sex doll, I'm not saying I would, but if I did, I wouldn't share her with anybody. Hell That's yeah, Cobra don't. Six hundred and seventy-five dollars. Cobra don't don't share his girl with nobody. And it would probably take me a, a long ass. It probably take me a long ass time to save up for that. Unless I won the lottery, then it wouldn't take me jack shit. It'd be like, you know, what I'm saying. Mm. Now there are pros and cons. You wouldn't sex share your sex doll. Obviously. Couple of pros. Bro, you, you wouldn't share your sex doll no. with the homies? She, she doesn't say shit like one night on a Friday night, you birds. know? Mm. Everyone just she go to town on it. Ugh, that's says, disgusting. You're not for my daughter. You try convincing yourself <laughs> that you're asexual. It doesn't work. Considering if you ever had a She's the thoughts almost one, one there. So long, <laughs> and then one of your friends that happens to be a girl went, Oh hey Josh, how you doing? Gives you a big old hug and it's like, oh shit. <laughs> My point exactly. You know, I've been to the sex shop like, uh, get in the Sneeko you know, chair while your homeboys yeah, just, you know, go to town store. on your doll. And I did buy a sex doll from there at one point. I wonder if Sneeko did that. Inflatable ones, but it popped. And it's kind of shitty. You know what? What <laughs> he popped his I've fucking research, sex doll. <laughs> or his inflatable one. Amazing sex dolls for the Sneeko uh, chair. The hotel cuck chair. Nah, it's got the Sneeko chair now just because of how much of a cuck Sneeko was. These custom sex dolls that can stand up on their own. They have Happy like, like, Hey, big ups. Thank you, uh, Sneku. Much uh, appreciated. Uh, it's been two bad. years now. Can you believe it? It's crazy. I can't imagine. I can't, oh, and the geez. very same website I seen has a lot of <laughs> can't imagine awesome sex dolls to I don't know. You know what, I'm saying. You know what I mean? Know don't I, cheer I, for I this man. He is the cahoots with Albania. Oh, yeah. Uh no, I am not Albanian. And the review is just gonna be me sitting here and with with her in my lap, you know. You're not you're not gonna actually see me but yeah. It. It's been a so, it's been a while. Uh, yeah, well, it's know. been yeah, I mean, it's been a journey. The country Albania. Uh, no, that is wrong, incorrect, I negative. I have enough fans on. I gotta remember the rest of that DSP thing. Wrong, incorrect, negative. Easily. I found Fuck the that, Phil. You are a dirty fucking liar. I forget how exactly how that quote goes, but he uses yeah, like everything. Er, Gondola has heritage going back to German yeah, ranchers in Minnesota. Right now, so <laughs> no. No, we we've been proud Texans for hundreds of years. Soda. Five years will be here before you even know it. One of the things Sody pop. Do you say soda pop or do you say Coke? Is picking up on social cues. Or what's the other one? Soft drinks. Yeah, soft drinks. The other one. So, very. You know, I'll say a soda. I'll say soda every now and then. I hate calling things Coke. What kind of Coke do you want? A Coke. But for me, I struggled with that. What Cokes do you have? I mean, I guess it does make sense since Coca-Cola does own a lot of that stuff. Also, what's going ahead? Let's glad you make it up your days. Been going good. The fuck says Coke when they're talking about Coca-Cola? Uh, it's a weird southern very, thing. At least it used close. to be a southern thing. I don't know uh, if it still is or not. High school, uh, because I haven't heard anyone, like, refer to that in a while. I think my mom still refers to, like, soft drinks in general as Coke. Especially my senior year of high but, uh, is when girls I don't know. Really I, you know I didn't. I used to, as, like, if you know, I when I was a kid. Machine, but I, I kind of just know, stopped. I now I just refer to things as, like, you know, like, kind of drink do you want. Because then that can mean anything. It's like, uh, you got a Sprite? Uh, yes, I do have a Sprite. I love Sprite. It's my favorite, uh, favorite soft drink, if you will. I always say soda. I just say drink. I've, uh, I've conditioned myself to say drinks now. Instead of, uh, like soft drink or Coke or any other type of whatever word. Learning from what I've learned from that experience, I ne I'd never cheat on a girl ever again because. Oh my God, Cobra cheated on a girl? Stephanie, what? Uh, completely fucked that up. I don't but believe it, Stephanie Cobra. Right how now, could you? You were so pure. You know, maybe in the near future, I might find it. I actually don't like this mission because of how long it takes for it to end. Just the same connection that me and Stephanie. Because I don't. Wait, is this the you one where I gotta destroy? No, 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 no. If if it's the one where I gotta destroy it, then you know, I come from that side over there. 
Hypothetical. Do you have a girlfriend? That's also, the queen might have shown up like already, that. or would have shown up already. Buying a teddy bear to see her smile. You know what I'm saying? You bought your sex doll a teddy bear. She's she, she, go she to was yeah, either yeah, Coke or A and W. Hell yeah, dude. We only drink A and W in this house. Sex, Actually, no. This is a this is a root beer friendly household. So, uh, any any root beer dude, that I can get my hands on, I will go out of my way to buy. And like yeah, root beer test. I like that uh, one image where it's like, take off your shoes, or it's like, I lie, take off your shoes, we're doing root beer testing now. And then it's just like a shit ton of root beers behind him. Has a dig barks. I think it's been a while since I've had barks, so I, I can't really say whether I like it or not. Uh, same with Mug. Uh, I do like, were no different, you know, I like A&W and I like dates, Virgil's Root Beer. Virgil's Root Beer is pretty good. But trust and believe, uh, there was like this one root beer that I picked up at HEB. It was called, uh, it's like Mesquite Bean Root Beer or something like that. And it, uh, it didn't taste very good. I didn't like it at all. It's like one of the only root beers that I've tasted that I genuinely did not like. Which She's is very surprising me, surprising because I I pretty much liked every single root beer that I've ever gotten. Then there's root beer no video. Which one's that? Is that the one where like people just shit on root beer or something? I know that there was one video like that where they uh they had a bunch of people taste root beer and they like just fucking hated it. Let me find it. I. Where it's like if you didn't grow up like drinking root beer as a kid, then it just like. Like, it's just a weird, like, flavor to you. Like, people say it tastes like medicine, but I've never had medicine that tastes like root beer. It's, it's really weird. No, we're not done yet. It'd be sad and creepy at the same time. And then, Kyobra, you've been saying that about the sex doll since, like, the beginning of the video. It's gonna be sad and creepy. I'd get a kick out of it, because I'd laugh. Just fucking buy it already, Cobra. God damn. Sent it to you? Alright, I'll check uh, I'll check it out in a second. As soon as this mission ends. Which should be soon. If I got drunk enough, just drunk enough, I think she was real. Bro, I am literally a one man army. Let me handle it. Now I get paid this Wednesday, so my paycheck's not very big. But yeah, how much you get paid, Cobes? Let's see, what did we get? I didn't and get that much health out of it. I thought I'd get more. It in my bank account. Volcano V12? Hell yeah. Like Alright, let me see this bank. video. Is it a short? Oh, it is a short. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was pretty good. I like that one. The silent moment for this horrific event. Root beer, no! <laughs> root beer, no! <laughs> the root beer massacre in 1978. I like that when I take away a supply of beer. <laughs> As a fellow root beer enjoyer, I can confirm this is truly the saddest anime moment. God yeah, damn, dude. It's, it's Holy fuck. And yeah, it may take me I think he uploaded a sequel. A is this the sequel that they're all okay? And that, that no root beers were harmed in the making the of this video? Want, oh god, YouTube, she's fucking gorgeous. Like, holy shit. <laughs> Some people have said, wouldn't it be cheaper just to get a pocket pussy and be done with it? He saved yeah, the root beers. Let's fucking go. Hell yeah. But it's, it's Hell not, yeah, Cobes. It's get that pocket same, pussy. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't get the full figure plus the head and everything else. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. He wants the full sex doll. I mean, oh, this is as good as it's going to get for me. Nothing, hey, man, you just got to you gotta settle for what you can get. It's fine. It'll be okay, Cobra. What's up, YouTube? So what are we on? Uh, September? I think this video started in uh, this is one of them. June? This is 
So he he's been talking about getting the sex doll for like three months now. Man had a redemption arc and got the girl A and W root beer. Hell yeah. Just a few hours ago or what have you, freaking had a uh, pentagram T-shirt in it. That's what's up. Uh, well, this is the um, other T-shirt. Let's see. Something. What mission am I on? Pentagram life. Mission sixty. Damn, I still need, like, 50 missions left. Yeah. Holy crap. Oh. I what? I didn't do that. Mailbox pickups for the 15 bits right, again. Like Very cool. Shirt tags off. Just because... Oh, oh yeah, by the way, I still need to send that donation out to the, uh, the, the money that I raised during the stream. I still need to send that out to uh, the charity. I was just waiting for Twitch to send me the, the paycheck before I sent it, but I should already have it. I just need to check my bank account just to make sure, just to verify it. But yeah, I'll be sending that out uh, as soon as I get that paycheck in. Uh, we raised like 30, or like in bits and, uh, what's it called? In bits and subs, I think we raised about $33, which is pretty good. Not too bad funnel the charity money into the singular only fans model like your local politician oh god no we don't we don't simp for only fans girls here what's up there's no simping here i have but uh no i'm i'm waiting for someone's uh donation spending to be leaked that they've been sending money to like like holo live or any like vtuber it's gonna be absolutely wild when that sex, shit drops. Sex, 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 sex. Me, on the other hand, I don't care. Like, I really don't. And when every that time thing is fruit tea. My friends Except for one thing and only one thing, girl, that is fruit tea. Hell yeah. My, uh, um, Facebook I used to. Profile. I used to go to this uh, Chinese restaurant. They were ranked like one hunt, like top. They were ranked in, like, the top 100 Chinese restaurants in America, like, back in 2008 or something like that, or 2010. Really, really good restaurant. I want to go back there again. Uh, but they would import their, like, uh, what, the owner's daughter would, like, constantly make trips to China to, like, go see family and, like, send money back to them and stuff like that. And uh, every time she'd come back, she'd always bring back, uh, like, these teas from China that were really, really good. Uh, like jasmine tea they even had like a fruit tea and it was really really good it was like one of the best teas that i've ever had and uh i want to go back there again and, and try it again their jasmine tea was amazing like it's not it's not like you know boba teas or anything like that it was like an actual like hot tea and stuff it was it was really good I, i've never had tea like that before but uh i kind of want to try it again but yeah, their fruit tea was also really good. Well, it reminds me of this one smoothie in a bottle. I get told Had no a guitar. That blew me away, bro. You always find, like, the best course. stuff out there. And uh, I I've talked about I it before, but uh, when I was in Jordan, they had, like, this amazing banana milk. And I would use that too. to mix my I mean, my chocolate uh, protein powder, and it was amazing. At least when it used to come to the beginning. And crave it forever. I know that Let's, feeling, dude. Just, I, I, I'm gonna try to see if I can find that banana milk now and see if uh, how much it would cost to import it. Basically, give up on love and companionship Let's see. and sex. Like I have no need for uh, it Jordanian. And to be quite frank, I kind of hate sex. Actually, banana. To be quite milk. honest, I think sex is disgusting. I think this was it. It causes way too much fucking drama. Oh, on I think this lives. is it. And if you're not causing drama, you're I think causing this is pregnancy. It. And if you're not causing someone to get pregnant, you're catching shit. And it's just like, no. Let's see. It's just like, no, YouTube, no. I can't, I can't, I can't fucking stand it, man. And... I still find women attractive, okay? 
I still find what the, the hell? opposite sex very attractive. <laughs> it's and giving me shit. Jordans that are like bananas. But what the fuck? I, just, I don't want. Oh, I'm using DuckDuckGo. That's why. I don't want. Give me Google search. Sex, like I'm, I'm grossed out by the idea of it. You know, if that makes sense. Oh my sense. God, he's become an asexual. No, he doesn't want the sex doll anymore. Grossed out by the there idea. There we go. I think it was this one. Necessarily the, the idea of companionship, but I can't get a girlfriend. I think it was this one. So, what is the point of Because I don't see anything else. I, I remember it was a yellow what, box. What, what's the point of having a craving that you can't satisfy? And that, that symbol, the or the day, the wording on it, does look like I what I had out there. T-shirt. This thing came with it. Now, I Chat haven't with used the it Yemen, yet, USA. but what I did was uh, I, not right I pulled now. off the sticker on the no. front. And Availability a in stock. That was and surrounding it right here. And I'm like, what in the actual fuck is And this? if you mix peanut oh, butter powder with yeah, chocolate milk, it, it tastes like Reese's it's... Cup? I oh, didn't look. know that. But I it tastes like chocolate covered chocolate. Sent me a pocket pussy. Is mixed oh, strawberry milk with adorable. chocolate protein powder? Ha. I. Ha. Well, am I supposed to fucking use. I did that once. I didn't like it, dude. No, I mixed chocolate milk with, stra with strawberry protein powder. That was awful, dude. That was like the worst thing that I've ever had. There's your issue. Yeah, I got it reversed. Or was it just because it was a mer? No, it was uh, it was almond milk. So maybe that was my issue. I use chocolate almond milk. That shit's delicious, dude. Like, like it's 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 better. It's better overall. Never mix strawberry powder with stuff other than regular milk. Oh, God. Yeah, I bet. I, I learned my lesson that day. But I was like, you know what? I like chocolate-covered strawberries. There's no way that this will taste bad. Oh, my God. It was the worst thing I ever had. I It, it was like... I don't, I don't even know how to describe it. It was just like two separate flavors that just didn't mix. It was disgusting. I hated it so much. This I'm glad people seem to think that my lack of sex is a laughing matter. I'm glad people think that, oh, this poor bastard needs a tenja. Whatever the fuck that is. <laughs> they said to what? People seem to think. Cobra, me, no! Don't show that on stream. A year is funny. Yeah, because guess what, YouTube? I have not been laid in an actual year. A oh, year? Yeah. This dude's crying and about not being late in a year. What the fuck, first. dude? At first it like clicking on choice. Tinder or something, and then you get a like, date. Awkward tension. Like cut with a knife. Now, yeah. So I don't know. I, I like to think yeah, that I'm pretty that I'm a pretty talkative person like that can kind of you know not have to deal with that stuff. Or you know deal with awkward pauses and stuff like that in conversations. And then it's just like. What the fuck is it? Uh, is, this, is this supposed to be a lid? And then when I pulled it off and stuck my finger in it, I'm like, oh, hell this yeah, is they got to be one. Them pocket pussies. Huh. <laughs> oh, that, that's fucking huh. funny, YouTube. You know, it's gotten to the point where I. <laughs> and mixing strawberry powder. It's gotten to the point where I. Air Force Zelda Swords real anymore. things? Do you have one? I it's didn't even know those things were real, I, dude. I like, I saw them I yesterday and I was like, what the anymore. fuck is this? Well, How have I never seen those? It makes me think that sense. it's like a weird Air Force Illuminati thing. So I'm like, what the fuck am I supposed to do with this But yeah, thing? I had no idea like those were real. Pack tobacco and ponder it. Oh, Hell yeah, this guy got his fucking pipe it's ready going. to go. Be generals only thing? No, <laughs> it's not even a generals only thing. Like I saw staff sergeants <laughs> carrying that thing. It's brilliant. And one of the staff sergeants that was carrying it looked like I knew them. I'm destroy this pocket pussy on camera. And not with my dick, either. <laughs> women don't really oh, Cobra, you are fucking so wild, man. Anyway. Carries yeah, it, our honor guards. Yeah, maybe an honor guard that, thing. It, that, that, that's what it looked like. It looked like it was an honor guard uh, thing now that I look at it. Or now that I think about it. Whoever getting it, yeah. Looking like some Power Ranger yeah, sword shit. Damn, bro. 
That feel when your friend's sister just sends you a fucking pocket pussy? What the fuck, dude? Bro, it's truly over for you if that shit fucking happens. She sends you a fucking own a hole? It's over, dude. I want to take these that ain't uh that ain't a I'm sign that's well it, it is a sign but it's not a good sign rip cobra he never stood a chance it's not his fault man he did i'm sorry what like yeah that's uh that's what he said he said that uh his friend's sister was thinking about sending him an uh an own a hole and it's just like damn dude it's fucking over for you yeah i know you fucking don't he's just coping hard right now like this is massive fucking cope right now he's like losing his fucking shit my fucking life I wouldn't know how to respond to that. So I, like, it's over oh, for you, dude. We feel sorry to be afraid to respond. Can't get laid. Here, let's send him a pocket pussy. Fuck you. Fuck you. This is what I think of your stupid pocket pussy right here. <laughs> this is what I think about love and companionship. Cobra, no! Someone spent money on that like for saying, you. I give up on love and companionship, man. It's never gonna fucking happen, so why fucking waste my Dude time is craving it? Dude is black-pilled extremely hard right now. Fucking send me a pocket push. Yeah, you get attacked by the me? wolves. Why? Or like, why would you do know, such a thing? Why would you wish such a thing? You think that I actually care about sex Oh my god. Shit? It's this boy I again. I don't deserve to have a pocket pussy anyway. I, I don't deserve <laughs> Oh my to god. Have a girlfriend. I'm not worthy. Cobra, okay. please. YouTube, I am not Cobra's on the blackest pill right now, man. He's the most women do he's done. My existence. He's done with society. And that means I'm one of those motherfuckers that's just destined to be alone the rest of his life. I, mean, I completely forgot to turn on my cheat engine, stuff. so that way I can just like gather up all the stuff. I appreciate it, thank you. Just uh, don't don't send me shit like this, please, like. Dude, this pocket Cobra, it's destroyed. okay. They just care Cobra's about you. It. They're worried about I you. The idea. Oh my god, leave me alone. Fucking laughable, you. Hell yeah. Yeah, my homeboy. Scotty, Watch me closer. It's over for this UFO. And he's had no luck with it because as soon as women there see we go. Facebook profile pic, for whatever fucking reason, they're just like, ew, no. You know, to all the women out there rejecting me right now, you couldn't handle me anyways. Oh no! The anyway. fucking cope from this guy is absolutely but, insane. Because of all the bullet walks, the stick or whatever, fine, man. That's, that's really... You're lost, really, you know. you know. Some of you out there are probably like, well, if you don't want to have sex at all, does this mean you want a car? Fuck no. I got two feet. I can walk. Who needs a car? Oh, it's over. I already got a whole Hell year yeah. having it. And the year continues to move in towards... Maybe that's why you can't get a girlfriend, Cobra. Because you don't have a car. You probably have, like, I girls drive you around right and stuff now. like that. Which is Before not a good look, honestly. Around, I'll be like, I should get an award for waiting this long. Or not waiting, but going Oh my this god, long. this ah, fucking dude is insane. Five goddamn years. That is, um, something to think about. He's the nice guy. He's gonna go on a nice guy rant. I fucking bet he is. I want a medal of honor. Excuse me. Four women since my ex girlfriend. You know, and it just doesn't mean shit to me anymore. What's the fucking point? Cobra is a fucking animal. And there'd be times I would crave it. YouTube, there'd be times I would crave. This dude is disgusting. The craving was so bad that I could literally taste sweet, clean pussy in my mouth. <laughs> what? The craving was so bad that... Holy shit, was... this dude's down and horrendously bad. I've never heard of a man so fucking dirt. down bad before. Much more colder, or that much oh, it's over for me. Much colder. Hell yeah. Cold like an Just keep hard, like fucking... An God damn it, again? Patience drained. 
<laughs> Bro. Why do I like drinking alcohol? Because it allows me not to care for a couple hours. Whatever. I would drink every day if I I'm killing my feelings with alcohol, days. guys. Do I have to keep, like, damaging this guy, or do I yes, just gotta I hold out? I would get drunk every day if I could afford it, but alas, I cannot. So I'm going to see ah, go. how long I can go without sex. I bet you I can go the rest of my life. Well, that's what I'm shooting for. Sure wouldn't be that hard for him. The GoFundMe saga? Hell yeah. So, somebody had made a comment on my last video. The person who made the comment basically said that I should set up a GoFundMe campaign for... Alright, I think he's actually going away now. GoFundMe takes 30% of all donations. I'm actually trying to raise um, three thousand four hundred and eighty dollars. That way, after the thirty percent of that is taken, I basically took the two thousand six hundred and seventy. Let's see if I can grab the rest of this armor I over here. Subtracted thirty percent of that, it left me with like eight hundred some odd dollars. So I took the eight hundred some odd dollars and added it to the 2670 and um i got the campaign set up to where it should give me this dude is desperate really needs it so I, I uh made the gofundme campaign i mean i guess it's better than what Facebook. boogie was doing boogie was spending and like 200k on like call girls and shit so that shit was fucking wild 11 dollars so monty i've never seen that before that. What is up, YouTube? So that GoFundMe page that I had Let's set up see, for my sex doll four or five hours? Yeah, it's pretty good stream time. Flagged. I think we'll probably call it here down. for a night. At first, I was. Uh, I'll probably stream more tomorrow. Much, if I don't stream Call of Duty tomorrow, it'll probably be more EDF or something. Kind of see. Uh, let's see. But uh, yeah, you know what? Big ups to everyone that showed up today. Uh, Dusty for the follow. Jay for the gifted subs, very cool. Uh, we managed to reach the sub goal uh, today, which was pretty cool. Uh, Trinidadian nerd, big ups for the follow as well. Uh, let's see. Who got the gifted subs? Hopefully I can scroll back up again to see who, who got it all, because I don't think I, you know, said anything to them. Yeah, I can't I can't scroll up that high anymore. Uh, mega rip. But uh, if you got a gifted sub, uh, hopefully you enjoy it. I am working on getting more emotes done since uh, Twitch has been teasing about being about getting more subs or you know more emotes for affiliates and partners. Uh, so hopefully that's sometime soon, uh, so I can start getting some emotes set up. Uh, let's see who's up right now. Uh, let's see. We may go raid vines. What time is it? 10.30? Uh, let's see. He's playing Robocop, and I kind of want to see that. Oh yeah, he's still going at it. Alright. We'll go hit up Vines. Alright, but yeah. Uh... Oh man, if... If I stream tomorrow, it it's either a toss up between Call of Duty multiplayer. Oh yeah, no problem, Headless. Thanks for uh, thanks for dropping by, and uh, thank you again for you know just hanging out and chilling and stuff. Um, if I if I do stream tomorrow, it may be like multiplayer Call of Duty. If it's not multiplayer Call of Duty, then it'll probably be EDF. And if it's not EDF, actually no, I think I think tomorrow me and Badger may be able to get some uh, some Call of Duty in. So we'll we'll see we'll see what happens. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, I just I just gotta I gotta talk to Badger see if he's if he's down for Call of Duty. I know he said that if uh, if it crashes on him too much, then he's gonna he's gonna refund it. So uh, there goes my co-op buddy for it. No, I got I got mailbox and uh, and void. To, to back me up on some some co-op stuff i need to hit those guys up again for like some co-op stuff but i've been way too tired lately 
trying to get like all the solo grind stuff. Um, let's see. Sunday, I'm gonna try to play. Uh, what's it called? We love Katamari. It's been on the agenda for like two months now, or like three months. It's it's been a while, but yeah. All right, four, three, two, one. Let's go, guys. All right, rip.